Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Chess 24, and welcome, more importantly, to the live coverage of the British Championship Round 5 today. I'm Lawrence Trent, and with me, I'm delighted to say, is Jan, the man, Gustav San. Try to make that rhyme. It doesn't quite work. You try to rhyme man with son? Son, yeah. No, you, you rappers almost got Rappers get away with it nowadays, like all the rappers you You don't need to. clean rhymes. Like, yeah, if, like it's, if it flows... But clean rhymes are really differentiate, you know. Have you ever listened to Akala? He's fantastic. I'll send you some stuff about it. What's him. that? Akali? <laughs> Akali. It's more political rap. I don't actually agree with a lot of his, what he says, but his flow and his rhymes are actually great. We'll send some stuff. Anyway, let's get back to that... Let's get back. Let's get, let's get back. We haven't even started and we're getting back already. Let's what get... does uh, CB and Gwaine Jones stand for? Um, that's a good question. Chat, people. What is the CB and Gwaine Jones? I, I never knew what the CB was, if I'm honest. So Is it like a title? Does it stand for chess base? Or what, what does it mean? I think it's got a name. I think it's just his name. Ah, it's just short for his middle name. Right. Like in Richard... Palliser JD doesn't right. mean Junior because Junior has no D in it. Right. Got it. Or Junior Doctor or anything like that. So uh, talk us through the big pairings of the day. What's happening in the tournament? Well, so far there are six players on three and a half out of four. Those are Nick Pert and Mickey Adams. Nick Pert has been very solid and no problems to get to three and a half. Mickey Adams uh, drew against Peter Wells in a... Possibly dodgy position, and yesterday was just worse with White against Richard Pert. Richard should never have lost that position with Black, but well, Mickey just uh, found some important moves and won. So they're both on three and a half. David Howe versus Keith Arkell again. Keith been uh, decent and playing David, who yesterday took a draw in a quite a difficult position. Could have gone either way, either draw or could get in trouble. And then we have the youngster Justin Tan from Australia uh, playing Gavain Jones. Why can't he play if he's Australian? Because he, he resides. The... He, he resides in England. Ah, he lives there. He, he studies lives, there. Or he whatnot. studies there. Yeah. I see. I see. So we have these three uh, three boards with so six players on three and a half, and then we have a bunch of players on three: Fodor, Palliser, Eggleston. Hebden, Wells, Gormali, and so on. So we can go straight into the games. And before we do, just to let everybody know, we already have the chat up and running. Dover Beach is there. King's Crusher is there. The Dark Horde is there. Everybody is there. Um, come to the chat. Join in the conversation with us. We'd love to hear from you, especially Jan. Speak for yourself. Like uh, I don't really want to hear from you. Uh, Jan doesn't want to hear from you. You can direct your messages to me. Also, hashtag C24Live. Complaints, you can email info at chess24.com. Yes. Lawrence Trent says something you don't agree with politically if he curses. Yes. Any complaints you might have, info at chess24.com or support at chess24.com. Yeah. And also bear in mind that I'm not an employee of the company, so... Doesn't really Still complain. Still, Still complain. Still complain because good. Jan will face the consequences. No. No. Um, what do we have, Jan? Do we have some moves? Wow, Nick Pert's playing 1e4. You know, the last time we played 1e4 before this tournament was in 1995. Isn't he like doing a Kramnik and rediscovering yeah. his love for he's e4? He's just rediscovering his but love. But he's trying to force a draw, right? That's yes. what he's doing. He went for this d4 move, which looks nice and active, but all the top players played d3 here. The point is up to d4, takes, takes, bishop b4, check, bishop d2. Best play is supposedly takes knight bd2, d5, ed knight d5, queen b3. Here the best way for black to play is knight a5, queen a4, knight c6, queen b3, knight a5. So we'll see if Mickey's going to allow that or Just, if he's uh, going to go for one of the possible deviations. Out of curiosity, mm -hmm. because I've played this with white as well. Sure, yeah. After queen a4 check, why does black never go c6? Because it's bad. Because you take. You take and you're so not on time. I think castle ah, is just rookie worse, one yeah. and this knight is just ah, very silly. Okay. That's, uh, that's useful to know. 
Is it just a lot worse or is it? Yeah, yeah it's seriously bad. worse. Yeah, okay. No, the, there are ways to avoid the force draw. One of them is knight takes e4. Right. Wouldn't be surprised to see Mickey yeah, play that one. It's to a slightly worse position after, let's say, this. Queen b3 check. But this is kind of playable. I thought this was. Yeah, there was. Actually, didn't Mickey play a game in this line? Um, be curious to know if Mickey actually played this quite recently. There was that famous. It was an Aronian game. I remember that. Um, yeah, Levin might have played against somebody who you found also had no, a game. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 she, yeah, she did. But Aronian was black in this line. Who did she, he play this against? Somebody very good. We've got the database tool, Jan. Use it. Abuse it. Love it. <laughs> do what you got to do. Anyway. Anyway. This could end in a very quick draw. The um, alternative way to avoid that draw would be after queen b3 to play knight c7. This is possible. But it's also supposed to be a little worse because after castles, castles, I don't even know what they do, rookie one. Black pieces are a bit passive. Knights defending each other. Normally it's not so easy to untangle. I'm not saying it's terrible, C6, but it's... C6, yeah, or something. Yeah, it's a little passive. White has easy play. Knight e4, yeah. knight c5, knight e5, rook c1. For black it's not so obvious how to arrange his pieces. Right. So Mickey's, of course he knows all this and he's now wondering do I need to beat another pert? To, am I going for the back-to-back -back pert? Or am I okay with a draw with black against Nick and then back into action tomorrow? Because I have zero doubt that Nick chose his line to force a draw. Yes, that is Nick all over. Nick is one for, you know, when he's playing a good play, he respects that play and he's happy with the draw. Um, let's go quickly to, well, very quickly to David Halvers, Keith Arkell, because we have a Scandinavian. Don't see it that much, especially with Keith. Keith has been a Karakan player for years. He's dabbled with, I think, a French this tournament as well and some kind of E4 G6. And now he's going for another kind of sideline with the Scandinavian. It'll be curious to see what David does, but David is going to really press hard for a win today. I mean, yes, you have to. He's what, yeah. 250 points I rated? Yeah. He's white. You, you gotta go for it. He will. Of course, Keith Arkell, he's seasoned pro. Like, Chess culture. Uh, knows how to play. Which line he's going to go for? Probably Queen D8. Queen D8 or, or Queen D6. I'm pretty one of these sure. Yeah. Lines, yeah? yeah, he understands his structures. That's Keith. Mm. You know, he's not. He's, you know, I was telling, in Carl's bad structures, you don't get a better player. He un really understands just where the pieces should go. But Keith struggles more, I think, in the more unclear positions and lots of dynamism. And So he's yeah. a bit like you. He's the opposite to me, actually. Oh, okay. um, which is why it's always interesting when we play. Uh, board three, Justin Tan versus Gavain Jones, and we have a Sicilian... What does the CB stand for? We're going to find out what the CB stands for. I'll Google it. Let's Google what Gawain CB Jones stands for. I never knew this. I should know this. Hmm. Christopher B. We Christopher don't B? So we don't even know what... The C stands for Christopher and the B is... We just don't wow. even know what it is. We have to ask him. We don't even know what it is. That's so sick. Um, Gawain playing the d5 against uh, the Alapin variation and playing this very trendy line with ed, queen d5, d4, knight c6, knight of three, bishop f5. Very, I've very played good. that. Yeah, it's a way to play for a win very directly with yeah. black trying to spice up the position. Some interesting lines with dc when I think you take here. And things can get very sharp, but as far as I can recall, Black was, he was having fair play here. Yeah. And bishop e3, cd. There yeah. were some ways to mess this up quickly with white, which was the main appeal. But I can't remember anything. Knight d4 looks like the most solid. What happens here? Maybe long castles, stuff like this? Mm. Maybe, but it looks... White really hasn't done anything wrong, right? So... Probably not. Like, c3 is a little wrong, and should e3 you could argue about, but no, not really. No, not really. Yeah, uh, I think we're just in theory, and Justin's gonna know what he's doing, but Gawain's very well prepped, and this line has been discussed a lot on some certain th mm -hmm. forums, and 
So I, maybe Gowing's got some ideas. It'll be interesting. He's definitely playing for a win today. Um, What's Fol Justin Tan's HN rating? His rating is about 2450, and his age must be 20... 20, 21, something like that. Old? I thought I saw him participate in the Junior World Championship you recently, can, maybe under check. 18. You can check. I'll maybe, find out. Uh, maybe he's. Let me too. bing that stuff. Justin Tan. Mm. Ah, looks like there's more famous Justin Tans. Yeah, it's quite a. Isn't that a director? Uh, maybe. Justin Tan, he did chess profile. 97, what does that mean? 97, that makes him 19 ish? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so very talented player. 94 E6 E6 split start by Mr. Jones. So if knight takes bishop, the idea is just queen takes. I'd bishop. take that bishop in a heartbeat. But I'm sure Gawain studied this and he was hoping to get in some quick bishop c5, undermining this dude or whatnot. Still if you can't keep the two bishops, might not be much. I play like some, some of like this, oh you know. Oh God! <laughs> God help us! Just, no, Flash. just prophylactic thinking, directly yeah, against yeah, bishop yeah, yeah. c5. Of course it is. It is. Mm, but Mr. Tan has different ideas. He goes knight d2, mm, which also looks like a move. But can Black play this now, hoping? To now achieve all of our goals and dreams. This just looks good for white, no? Mm. No? Yeah, no. Uh, is there literally nobody in the chat? There's nobody watching on? this phenomenon that is the British Championship? Yeah, I mean, it's Friday. People should be finishing work, finishing early. Mm -hmm. British Championships. Maybe That's I scared them away by saying I don't want to hear from you. You think that could have happened? No. No, I think uh, the chat must have frozen. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. It's going to be a long, sad afternoon for it, both of us. It really is. Um, what about uh, Fodor versus Palliser? Tamás Fodor. Is he British? No. Sounds Hungarian to me. He is Hungarian. But he resides in the, the United Kingdom. Correct. Is that the term I should use? Because he doesn't I have to reside in England, right? I don't think so. I think it's the British Isles. The British Isles. Okay. Because I think Irish suit. Because a lot of people still don't know the difference between the United Kingdom, Great Britain, and the British Isles. I keep being confused. I've learned now that... Basically, the British Isles includes everything. So in Ireland. Ireland. Yes. But you shouldn't call people from Ireland British. That much I've no. learned. They don't like that. That said... I believe Irish people are allowed to play in the British. That Irish was going to be my next question. Mm -hmm. Yes. We can double check that. Anybody in the chat. It seems like we have got a frozen chat. Um, don't know what's going on. It's all going wrong today. Yeah. With I don't know what changed. Like things went well for a couple of days. And now so something, something must have changed. It's all going Horribly, anyway, horribly chess. Wrong. Anyway, we've got a really interesting variation. Uh, Trompovsky, for all of you who don't know, great mm, series know. on Chess 24. Oh, you did a series, right? I did, yeah. And uh, 2D5, according to two very important experts on the opening, me and Magnus Carlsen, oh, okay. um, say it's probably the best move in the position. It's a pretty solid move. And E3, C5. This is really the big problem with the Tromp, uh, potentially. And now c3. Now this is a move that I never liked and I've played it before. It's just wrong. It's just giving black a tempo and Richard Palliser. See, I think this is a really bad opening choice actually by Fordor because Richard Palliser is very well booked on the Trump. He's done a book on it. He's worked with Gawain. He's worked with Mickey on it. And um, he knows the nuances. He was ri he's written columns on it. He's got big pages on it and I think you just don't play the Trompovsky against Richard Palliser, especially this line, it's just... You can play what you want, but if you get this position, you gotta own it. You gotta take here GF and now play one of many moves, DC, Knight C3, C4. I don't think Y is better than any of those, no. but they all lead to a complicated fight. But if you play C3, then Black just goes Knight E4, and what have you achieved? You gotta go Bishop F4. There's many tempting moves already, like Queen B6, I'm sure is fine, Queen B3, C4, this type of endgame. 
no problems here whatsoever, but also just normal development like knight c6. I don't understand what white is hoping for. Knight d2, bishop f5. I, I don't get the setup for white. It's just not mm. good. It's just not good. So very surprising that Fodor has chosen this. Maybe he was surprised, uh, but he shouldn't have been given that. Ah! The chat is... Something's wrong. Something's very wrong. Mm. Mm. We will get our technicians on the case in the break. Let Let's... me talk to the, the, the texters. Who could know about such things? Colin, maybe. Yeah? Colin tends Colin. to know everything about everything. Just picking a hair out of my cappuccino. That's all right. That's all right. That's how we do it in Germany. Just to check if you're paying attention. Like if you don't pick out the hair, you didn't really want your cappuccino. Okay, let's go to another game. Let's go to Eggleston Hebden very quickly. And we've got a very slow, old Gioco piano. Um, and we've got a line with a7, a4. Uh, we can go from the top, maybe. Mark has played this system for years. He was never really one to go three bishop c5. He's been playing knight f6 all his life. Well, the thing with and knight f6 is you've got to be ready for knight g5, mm. which is objectively a little scary for black, but it leads to fascinating positions, so it's right. much better to play for a win. And you gain this extra option after d3. The top level, most guys, even after knight f6, they play d3, because they're too lazy to study this knight g5 stuff. Yep. You gain some extra options. You can play bishop e7 or h6, the move I've played here, to fear and catch this bishop after g6, d6, and so yeah. on. But objectively, they're not better than bishop c5, so it's a little out of fashion. Yeah, rookie one. Uh, d6. No, knight a5 is a threat, always very important to keep an eye on that threat, picking up the bishop. Mm -hmm. So a4 is logical, c3 is also possible, because then this bishop can make it back here. a4 is fine, bishop, bishop b6. And now knight bd2, so Eggleston playing not that quickly, I wonder if he's kind of freestyling it a bit. Um, but I quite like this... Ah. I, hmm? I like he, he, the fact he hasn't played c3 yet. Yeah, I was wondering actually about knight c3 instead of knight bd2. Yeah. I'm always a little confused about that structure after bishop c4, d c4, but I take white because you control more ground. Well, knight bd2, I'm not quite sure what your next move is. If black Might... plays whatever, rook e8. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if he does want to just take after rook e8. Okay, I could go queen d7 if that bothers me, but knight b2 feels a little passive to me. Like, you're still fine. Yeah. You can make all the normal moves, c3, h3, whatnot. But I'm not sure if you had to after a4. Yeah. Then again, it might all be theory, and certainly white has done nothing wrong. I was just curious. Okay, let's go to another top game. Oh. Wells Gormali, and it's the battle of the Benoni experts, it sees, and b5 already. Well, all been seen before. Yeah, that is the main move in this position and the principal antidote against the system which Peter Wells chose. Like, there's plenty of slow ways to play a6, a4, or rook e8, but b5 is supposed to be the objective problem. I've spent some happy space barring hours, as I'm sure many people have, in both bishop b5 and knight takes, e5, knight takes b5. Stuff like this. <clears throat> yeah. Normally, after a bunch of computer moves, you get some end games where white is a tiny bit better, but supposed to be a draw. Right. And that's well. more or less the status quo. There's some ways to spice it up. You could go knight takes b5, which they sometimes try. I think just castle, theory right? is... Rookie 8 castles, knight e4, rookie 1. Some stuff like this, rookie yeah. 1, a6, yeah. or bishop a6. And as far as I know, it's also supposed to be fine for black. I think I remember seeing Gawain play this one and lose uh, quite a big game in this line, if I remember correctly. So I'm pretty certain Peter is quite booked up here. He might be like double bluffing, taking a bit of time here, because the problem with Peter is I'm sure he's analysed this, but he's always going to take his time yeah. because he likes, or I don't know, he can't avoid getting into time trouble. 
Well, I think they both know what they're doing. All right, next game, very quickly, we have Ems Waddington. Now, Ems Waddington is a very interesting game because Mr. Waddington is, um, I believe, rated only 2018. So, having an amazing tournament. Yes. Oh, we're still there. I just thought you closed us. No, of course not. Okay. We're good. Just checking. I'm, I'm, I'm clever. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. crook. What? Cook? Cook. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, tell just, us about Mike Waddington. Oh, I don't know much about Mike Waddington, but I know Mike Waddington is on three out of four. And if we look at his results, he has um, beaten Alistair Hill, 22-57, beaten Marcus Harvey, 23-24, lost to Richard Perth, and then beat Charlie Story, 22. He's gaining nearly 50 points already. So, so it's only 2018? Looks He's like a feeder master rated 2018. I don't know what's what happened going there? Might be, he might uh, be. Um, I keep on getting confused with the uh, with the names because there are a lot of names that I'm I'm not that familiar with. And the question is, is he a young guy? That no, he's question, an old guy. That. Yeah, that's more. Well, likely. not old, but. He's born in 66, so, he, you know, he's 50. He's older than us. He's 50 on the dizzle. Maybe just, like, he, he might be the typical case of play chess when he was young, retired, uh, sorry, stopped playing, got a real job like an accountant or a doctor, thought, right, bored of that, going to play some chess, and he was actually quite good in his day and Very underrated. Possible. Yeah, I was just curious. I'm not familiar with the guy. Anyway, we've got just a very standard position. John Ems has played a very slow Gioca piano. We see a lot of these nowadays, and it's just a position. There's really not much to... Nah, not that standard. No. Nah. nah. Because there's bishop g5. It's not that standard thing. I never like thing. doing that. Um, it's all right, but bishop b6 is a very weird reply, because normally after bishop g5, yeah. you want to ask this guy, what are you up to? And you, we've seen a lot of this stuff recently. Mm -hmm. I believe maybe here the difference is White hasn't castled yet. Often mm -hmm. he's castled already. But Bishop B6 feels a little nondescript to me. Like you're giving up all hope of this bishop ever going to E7. And also nowadays it makes sense to get this bishop out of the way, but pretty much everybody prefers to go A6 or mm -hmm. A5 and put the bishop on A7. Mm -hmm. Because if you put it on b6, the problem is always why it's going to go knight bd2, knight c4. And he's going to have the option to either exchange that bishop or even worse sometimes to play a4, forcing a6 or a5 mm -hmm. and then take. So bishop b6 is a little out of fashion, let's, let's right. say. So Waddington may be in some small trouble, of course, the game is just starting. Nah. Against John Ems. John Ems wrote a good book. When I was a young man, I read... Play the open games as black. I saw the light. That's exactly switch to e4, e5. That's and exactly have a look the book back. I talked about on the stream a couple of days ago. It's a good book. I really Great liked book. it. Yeah. Great book. That's actually what encouraged me to play one e5 as well. It's a really good book. Um, all right. So what else have we? Let's go back to the top, shall we? As these are kind of our key games. Got a few other games going on down there. We'll, if they get exciting, we will. And Mickey has decided not to go for a forced draw. Oh, the chat is back. The chat Finally. is back. We got company. The chat, the chat is back in town. Doesn't work. No. Chat I don't know. Are you trying to like make the a song? A song referring to a circus. Boys are back in town. Are the boys are back in town? The chat. I thought it was the town. circus is back in town. No. Wouldn't have no. made a lot of sense. So Mickey decided not to call it an early afternoon. Where are they playing? Is this in London? No, it's in Bournemouth. Do you know where Bournemouth is? No. It's in the south. It's on the coast. It's a seaside Beautiful. town. Yeah. Mickey still resisted the temptation of going for this forced draw. Yeah. Or more or less. I believe that's what Nick was up to. Maybe not, but I think so. And played this line, which many guys, myself included, have in their repertoire. If you stumble into this position, then you have to play for a win against a lower rated player. But objectively, white is a tiny bit better here. And I'm sure Nick, who played e4, you said for the first time since 95, second time, had a look at this. Yeah. Mm. Um, queen b3, king f8. Yeah, this is the other way of playing it. Queen b4 and queen e7, forcing the exchange of queens. Right. So you have to take that off. No option. And now, 
Yeah, maybe you don't have to castle. But... Maybe also you can castle, you can go knight d2. Knight c3, I guess, is what white black is hoping for, because then you get some potential targets d6. The bishop could one day, you know, yeah, do something. This is, this is so nice. this is a structure. But knight bd2 or castles are perfectly adequate for white. And yeah, whenever I looked at this, First of all, I don't like endgame, so that might have biased me, but I thought it was a little easier to play with white, because if you have to go d5, you give up this e5 mm -hmm. square, and else it's going to be a little hard to get by after this knight gets targeted mm -hmm. with rook e1 or whatnot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Jim West says, per Adams, I predict a draw. Actually, I can just use this. Oh, you have your own mouse? Yeah. Wow. Who gave you a mouse? I don't know. This is the not like the old keeper. days. Um, so we'll see what happens here. This is a bit dull for the moment, but it could get interesting. How, Arkel, you were right. Keith played queen d6 a la Tiviakov. d4, knight of 6, knight of 3, and then many moves here, a6, c6. c6 is curious because... Um, was it Karpov who started playing this? I can't remember if it Doubt was... Doubt it. Kramnik played this. No, no, no. Carpo played this. Carpo I think it was qu Queen D6 Scandinavian. Yeah. I think it was he was playing C6 here with the idea of Knight F3 and a very quick Bishop G4. That's what Karpov did. Yeah. Weird thing is, I trust you on this because I believe that in the United Kingdom, you spent your childhood looking at goofy openings mm -hmm. played by strong players, so you could justify. But Karpov played this, so I can get away playing this no, Scandinavian Karpov played with Queen D6. recently. But Tony Miles defeated Karpov playing a6, b5, so I can do it. Like, I believe that's the reasoning. But this is completely mm -hmm. fine. Uh, All right, I'll take your word for it. Knight of 6, knight of 3, c6. And now, yeah, I believe so, it was c6 before, because knight e5 is the critical, critical move. Knight bd7, and um, I remember doing some work on this, actually, and I remember thinking, huh? God, this is horrific for black, and I can't remember been a long time so I can't remember exactly what it was but I've seen bishop f4 played here and then there's some weird lines like knight d5 yeah. I've had this takes, game against Epish. queen takes something knight f3 mm, yeah. yeah whatever <laughs> it's was not that better but I wasn't winning yeah I've played this against Epician. Um but I don't think I think you can also go knight c4 here um, that's but, 4 doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Queen c7? Like, yeah, and then going and then? here or something. And oh, the some Queen aggression. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Actually, I do remember this now. This is just a hor horrific position for Black. Mm -hmm. I remember looking, actually getting quite deep into this. Even Yoni Karlstedt played some stuff like this oh. with White, and I thought, God, that looks good. That looks similar to what I looked at. I'm really behind on the Queen d6 Scandinavian I, development. I don't like particularly going f4 here. I don't know. I'm, I'm a classical player. I know. So you don't I, like moving your f-pawn. Yeah, no. yeah, I mean... f4 they, is always a mistake. That's an easy way to remember yeah, it. Yeah, and, and now what's he going to do? G4 or something? I mean, he could do. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just looks insane to me, but... Yeah, maybe you should, because if you do nothing, one day c5 will come and you're going to be sitting there with your pawn on f4 and you're going to be thinking, what have I done? But seriously, David Howell is a very young active player. He's not that young, but he's active. He's not that active either. Mm -hmm. But he's quite good. He's played. Yeah, he's active. How well do you know David? Very well. See what I did there? I did. Well done. Yeah, I'm not sure if it worked really. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not sure about yeah, G4. If we get Radio Jan on during the broadcast, <laughs> nah, he's maybe not he's... Show up. Oh, that's a shame. Mm. Anyway, um, look at this Justin Tan Gawain Jones game. Look how boring that got. Did get pretty boring? How did they I get here? What, I love what Justin Tan did, by the way. Because like date like Gawain's looking for something a bit spicy, and he ends up every, having an IQP slightly worse endgame <laughs> and being worse. Joy. Oh God, this is like. I'm not sure how much worse it is, but it's not why wouldn't you go Bishop E4 here? Just looks much more normal. Yeah, I agree. Like, to me, take. I don't like normal. taking. But nah. Here, Bishop B5. Well, nah. me. Not even that nah. much. Really. No, 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 no. Bishop B5. Just castle long. Play against this D pawn. Put a bishop. Yeah, but uh, Marshall, well, even if I lose it, I don't really care. Mm, but yeah. No. Mm, yeah. I can't care mm. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
But why not bishop e4? That looks just like so much more sensible to me. Maybe. Just... Anyway, anyway. I don't know. Gawain should know he's a much stronger player than I am. Uh, bishop e2 is kind of... Is that a draw offer? Is that a draw offer? Bishop f3, bishop f3, knight d4. Knight d4, cd4. Check. It's kind of a draw, even if you lose this pawn. Which probably you don't have to, but even if you did, you can't win this. Yeah, I don't even think Gawain's winning this one. Well, bishop e2 hasn't been played, right? We're just speculating or well, what analyzing as they, as they call it. Is he going to go bishop e3 and just say, okay? I doubt it, but that's probably the critical move. Right, if you want to take more power to you, I'll have the two bishops. I'll go long castles, f4. Bishop can go better. to h3 as well. That's I actually quite like White's position here. Yeah, why is it better? D5 pawn is weak. I think you should go bishop e3. Boom, maybe d4 is. It's a pawn. Yeah, d4 looks interesting. It's possible. All right, let's. Uh, that could be. And look at the Wells game. Hello, baby. Yeah. We've got some theory. It's all in the book. Knight b5, knight e4, as you said, is a move. Bishop I'm not sure I said that. I think I was mentioning rook e8 first, but this is, yeah, an old crazy line. Rook e8, knight g5, and. I haven't looked at this for a while. I thought this was supposed to be better for white. Because the point was, you often have this knight e6 move. Mm -hmm. With fe, you can often just castle. Mm -hmm. Say, so, okay, you get your piece back. Congratulations, but I'll have all the fun. d6 is threatened, bishop mm -hmm. g6. Mm -hmm. Too many enemy. Mm -hmm. Therefore, h6 was a mistake, and I believe you're supposed to go crazy with some stuff. Like, was it bishop a6 here? I can't remember. Long time I studied this, but then it was considered to be good for white. So maybe Danny Gormali either doesn't know this that well, or he's trying to get a complicated position to create winning chances. Mm. Or he studied it more recently than me. All three, so many options. All three options are possible. We'll see what Danny does, actually, because it's not clear to me. Um, Mickey Adams has put his king on d8. Yeah, makes sense, because... Mm. He's trying to do without d5 mm. because that would give up the right. e5 square. And right. in order to do that, you have to get your king out of the way either to d8 mm -hmm. or to f8. Mm -hmm. So then you can play d6, knight f6, all these slow improving moves and do d6. the Mickey Adam thing where in a thousand moves you might have some winning chances because of the IQP. And do you play d5 here with white? That looks very sensible. Now that, that is. Now that e5 is not available, why not d5 and knight d4? That's a move for sure. Huh. d5, bishop d7. Bishop, but how are you getting connected here with your pieces? Yeah, you can create some Oof. weaknesses in your camp. Oof. Knight d4. I might lose it. Eh? Yeah. You've got to be very careful. Yeah. Even knight c6, if you're forced to take, you, you, you might. That's true. I know you Still. might be... Your king uh, comp. Yeah, it's a bit a little, um, little, uh, little unpleasant because no way out. You just ignore this. Yeah, push your pawns, do whatever makes like you happy. I like pushing on the king side. Or here, here. Yeah. I'd push on the queen no. side. You'd push on the king side. No, 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 not h4. Get, get the g pawn. That's right. <laughs> Something along those. You've got to play where the majority is, Jan. Didn't, didn't you ever learn this in the textbooks? I was taught candidates first, so I'd go f4. <laughs> that's true. Well, you want to push the candidate. It's a dude that's most likely to become a pass pawn. Not the dude most likely to play against Magnus Carlsen. No. He's not the candidate. No, that's a different candidate. Mm. I quite like White's position after D. Well, we've kind of bungled it. Mm. Okay, but play some moves then. Um, let me stare at the <laughs> engine line a little longer and then pretend this is my idea. Mm -hmm. Rook e8. Okay. Knight d4. Mm, b6. Mm, yeah. That's a difficult move to play, I think. I agree. It's so counter I'm counter Yeah, allowing this really. check. But this I is still not... I don't fully understand it, to be perfectly frank. Check. 
Hmm, but apparently uh, there's nothing <laughs> here. But this yeah. is a weird like, rookie seven sequence. and just bishop d7. No, yeah, yeah, no problems. Seven. Threatening bishop c6. Yeah, okay, not rookie seven. Yeah, you got to kind of analyze this, otherwise this looks kind of scary. I'm also not sure why it's so great for black, but probably oh no, not f4. Don't push the candidate. You want to go f3, restrict some I squares. want to go f3 and g4. But apparently black is in time to do whatever. Rook a6, rook e8. And he's fine, but it's, it's a lot. And I'm with you, d5 does look like a very natural... It's a sort of move Nick play. will play as well, definitely. Well, you could also play like an obvious move, right? Uh -huh. Rook f8. Check. And now d5. Oh, 96. No. 96, no, no. you might suffer. Oh, just yeah. take right. and king d7, put a rook on e8. I mean, this is... This is marvelous for black, and this is a marvelous ending. Horrible for white. Ooh, should still be a draw, but yeah, I agree. This is, this is the best black can hope for. Since I have 96 check, we can still go d5. But d5, knight d4 just keeps your options open, you yeah? know? Yeah. Chess is all about keeping your options open. Yeah, and, you know, I thought that was your life philosophy as well. It is my life philosophy, which is why I'm doing great in life. <laughs> And why, and the chess. why I'm excelling on the chessboard. <laughs> right. We have got a tweet here from Mr. Ben Marlow. Lawrence, how would you describe the English chess school of Chester? Yeah, now, for all of you who don't know, Ben is actually one of my students um, and is doing very well. And Ben would be happy to endorse me live via the Twitter sphere, I'm sure. His rating has gone through the roof since we started working together. And does he as a teacher or <clears throat> as what? I'm his teacher, yeah. I have a few lessons. Oh, okay. And um, so the English school of chess, yeah. Now, there are two English schools of chess. There is the Mickey Adams, Peter Wells, Keith Arkell, that kind of So school. I imagine it a bit like that school is... Um, um, I'm stuck on the names of Harry Potter schools. It's really <laughs> sick. I don't Huff even and Puff. Right. And then there's the other school, which is I'm Slytherin, big... which is you, Nigel Short. Short. Um, no offense, Nigel, in case you're watching. Gawain Jones. Wayne Jones to some extent. P uh, Julian Hodgson. Chris Ward, Julian Hodgson. Not really Julian Hodgson, though. He's like a fake. <laughs> He's a fake hustler. He's a fake hacker. He's a fake hacker who actually plays very strong values. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a few of us, let's just say. Mick is also a bit of a fake heckler. No. no. Well, no. but he played the Trompovsky and all, oh, well, all in, this, in these things you had to play if you were English in those days. Yes. Anyway. Uh, but what's, what's Harry Potter's school called? I should know such things. <clears throat> Not wedding, I can't spell. Isn't it Huff and Puff or something? I'm just not a big Harry Potter fan at all. You don't need to be a big Harry Potter fan, you just, just need not, my analogy not a, to not work. A, so I need not to a know Harry Potter fan at all. Harry Potter. Nah, we'll never find out. I've never seen out. such uninspired writing before in my life. If you like being reading books as if you were a 13 year old, that's fine. But Slytherin! No, that, that's the evil school. That's the wing you're in, but the other one. Sorry, if this... Uh, Gryffindor. He's in Gryffindor. That's what I was looking for. What's... Ah, uh, Hufflepuff. Well, at least it exists. Anyway, my apologies. I know this is a serious coverage of the British Chess Championship. Not to be confused with the English Chess Championship, because not only English players can partake in this, but the best English player gets an extra prize and the title of English champion. Right. So if Michael Adams were to say, were to win this tournament, he would not only get the 5,000 pounds first prize, which used to be a lot of money, not so much anymore, but also an extra 1,500 pounds for best English player. Is that correct? That is exactly correct. Yeah, See, congratulations. Prepared. You've done your I know all about it. Prep. Gryffindor, thank you guys. Um, he did play knight g5. Not surprising, but probably not the best. Mm. So, mm. it's okay. Maybe he wants to go here. Maybe. And then here. 
All right, uh, Justin Tan did play Bishop E2, so now... Can we do Justin Tan, Justin Time jokes, or is that too uh, cheap? It's, it's been done a few times. It's been done, right? The uh -huh. problem with this is I don't think Black has got another move, apart from taking on F3. I think otherwise, he's just worse. Because if you castle long... Well, maybe you can castle long and, and allow Bishop E3, but now you can take, I suppose. So little potential in such a position for Black. Like, the only potential you have is equalizing potential, simplifying mm. in one way or the other. So Gawain might as well admit, eh, didn't really work in the opening. Let's make a draw. Then again, he's not the type to really do that. He's going to look for chances. But with the structure, the structure is so fixed, there's really not a lot of action you can get in. Against me, would you take on F3 here? No. What would you do? I don't know. Maybe I would, actually. <laughs> because mm -hmm. you'd be sick if you ended up with us. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no useful pawn breaks. Like, you're never gonna get an and A6, B5, B4. And just long and going rook HE1. And I mean, you yeah. can prolong You can just castle and play something like ah, this. But, but you're just gonna worse. suffer for free. You should be three. Yeah, anyway. Um, not fun at all. Nah, this is just worse for black. Yeah, he's good, probably gonna take. Um, we, yeah, so you were mentioning the prize money. Now, we should... Uh, uh, make it clear that there is no government funding in the UK, which is why it's struggling a bit. Uh, but we should be thankful to some very well-known donors who have been very generous with their money. And uh, I know one of them very well. Uh, I'm not going to name names at the moment, but thank you very much for making this happen. Otherwise, Mickey, uh, David and Gawain might not have come. So... So are you implying they're thing. getting an appearance fee or is uh, added money to the price fund that motivated them? They're probably getting an appearance fee. I, okay. don't, ima mm -hmm. I don't imagine Mickey turning up for 5,000. I don't know. Nah. Mm -hmm. But times are hard. He's not getting the invitations he used to, you know? 5,000 or 5,000. But I do agree yeah, that <clears throat> maybe something else. Another question I want to ask you. Yeah. Do you favor this format as an open no. tournament, or would you favor no. a closed round? I've round? already said this a few times. I would love to see a well-funded, well-marketed, well-sponsored British Chess Championships like the French uh, closed one, like the US closed one. There are probably a n number of Russian. Others. Russian. These are the top players. Imagine we actually had, for, for the first time in living memory, Mickey, uh, David, Gawain, Nigel... Matthew Sadler, Luke McShane. Um, well, you want to have a wild card or two in and a wild card qual or two. qualifier. Just have a qualification. A wild card. Have ten players, nine round tournament. And you want Julian Hodgson to either play or commentate or both. Or both. And that's what we want because at the and you could call that the British and he did go G four. Wow. And you could call that the British Championships. Uh, the, or you could call it like the absolute British Championships. And then if you wanted to m maintain this tournament, that's fine. Keep it, but make, call it the British Championship. Yeah, Open on the same venue and then have the winner be qualifier for next year's for knockout example, championship, whatever. <laughs> call it the British Open Championship. The thing is, it's always much easier to suggest this than to make it happen. And you need proper funding <clears throat> and sponsors. That's the and problem. So but of course, I do agree that a close tournament... It's more exciting for... It's much more exciting. And it's, more, spectators. it's more marketable and it's easier to get sponsorship. Because unfortunately, you know, a tournament like this is just as. Uh, unfortunately, you can see who's playing in it towards the bottom of the tournament. It's just not that exciting when there are uh, amateur players playing. We want the best of the best playing. So maybe in the near future, I'll try and help in some way in obtaining some some funds for this, if possible. Maybe Fabiano could just lend me a few, you know, a few hundred, you know. Mm -hmm. Can Fabiano become English? Or will just stay he's there just, for a year so he's he can just, play? He's just become American. So I know, yeah. but whatever. We'd <laughs> love him to become English. I'm, sh I'm sure that uh, uh, the English Chess Federation would welcome him with open arms. They would not be able to welcome him with a checkbook. They'd, they'd, welcome, <laughs> they'd welcome him with a big hug, though. Who knows? It's hard being, you know, having very little funding. It's not like in Germany where you've got loads of money and government. It's not the case at all. <laughs> state sponsoring. Not the case at all. No. You've got some money here. You invested in the youth. You've got youth programs. Yeah, we've got nothing. Nothing of the sort. We've got the... So the difference is... 
Um, I believe the state funding has disappeared in Germany too. I don't know the exact amounts. I'm guessing there was some money from the National Olympic Committee. We don't maybe even you have don't that. get that in. We don't get nothing. Right, that's what I'm saying. But it was, first of all, very little, and I believe chess lost that status in Germany as well. Yeah, so we it's always been dependent on entrepreneurs and on private individuals. But you have a lot organize. here. You have a lot of these guys here. I mean, from just Mr. Grenke himself is you know, one of example, course. you know. And there are a lot of chess aficionados in the UK for some reason. There just doesn't seem to be as many. So sad times for UK chess at the moment, I would Sorry, say. Sorry, man. Well, you have such um, great role models, like Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Nigel, if you're watching. He might be. Well, I spoke, did I speak to him today or yesterday? I can't remember. Oh, God, we have a draw. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, Gawain, Gawain just didn't have the energy to even fight this one. And That's why I said at some point you just count your losses and you say, okay, I messed up the opening. Let's make a draw. I can't really win this. So draw for Justin Tan versus Gawain Jones. That means they are both on four out of five. And decent for Justin. Now, Justin, well on for a GM norm at the moment, continuing at this pace. He drew with uh, David yesterday. He drew with Gawain today. It's, you know, four out of five. He's doing very well, gaining lots of, lots of rating. And we'll see if he can make a... I think he's already got, somebody can correct me, I think he might already have one GM, or maybe even two. Could get the third one this tournament, who knows? I don't know. I know you don't know, you don't know much. What you do know, I know some things. you know some things. I would say you know a lot about basketball. Yes. I would say you know a lot about film and yeah. TV. Uh, more TV than film, TV. but yes. yes. I would say you know a lot about German language. Mm, like I would average say native speaker, you I would know say. a lot about, um, that's about it really. It is about <laughs> it, you're not even going to give me like no. opening theory, something. Oh, openings, you, you're good with opening openings. Opening theory. Um, and look at, talking about opening That theory. is about it, like I can't come Here up with go. anything else myself. Look what happened in, this could be the most interesting game of the day, because we have here... After bishop e4, we saw this rook e8, knight g5. Danny did give the check, as you expect, knight c3. And he did play bishop a6, like you said. So at the moment, if I am counting correctly, Daniel Gormali is a full piece down. But yes. white cannot castle and therefore cannot break this pin very easily. And this is the sort of position... Now, if this could work out... I mean, Danny, by the way, has not spent a second. So no, he's in book. So Danny is in book, and this is bad news for Peter, who's already spent 45 minutes. If he hasn't looked at this recently, this is the kind of position that is just not pleasant to play over the board with white. Right. Were I white here, out of book, I would be looking at ways to just bail out immediately. Because, yeah, but even that's not so easy, right? Yeah. It's like, white well, might be better. I also don't know theory, maybe. You, I don't know, what you're supposed to do, queen c2 and some long castle. But how do you bail out? Like, queen a4 doesn't work. This. No. Well... Mm -hmm. well, I mean, just many options, but just takes followed by h6 looks good for black. Yeah, so I'm not even sure how to simplify. Don't I'm move sure. your f4. That's mm -hmm. just too disgusting. That's what I'm for saying. I'm sure, I've seen this position. But you know what I think the problem for Peter is. Um, there's just no obvious moves here. That's one of the big problems. You now the problem for him is that his opponents always play wells. No. Nah. Nearly. Nah. Nearly. Mm. Nearly. Um, anyway, no, but yeah, this is a very sharp position which you have to have studied. What's bothering me is our engine stopped working, so we can't read out the engine. Doesn't inside. matter. I like We're going to have to think, but with this Nicholas is a good to use any engine, you know. Come on, but he's a strong, young, ambitious chess player. I just want to read, weak. read weak. out engine I'd moves and him. make names. Name jokes. Um, so let's try and make a move work. I read that one in the chat the other day. It wasn't oh, even mine. Good. Queen c2. And if I just go... <clears throat> I was wondering about h6, knight e6, fe, and either de or the immediate long castles. But probably de. And what's wrong with this move immediately? Humor I don't me. know. Maybe nothing. Humor me. But... Knight e6. Okay. And so if I take you as going 94 and I, that looks bad for me, no? 
I don't know if it's bad, but it certainly looks messy. So if I go h6, you want to go knight e6, right? Yes. Takes. I also had knight f7, just for the record, but I like okay. this better. <clears throat> okay. Takes and probably d. d. Rook e6. Long castles. Long castles. And... I have a double attack. Bishop a8 and bishop d5. Uh-huh. And this is either promising or... Very promising. Is it very promising? Why not? Looks very promising. So white, black needs a good move here. That is right. Maybe, maybe here he just plays... Can he play sick? Can he play just sickly and play this? Just knight f6 or knight e5? Yeah, just play. But I want to go along castles. Yeah, so and like I'm at just some gonna point. Go, yeah, I understand. I'm going to be go, a piece up. I'm just going to go here. That's too sick. It's mm -hmm. just too much. Bishop right? d3. Well, that one I don't like. Because. Mm. Uh, you want to checkmate me? Yeah, I should. I'll be crying after knight b2. Yeah. It's possible. Unlikely, but possible. Anyway, let me take all your pieces. King takes b2. Let's take this one first. Queen takes d3. Check. King to a1. <laughs> ah, you stop there. Well, what do you want? I just want to mate you. Mm. Well, on the chessboard. Mm. What am I down? Oh, two pieces? Oh. You're down a lot of stuff, <laughs> like anything wins. <laughs> I, I will get mated, but you're still <laughs> objectively lost. I'm not so you yeah, will do that distinction. Still, let's say whatever. Queen C1. Queen C2. You're getting mated. I will probably get mated. You are really mm. getting mated. <laughs> I mean, mm. I'm just I'm just trying to make, you know, be exciting. But Rook B1. Let me try to not get mated. Oh, did you, get, did you avoid mate? Maybe. Uh, that's a good move. Boom! One good move per show. <clears throat> Keep it alive with rook b4. Yeah, but two Actually, pieces are two pieces. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're just spitting out random stuff. Doesn't feel like it's enough, but... It's Danny, Danny isn't playing this a tempo without some kind of plan. And Danny can be very well prepared. Maybe he's been waiting ages to play this line. And thought... Okay, PK is the, the guy to play against. So. PK is very principled. Like, normally that makes it unpleasant to play a guy because you know he's going to go for the main lines and he's going to be booked up. But if you catch Peter a little off guard or he can't really remember, he's still going to go for the sharp theoretical lines, which can also be a problem sometimes. Yeah, but he's going to have 10 minutes left by the time. That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to predict the Gormali win today. That's my prediction. Um... Did you have some controversy with Danny Gormali in the old day when he was wondering why you were getting all the commentary gigs? I recall something. I read some... Yeah, yeah, I think I read some blog post by Danny Gormali saying, why is Lauren Strand getting all these commentary jobs? Young, good-looking, articulate. No, I don't think he mentioned any of those things. I was just wondering if that was him or not, or somebody else. Apologies if I'm mixing it up. But I have a feeling something in the back of my head. With Danny, Danny and I Boy. go back many years. I'm sure you do. I've played Danny in have like you? 2005. Uh -huh. He was on the English national team. He was team. good then. And I was on the German national team. Did you draw? Team. Um, he played E4, and then he forced a draw against my marshal. <laughs> it was a very exciting game. There we but go. He was like 25-50. It didn't no feel like it was there. Maybe higher than that yet. Didn't feel like I was letting my team down, which I never felt when I drew. Frank. <laughs> I mean, how can That's you let your team story. down when you draw all your games at the Olympiad? That's no, that was a European team championship. Oh, sorry. What was it? Nine draws? No, I think I. Mm, let's think. I made a lot of draws in that one. That mm. much I know. But I think I beat Berkesh. Oh wow! I lost okay. to Elyanov, mm. and I beat somebody. Weaker. I am the Finnish guy. Tommy Nybeck? No, no. Tommy was board one. I wasn't board one. Whom did I play? I don't know. Finnish international master. Apology if you're watching. I forgot the name. I think that was it. This I'm sure you guys are really interested in my 2005 yeah. result. <laughs> um, this is Mickey Adams' position. Black is absolutely fine. Maybe even for preference now because. 
The rook moves, the king comes up, the rook comes across, and how can black be worse? I don't like what Nick did. I don't like this move, knight g5. d5 is correct, Nicholas. Give space for your knight. Lebensluft. Lebensluft, we don't say. Lebensraum. Lebensraum, yeah, it sounds so creepy word, but that's possible. Is it, isn't it? It might have been used in Nazi propaganda. That sounds, sort of sounds like that, yeah. Sounds, like, sounds very creepy. So I, I wouldn't shouldn't, use it. I shouldn't use that, no. No, I don't think the word I mean, itself as is wrong, but it sounds, sounds funny to me. It sounds like Nazi-ish a bit, yeah. But Lebensraum, yeah. I believe you would use it for animals, like the area they would. Yeah, this is, in. and what is this? It's a horse. A horse? So, you know, give me a break, buddy. No, I'm not saying anything. Like, I'm impressed with your command of ancient German language. <laughs> yeah, of, of, of National Socialist German propaganda language. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. For all of you out there, we are a purely uh, liberal and uh, tolerant broadcast. So. Speak, speak for yourself. Jan is... Uh, oh, look what we've got in Eggleston, Hebdon. We have four knights on the board, and black is fine. Um, yeah, all of these knights are far away from the d5 square, which is really where I'd like one of them. Especially a white one. Even a black one, I'd put it here. But yeah, I think black should be all right here, right? Yeah. The structure, sometimes it can be a little deceiving. That's a word. Deceptive. Nah, deceiving. Because you, can, you both have been used. I know, but uh, because sometimes it's very hard for black to do anything, and white just slowly builds up a five, whatever, puts his piece in the center, and it's unpleasant. But I like Hepton's last move, knight h6, just preparing f5 or f6 yeah, followed by f5. That's class. Bit of chess well, culture, you know. Yeah. <laughs> when you get in f5, no, that's a great move, knight h6. Actually. Great move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got the chat. What's the chat saying? The chat is saying. Lawrence, I command your German schools. I think you mean commend, but... No, I think he's making a joke, because in the past I have oh. used command when I meant comment. Ah, and I'm sure he's referring to nice. that, because Peter Fiddler called me out on it, and right. I commanded Peter's command of the English language. Um, we've got Adam Hunt. Hey, he's got one GM norm. Uh, does young Justin Tan, which is great. Uh, so he could... Re he's really on for a second. What's his performance thus far? Like, can, we, can we see that? Can we just have a quick, quick sneaky peek? Do your thing. What are we checking? It's gaining nine, so that means he's performing at twenty-five fifty. So yeah, it's uh, decent, decent performance thus far. Um, what else have we got? What are you doing? You're reading the chat. Yeah, I'm trying to read the chat. We've got Lewisham Chess. Thanks for tuning we in. We don't have enough viewers. Lewisham How can Chess. we get more viewers? Can we? Lewisham Chess is... Um, that's where Danny Gormalis hails from originally. Lewisham. Beautiful part of England. Beautiful. You should really go there once. Lewisham? No, don't. I'm going to struggle pronouncing it. Don't ever go there. You don't like it? I haven't been there for many years. The last time I went there, let's just say, if you walked around in that suit, by the time you got home, you'd have no suit left. And you'd say, home, not home? Home. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. Um, I watched a lovely British TV show the other day called Happy Valley. I want to go to that oh, valley. Seems like a Codinho. happy place. Maybe Gormali doesn't rate Trent as a commentator as he keeps harking back to 1996. Every time he mentions Gormali's name. Have I harked back to 1996, this broadcast? No, you haven't. Cordinho, keep the trolling coming. We love it here. We are open to all. We are tolerant. I'm not that troll tolerant. And what happened in 1996? I've got no... I mean, I don't even think I knew Danny in 1996. 1996. That's don't the know. year I won the German under-17 <laughs> championship. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. um, what else have we got? Yeah, we need more viewers. So how about a quick... Re Let's cover the Svit monster. Grab some of these sw Svitsters. The Can, are we allowed to do that? I think we have the oh, game. Oh, Svitsters are Svidler uh, fans? Is that what you call yeah, them? Yeah, we call them Svitsters. Ah, oh, I like that. 
It's like the Cumber Bitches. Excuse it, it my language. It is like Cumber Bitches. Or Are we allowed to say that on here? We probably, no, no. You're what? allowed to say Cumber Bitch, but not just bitch. Like it has to be combined with something right. else. Like gotcha. You can't use, you have to say what the heck, because we're not going to say hell on this program. Like stuff like that. But Cumber Bitch is perfectly fine. And it's like Beliebers. It's a Belie term. Right. Mm. So how's the Let's sister Let's just look doing? at the position now, because it's just... Yeah, this got weird. awkward, right? It's, uh, it's so hard with the cursing. What's going on? Mm. We're going to get complaints now. Apologies. Yeah, info at chess24.com. <laughs> yeah. Info at chess24 or Jan at chess24.com. <laughs> no, that doesn't exist. Um. Why are we looking at this opening? We're not. Bo we're here for the British Championship. Let's just check in with the position. Okay. And let's do a pawn count. Pawn is equal pawns. White's better. I take white better. Better structure. A little weak. Potential majority. Pin. Why? Why gonna pin. Why it's gonna win? Queen b5. Mm. Why can't I take and? You could take? just grab a pawn. No, just win. Take it? here. Yeah, take. Yeah. Knight e5. Take here. Knight, knight f7. Take here. Gavinning, no? Are you winning? You might be losing. G losing. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Hold on. So knight e5, bishop Hold g5. Up. And we need a good move. Queen f3, so I'm sat No, no, no. You just have a4. No, he's pinned for, for a, a few more moves and. Good. Now I really am. I feel like I'm really close to winning this. With right. The, are you? Do you not feel that? I feel like you are close to winning this. Yes. But I can't see it. I'm waiting for magic. Magic. Sparks to fly. It's, you'd love to go king g two and rook d one. Yeah, we would love to do that. Can we not do that? Have we got time for that? Yeah, but once we do that, then there's rook d7. Yeah, and we're pinned again. But even that ending might just be... No, with the b-pawn. Yeah. Bottom line, Svidler in line, trouble. Yeah, we can't calculate. Peter, he can't with. calculate. <laughs> Poor Peter. Um, he's play Unfortunately, he's also playing a guy who's just he's in on the fire, form, that dude. form of his life. Live rating of 2820. Who would have thought Maxine could have got there? Well, I actually always believed in Maxine. I said this to him a long time ago. My uh, friend Paco Vallejo, many years ago, like five years ago, he yeah. told me, MVL, that's one of the best players in the world. Mm -hmm. You watch his rating grow. And he was right. Mm -hmm. MVL finished his studies at age 24, studied mathematics. Then, you know, let's look at a bit of chess. Let's finish the night off in the Grunfeld. 2820, closest to Magnus Carlsen in the live ratings, of yeah. course. Some other contenders, like personally, I believe Nakamura has a great chance to get there. Kramnik, Wesley So. Mm. Anybody else? Um, Are you to, missing Trying anybody? to think if anybody else. Um, Anish Giri. Oh, Koding. Ding Liren. And Fabiano Caruana. Ah, Could, yeah, 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 sure. Codinho mm -hmm. has uh, said, sorry, 2006, Danny controversial Gormali. I don't think I've actually mentioned the fact that what happened in 2006. I don't know what he's going on about. So, isn't hasn't Danny just been? Uh, what is in 2006? It was this fight during the Olympiad. Okay, it's like ten years ago. Let it go. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that's the whole point. I mean, what I love about Danny is very interesting. Re re it's a really interesting articles, interesting opinions on social media. That's probably what I'm referring to, you know? Probably is. What we got? <laughs> I like doing that. What happened? Mm. Why? Nothing. <laughs> Why did we do that? <laughs> I do that a lot. Uh, yeah, I had a mental note from the other day. Oh, okay. Um. Dinin! These guys make the commentary unwatchable. Please log Only, out. To be honest, go away, Dini. Dini, you are welcome fix. to leave the chat. You are not premium. This is a free service. Please depart the chat. You are not welcome here. Uh, anybody else, by the way, who doesn't want to watch us, please log out. Uh, this is a free service. So no, can... don't encourage them because we only have like, now that Dini is leaving, we, we only, only have, have like four six. viewers yeah, left. So if they, right. yeah. if they leave as well, then that's it's right. just going to be you and me. Yeah. 
anybody, uh, feel free to actually drive to Bournemouth and watch the live commentary with Andrew Martin, uh, if you would prefer that. Um, we, we're, here, we're, we're full of love. We love people. We're trying to put on a show here. Um, no, no, I don't really want to be here. <laughs> no, but I am interested in Question. the tournament, believe it or not. I haven't followed it much, but I do think that our boy David Howell, slumping a little bit recently, but that he can give Mickey a run for his money in this one. Mickey's so solid. It's going to be hard for Mickey to win enough games. Nah. Nah? Yeah? Nah, he grinds out some endings. Mickey will be there. Mm. We got a lot of love. Logical nonsense. Thank you, sir. Oh, we're getting a lot of love through. Look at that, Jan. We don't just have haters. We got CP CPK, the Bowtie Club, Jim West. Thanks, boys. We appreciate it. Duke Nails. Appreciate it. We're going to look at some chess now. This is the position in Howe versus Arkell. Some people call him Arkell. Some people call him Arkell. I actually don't know. What do know. you call him? I call him Keith. Keith? <laughs> yes. Right. Keithy boy. I call him Arkell, but I'm not a native... What Speaking. do you think of the position? I like this to a certain extent, what David is weird said. to me. Does it? G594? Like, it makes sense having gone for this G5 move. I don't think you had an alternative. You don't want to take on D5 or allow Knight C3. But it feels a little the funny, doesn't it? The problem is Keith, as I said, he understands structures very well. He doesn't like no, stuff he's... like this, right? No, no. He, he, F6 is not even a move that crosses his mind. That's so what better. move is Keith thinking of? He's obviously looking at the move bishop e7. Error. He's obviously mm. probably looked at the move c5, but we'll reject it very quickly. Might think about this, but it's very... No. He's not going to play that. He's not going to allow fe5. Yeah, he's not going to allow fe5. Mm. Yeah. So I think Keithy Boy is just going to say, okay, what you got, David? I'm going to play bishop e7. It's your move. Because I don't think c4... Uh, c4 might be a bit annoying. Yeah. I was curious if throwing in this check makes yeah. any sense, but not really. C3 Probably, no. just helps. So, wide. what's Keith gonna? What's a Keith move here? Uh, <clears throat> 97, maybe? Uh, 97 is possible, but I, I feel like I'm capable of bl blundering something here. Um, yeah, 97 is a Keith move. That really is a key for me. Might be the key to the position. But that's 97. Maybe you just go bishop h3 here with white. Mm. Okay. Yeah, castles. Yeah, I'm not 100% yeah, I mean, <laughs> sold on this maneuver this myself. I mean, it's apart a little from, slow. Yeah, I mean. Uh, but because it's you, I'll take this more. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> Doesn't work. No. Nah. Um, but the, the, the thing is that, yeah, it's just a. It is a kind of bit awkward, this position for Black. He needs to exchange some pieces, doesn't Maybe, he? Yeah. That's the point. Knight e4 is actually a very principled move. Not exchanging pieces and uh, leaving Black... Uh... So let's go for it. Let's go c5, see what happens. Dinin! What does he say? I can't see... Uh, what have we got here? Can we see? Uh, let's just have... Let's just have some... Fun! Uh, at open up, I agree. I just don't think our arrogant, often insulting comments for the players are entertaining. Don't know when I've been insulting to the players. I'm on very friendly terms with all of them. That's me. I've insulted most of the players oh. and Nigel, who's not even participating. Fair enough. But insulting Nigel is kind of completely fine. Yeah, I think that normal uh, is street cred. But please, Dinin, if, if this isn't your kind mm. of show, please leave. Uh, and if you want to ask the likes of Keith and Mickey and Nick and David and Gawain if I'm on good terms with them, please send them all an email simultaneously. And we've got a draw! This is a draw fest today. Jan Gustafsson comes to the, to, the, to the game and it's just a draw in every one of the top games. Um, yeah, I'm surprised Mickey didn't continue. Like, I don't think he's... Better necessarily, but I thought this is as good a, as good as it gets when you play this line. He could potentially, well, I probably didn't see a lot of potential because this is not really a weakness. And if White just maintains plays this construction, F3, plays yeah. F three and yeah. does nothing, it's going to be very, very hard to make Mickey any leeway. Th <clears throat> Mickey just thought, well, I can uh, spend a nice day with my wife. 
Tara on the seaside. Um, maybe go and eat some fish, some fish and chips. And uh, um, I don't see Mickey as a big fish and chips guy. No? No. Yeah, he's from Cornwall. They love it down there. Yeah? Yeah! I don't know. He loves it. Mickey loves a bit of fish. Can we get confirmation on Mickey liking the fish and chips? Um, I'm really not sure. But yeah, I don't think he saw any potential here. Nick is a quality player, as we've mentioned the other day. Clearly was happy with the draw today. Just chose a rocky solid line and got his wish. 20 more moves. And that's what I was saying. David Howell, if he wins today, which I yeah, think he might very a... well, yeah. then he's gonna, it's going to be hard for Mickey to keep track. <clears throat> Keep track. Keep Aurelian Florea says she never gets an he or she, I can't see, never gets an answer. Aurelian, there's a reason you don't get an answer a lot of the time. It's because you're not a premium member. Please become premium. And then, if you want to ask things like about the opening, about the game, Mr. Jan Gustafsson here, one of the top experts in the world when it comes to openings, he does a show, Jan's Opening Clinic. I haven't done that for a while, actually. He hasn't done it for a while, but he will answer I'll your opening for... questions. <clears throat> Become premium and you will have access. This site is run on the very generous donations of its users. Uh, without you guys and without our premium members, we would not exist. Yeah. So I wouldn't call it donations, though. I believe you actually do get a lot. If we're doing the plugging for 10 euros a month, you get access to I mean, literally the 10 euros thousands of educational yeah, videos. It's, it's unbelievable shows. I think value, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Um, what else have we got? A4 play. Look, game of the day is this, or it's going to be this. That's my prediction. Or this. Actually, we've got three games that are exciting. Look I'm only excited about Peter K. Wells versus Daniel W. Gormelli. Mm, A4. Do you know what? Can I tell you? Don't like it. Don't like A4. Slow. Can't castle long. Well, he wants to go knight b5. Yeah, just so I go queen b4 here. I just play queen b4, first move I look at. You have time for that? Of course. Queen c2. Okay. And how has this benefited you? Well, I want to go knight b5 next move. No, but then I can take on b2 in the well, long run. H6. <laughs> you still want to do this? Okay, baby. Mm, I take. I have to calculate. No. Oh. Oh, that's so weak. Yeah, but I can just go back ski. Back ski to. Can I go to b7? You can. Let's try queen b7. Yeah, fe. Mm. This is that's zero so one. Position. This is zero one all day long. Oh, White's position is horrific. Unless you've got 93. Yeah, 91. No, I was thinking about 93, but it's a total Knight mess. Six, Knight, Even 80. Even 90. Yeah. No, this is winning for black. So, uh, Queen b4 is the first move. That That's the first okay, move. Okay, let's play brute force. Rookie 4. Mm -hmm. nah, this is just. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can even take it. Take what? I can even take on e2. If yeah. I, I think so. No? Let's change up. Not really. Really in exchange up? Feels like there's some comp. counter play, I'll give you that. <laughs> feels like there's good comp, but okay, let's not I mean this is uh, can let's I let's not jump to conclusions. I my gut feeling agrees with you that A four feels slow, I would have moved my queen somewhere. I like Queen C two. Queen F three, Queen C two, whatever, but maybe Peter's right. Maybe but knight b five is not really a th I don't understand the idea if I'm just going queen b six. Let's say I go h six here. Ah, he wants to go knight b5 in castles. This is his idea, right? Mm. Uh, I now finally understand the point of the whole thing. Queen well, b6? No, here knight is 6 Here you're happy, I think. Okay. Whenever you get to castle in any of these lines, you're normally fine because g6 is weak. So we have to stop that. That's what we have to do. We have to... Uh, uh, ooh. What's going on? Did something catch your attention? I don't know what I don't know what's, what's going on at the moment. Uh, we're getting a lot of messages. You're so controversial. <laughs> like, I've been sitting I, in the studio I mean, for like two years, yeah. no problem. <laughs> you know, we're doing ten minutes and like everybody's worked up. 
What's wrong with people? Why can't mm. people just have fun? I don't know. I'm German. Like, we're not specialists on the art of having fun. We've covered that topic before. Also, in case you're wondering why the show is so random and why we're vaguely familiar, if you're mm. new to this program, Lawrence and I have spent, like, literally hundreds, hundreds of, hours. of hours sitting literally. next to each other yeah. talking nonsense. So, this is not new to us. That's why I'm yeah. so bored. Else, I'd be really excited to be here. But it's just, we've been here, we've done that. I think, um, yeah, we've kind of exhausted the film. Uh, yeah, we got nothing new to talk about. We've got new, no TV shows, I don't watch them anymore, I'm just boring and go home. And have you don't tea. watch TV shows anymore? I haven't watched TV shows. The only one is Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. We yeah. both know that. Um, Danny in for a thing. I, I would be curious, I mean, I'll tell you what we can do. Can I cheat on this one with Danny? I'm curious. I just think that something is in the air. Yeah, Queen Bee falls the second move. It doesn't surprise me that that's the right one of the right moves. H six does feel wrong though, right? H six, like, yeah, yeah. Normally H six. If you yeah. if you get this, yeah. I'm always happy with mm. white. Pretty much yeah. giving back this a whole piece because then once the king is safe, this is gonna be the prom. No, I'm with you. This Queen Bee four, if it works, no clue. But then it's a critical move. What's the line? Queen B4, Queen C2? Uh, queen B4, Queen C2, and Knight B6. How easy is it to play that move? Let's. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand that move. Very Knight much. B6? Yeah. Just to jump here. Wow. Yeah, I just think there's just eternal comp here. That's the problem, and it's. Um, it's just. Oh, I don't know. It's one of these positions I'd lose with white. Even if it's better for white, it's sometimes very hard to keep everything. I can't see Peter, Under control. Peter holding this. Peter's going to gonna spend a lot of time. Yeah, We're going to see him in time for always going to be sad. Richard Palliser, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know how to play against the Trompovsky and not play the Trompovsky, this is, I mean, Queen C1? I mean, I get it that Queen B3, C4, but, like, what is this stuff? And Palliser is just... Is he better? Mm -hmm. Looks good. Looks for nice him. for black to me. Yeah. Looks good for black. Um, yeah, I just don't like the way Fodor has handled this opening at all, in the slightest. Um, how about we go for a very quick refresh? Yeah, and we've been on air just over an hour and 20 minutes. We Let's can go do for it. a little break. We're going to come back very, very shortly with continued coverage of this round of the British Championship. And very quickly before we go, Oh, I was just curious. Uh, yeah. Isn't he running into looks rook unpleasant, d1 yeah. next move? Well, he can go here. What? Rook ah, rook d1. d1. I thought rook b5 oh, yeah. was dropping. Poor old Fede is going to lose in two moves. Ah, but queen d3. Uh. Yeah, but this is just horrific. Is it? Nah, it's not too bad. What? Takes, takes. 95. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh. Should be a drop. <clears throat> Should be a drop. Mm. We draw. will be back with more of the same. Insulting the players, insulting the audience, not making any effort to get to the bottom of any of the positions. Open disinterest in the tournament, criticizing the format. So you're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back here in a couple minutes and also tomorrow we'll be here all day. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Lawrence Trent. It's not the end of the show. It's like you're doing an outro. We'll be back in 10 minutes. <clears throat> no, no, no. Uh, we'll be back in 10 minutes. We both have a mouse, so this might... <laughs> <the table laughs> yes, we, we can't look.
Bishop I just raised, yeah. And we're back. Welcome, everybody. Sorry, I oh, you caught call you me there. picking my no <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to, but I was just had I seen it, I would have done it. In order, I to was just... prepping myself, but never mind. We are talking about round number five of the British Chess Championship, and it is quite an exciting round indeed. Only two of the top three games have ended in draws within the first twenty moves. <laughs> that means we have the game Howell versus Keith Arkell or Keith Arkell. You choose the pronunciation, still going on, and I'm very happy because he played my move, knight e7. Removing this knight from its dangerous outpost where it could get kicked. But and it has to move again, here that's the or problem. Here. Yeah. It is playing with fire a little bit though, because it's a very, very, how do we call this, slow plan. Okay, let me just, pl pl let's just play some ideas here. Um, what if I play like an orangutan and play queen h5 this is you want to go g6 i'm weighing my options let's do it yeah queen h5 is no good no because this helps me yeah. to stabilize <laughs> okay so let's play the move that i originally wanted to play bishop to h3 bishop h3 now i'm afraid i'm not on time to play g6 because you might take, I might right? just take and go knight f6. Even that's not even this totally clear, but this mm. isn't really... Uh, nah. nah. So what are you going to do against bishop h3, Jan? I will have to put my knight in harm's way. Okay, now let me think. And... Let me castle. Like a normal... Thing. I'll let you castle. By the way, now let's continue this discussion. Yeah. And now I want to rip you to pieces. Is that possible? I am aware of that. Not so easy though, huh? I don't think it's so easy. I have a plan. I want a castle. Hmm. Mr. Keith Arkell found, I believe, a decent plan. There's 97, 95. I'm not sure if he's going to have time for all this. It's not obvious why not, is it? I kind of... Yeah. I don't have a good, <laughs> a, a serious follow-up here, it seems. No. So this game is going to continue to be interesting. Just as the game Wells Gormelli Grandmaster Battle here, where Danny Gormelli played the move. You called out immediately the move Queen to B4, most aggressive move, targeting B2. Just the most Keeping logical on move on the board? Most logical move on the board is on the board. So what did he say here he wanted to do? He wanted to go... I don't think Peter said anything about it, but Queen C2 was what we looked at, right? Then Knight B6 and some weird stuff. Knight B6 is so odd. Makes a lot of sense if you see it, but the thing is that black is a whole piece down and he's just playing as nothing as if nothing happened. Could not care less. Very messy position. And of course Peter Wells a little down on time, even though Danny Gormali spent like half an hour almost on this move queen before. Yeah, that's understandable to spend half an hour here. I mean, he wasn't booked till here, yeah. and a4 caught him yeah. off guard. But yeah. normally, in a sharp theoretical position, you're kind of happy if your opponent makes a move you don't know because you know it might not be best. Queen b4, yeah, logical. That took time. Agreed. And what else is there? Pert Adams ended in a draw. Pert, not Nicholas Pert, we should say. He did not fully avenge his... Is it twin brother, Richard? They're twins, right? They are twins, right. Yeah. <clears throat> Who lost to Mickey yesterday, but he held Mickey Adams to a very solid draw. Same can be said about Justin Tan against Gawain Jones. Justin Tan might arguably have been even better out of the opening had the interesting move Bishop E3 mm -hmm. here, but chose to play it safe, and in this position, Black has absolutely nothing better than going for something like this. Offering a drop. Richard Palliser is a little better against 
Tomas Fodor, who messed up the opening, yeah. in our opinion. Massively. And interesting, Eggleston versus Hebden. Now, Eggy has just played the very thematic move C5. Um, I don't know if I who I prefer here. I could prefer white on a good day here. I don't think white can be better. But I'm not sure if it can be worse. Let's say I want to play it safe, which mm -hmm. normally I do. I take mm -hmm. and go, say, here. Mm -hmm. Still, one, yeah. Feels like a bit of pressure. This feels like a the sort of position Carlson would mm. just start to uh, get. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so something went wrong so. for Mark somewhere. I wonder where it. Because well, I like did this. all the logical things. F six, F five, takes, takes, takes. Five. No, but maybe maybe, maybe yeah, as yeah. to yeah maybe as to just oh no then no it work. No, doesn't work yeah it doesn't work six but that looks clumsy yeah and it allows stuff like ninety four no ninety four which you probably don't want so no yeah. all logical mm. c five and he should do better than what we just. It feels a bit better for white. Yeah, okay. okay, I come back with my queen and it's kind of... Knight, knight there, I'll go queen d3. Looks like that. Yeah, still. Awkward, yeah? I'm not sure how bad oh, no, it is, no, no, just uh, it's, it's, I'd well, maybe, rather not have this weakness. Maybe not queen d3, maybe allowing tempo on the queen is a bad idea. Queen d2. Oops. <coughs> Not going to be able to do it. And he's played knight fe7, Mr. Hebo. Okay, still my g6. Okay, By the way, <coughs> I this understand. is looming. I understand. I'll take on d6. I'll let you. I'll let you think about rook f3. Okay. Uh -huh. yep. Think about it. Okay. How much trouble am I in? You're in real big trouble because I have a double threat of this and this. Yeah, that could uh, that could spoil the fun. Yeah, I have to be careful about that. So maybe this mm -hmm. is a bit. So maybe Queen D one. Very deep. Very deep. Yeah, well, it's a little passive now. You don't have Rook D right. one. But at least you're not sacking and. I understand. That's so still. I'll take. All right. And I'll go. I'm, I want to. I want to restrict your knight. So what if I go knight e4? Invite d5. Do I want to invite that? Probably not. Mm, inviting many things. Well, knight f4. So you, you probably want to go d5 here. I don't know. I kind of want to go knight f4. No, okay, I'll go d5. And if I go knight c5. Yeah, that's a tree. Yeah. I don't know. It's. It's one of those ones where a few accurate moves you might be a bit better with white. I'm not so sure. I no, I'm not sure either. I like this move. I'm going to change move. my mind. Good move, yeah. Say that black is fine. Yeah, I agree. Saying of saying I can't even make any sense. What's with the chat? The chat. Oh, We've well. got a lot in the chat. Mm. A lot, a lot, a lot of. David Hart played bishop e3, that's also a very sensible move with the idea of knight f5, bishop f2. Is it though? Like, it makes sense to control this knight, but it doesn't feel so active somehow, does it? Bishop e7? What's the problem? I don't think there is a problem. I think. I think there's no problem. Because long term, black is fine. Castle yeah. Six, bishop well, seven, this is the five. problem. You, you put your pawns up the board, and this is what can happen. Mm. So. Yep, knight f5 has been played. I like this 97, 95 thing. Mm. What else is there? That's all there is. Peter well, Siddler drew his game, in case you're interested, against MVL. We can have a quick look at M's Waddington, where Mike Waddington is 
probably he's all right. He's okay, but probably he's going to come down to one of these very slow positions with the two bishops. Like I'm not sure. This is probably not the perfect move order, but something like this. Yeah, sometimes it's a question if you can actually grab this pawn. Mm. Um, this bishop on h4 can be a strength, but it can also be a problem. In some lines, it's not really participating in that much. Like here, I think g5 is too early, probably. But overall, I think Warrington is he's doing okay. -ish. Yeah. And uh, by the way, out the corner of my eye, I see Chris Ward has got a marvelous position with white against Chris Duncan. He's got binds, he's got squares, he's got everything a man would want, uh, everything a man would want in life. Just doesn't have the trophy wife. He doesn't? Uh, Chris might, uh, but I was being more metaphorical. Oh uh, yeah, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, I'll I'll just be straight just, up, yeah. mm -hmm. straight up literal, please. Literally, literally, literal, mm -hmm. literally. Literal. Um, Thomas Fodor Jr. I don't know what he's doing, but it's like horrific for why at this position. I wouldn't call it horrific. It's really bad. Uh, you're too. I wouldn't weird. call it really bad. I mean, let me castle long. I would move my knight out. Okay, and I'm gonna go here. I would take. I'll go here. I would go king f2. You're gonna get you're gonna get beat here. It's possible. <laughs> Were you gonna put a knight on f1? Nah. Well, you have to if I go queen c7. Mm -hmm. Nah. What do you do? I don't know. <laughs> queen c7. <laughs> you were bluffing. No. But I don't want to play this. Let's go back. Knight d2. No. And if I go... So I don't want you to get a knight to e3. Gut feeling is this is really bad. My gut feeling. But... Do you trust your gut? In yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. And if I went with it more, I think I'd be more successful. Did you know that humans have more nerve endings in their gut than in their brain? It doesn't surprise me. It's not true. Because my brain is not true? <laughs> okay. But it was nice. You sold me on it. Mm. Um, what do you guys think about Svidler's nomination for Sinkfield Cup at Kramnik's injury? I don't think it's an injury. I think it's an illness. Um, so we wish, firstly, we wish Vlad very uh, speedy recovery. Hope he gets better soon. Uh, Peter Svidler, well, I don't think Peter's been to St. Louis before, has he? I think this is the first time. Probably, yeah, I can't recall him. I can't recall him, him there, yeah. So, um, Peter, he's, a, he's great for the, he's a great personality, a lot of insight, good for the tournament, top player. And uh, the question is, would Fabiano prefer Peter or would he prefer Vlad? That's all you're thinking about? Who's yeah. a better opponent for your boy? Of course. Yeah. Um, Fabiano. No, I've known about this or about this discussion for a bit now. It looks like it's official now. I just thought Peter doesn't have a choice. Of course you play. If you get the chance to play the tournament, you play. Like, conditions might not be ideal for him. I know he had other plans, and I know that yeah, he hasn't done so well in this match in Beal that he played right now. But in general, I always believe in Peter. If, he, if he's motivated, and in such a super tournament against the world's best, he doesn't get to play as many as he used to. He is normally motivated, we've seen in the candidates, that he can still play with the best of them. I'm, I tend to have faith in the guy, and I'm excited to see him get a chance yeah um we he did play queen d1 look at this this is interesting eggleston did put his queen back on d1 who where what eggy Eggles, eggy yeah eggy put his queen on d1 because he didn't ah, he didn't want to put all his eggs in one basket with queen d2 like it, it was it's been done before i know i've seen a lot of eggy jokes in 
<laughs> in the chat the other but, day, know, but make, let's make, do it. But just, you know, make sure you don't don't continue telling bad ones or else you'll get egg on your face. And uh, <laughs> you don't want that. What would you do here if you were eggy? Have an omelette? Mm. No? I tried to equalize you. <laughs> oh, dear. What do I do with this knight? Do you think if your name is Eggleston, you're used to egg jokes or you, you've never heard one before and like you find it hilarious if someone throws an egg punchline at you? I think he's had his fair share of egg jokes. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like we always think name jokes are hilarious. Normally they're not that funny for the person because they've all heard them all. Right. We'll, we'll keep doing them. I'm just we saying. Have, we'll, we'll just do them until yeah, yeah. We'll just do them anyway. Um, I like his move potentially, C4, just to... Let me see for myself. Um, Not bad. Uh, yeah, it's good positional move, stopping d5 and also threatening c5 in many a line. The question is, can I jump into activity? I think his idea here, if I'm not mistaken, which I am... You normally are. Um, Can I play a really weird move here? Please, go knight h1. Oh. Mm. I don't know what this move does, but... Me neither, but it confused me. So it's, it's confused <laughs> the head Accomplished out of me. one thing. <laughs> I'd like to go queen g4. Can you take on d6 That's, then? That was my idea, and basically to claim that mm -hmm. this is actually a prophylactic move against Very queen deep. g4. Okay, what about this? Yeah. What? I'm just gonna take on d6. Anyway? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to go knight g5, then I noticed queen f2 was in the air. It I is in the air. It. So if I go knight g5 first, no, then I haven't got a square, so that. Yeah, it's too artificial. It was just a thought. Hmm. And what do I do against this darn knight? I just can't play against these knights on f4. No, I agree. Even though we all agree that Y is an excellent player, you still have to like deal with the black activity here. Can you go see if no, you can't? I don't know. I like black. You're right. Yeah. Mark Hepton understands everything. We don't. He's a Peter good player. Wells. Oh. F3. Very double-edged. Yeah. Trying to keep the extra piece, but weakening some dark squares. Imagine a bishop giving a check on G3. Just imagine. Imagine Paint this picture and then try to put your king here, here, or here. Not going to be able to do it. So, having said that, let me go bishop e5. Nah, but then he's going to go. What is he going to do? King f2? Probably. Probably. That's probably his point. So we must be more cunning. Stop king f2. Nah. I don't know. I don't trust this yeah. f3 move just based on appearances. Horrible. Also, h6 always wins this knight now. Hmm. Let's try and actually work out if this is a losing move. Want to think? Yeah. You do the thinking. I will study... What will I study? This picture of ours. Hi. The problem hmm. is I can't find a winning move here. Me neither. What, can I play my knight e5 again just because I'm a Neanderthal and want to play knight e3 check? Yes. Queen takes b knight c4, queen takes b2. Knight c4? I like that you're not even considering winning the piece. Back. Yeah, I just don't. But why would I invite it? Because the, the piece, does, I don't feel like I'm a piece. Knight c4, I'm playing bishop d4 check. b2 is hanging. No, I'm with you. This looks very... This, white's pieces are unpleasant. just not working together at all. No, it's true. Would you take black here? Nah, I'd still take white. Extra <laughs> piece, you gotta go with a piece, but you wouldn't I'd be it. very scared. You, you, there's no way you'd take white in this position. No, that's true. This just looks... not. I don't know if it's lost, but it looks... It does look scary as heck. Not hell. I'm not going to okay. use that word. Don't use it. Yeah, Peter, I think he... Well, that's what he does. He plays principled. But he got caught off guard a little bit, and once again... Mm. Nothing over white, there's still a clear piece up, but it feels extremely dangerous. And I kind of like your 95. Yeah. <clears throat> or, yeah, this this was I a like sure move a bit earlier, more. but this 
Because, that yeah, this, this is a threat, yeah. That's a threat to actually win a whole queen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think if Danny plays knight e5, I think Peter's going to just spend another 20 minutes and just not have any moves, and it's just... Nah, it's, it's, I, don't, I don't feel it's going to be Peter's day. Um, Richard Pallas have played a very good move, which is basically the move I wanted to play and didn't play it. Bishop d6, one... Prophylactic thinking. Yeah. He's trying to stop knight d2 because then he can go e3. Yeah, that makes this it is, a little more awkward for white to is, develop. I don't know what you do. You could give a check, doesn't but... Doesn't matter, king f7. Mm. Mm. Uh, so, mm. bishop e6. Yeah. not saying I'm winning. Yeah, it's... Problem is, I need my knight to to get to e3. Somewhere. But, I mean, I can even yeah, consider taking take it, yeah. And this Rook is C8, very weak, yeah. yeah. I would go as far to say, if I had to put a computer assessment on it, and we can check that black is minus 0 0.67. Yeah. 67, that's big, depending on what computer we consult. Can we just consult our one? Let's consult our one. Can we, oh, before you do it, okay. what do you want to do? I'll um, take the under. You take under? Yes. For a coffee in the next break? Sure. Okay, we got it, we got a bet. Up, 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 there. Oh, oh, it does depend 54. on his move, right? <clears throat> what? No, <laughs> we said this position That's computer is so sick. If Come on. Zero fifty four. All right, all right, you got a coffee, it's <clears throat> yours. <sighs> Boom. Black is only ever half a point in front, half a pawn. Um, David Speaking of this coffee, you still owe me seven Diet Cokes. I hate to bring this up <laughs> because I know <laughs> like this, this has been Diet Cokes don't come around, but I think it's seven. You can have a Diet Coke in the break. No, you. I don't want a Diet Coke. I'll have another coffee. What about this move by David Howe, Queen F3? This was his grand idea. He wants to castle long and just just go H4, H5, right? That might be... I like this better than Bishop yeah. F2. Feels a bit more active, but I'm still not sure. So Bishop E7 castles long. Mm -hmm. The thing is, at some point, yeah, Akel maybe. should go C5, but he's not going to like that... Like, because it opens a position yeah. for his young calculating monster opponent, right? No, but one day you want to free yourself. Okay, let's go. Let's go, buddy. H4? Uh, yeah. All right. Now it feels like this is the time. I got a feeling. And, um... I've got to go bishop h3, haven't I? Maybe. Wasn't your plan h4, h5? So Bishop H3 doesn't carry any threat, does it? I'm actually drawing it takes, 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 everything. I mean, let, let me do Bishop H3. Oh! I don't like this move. Okay, but it's your move. Um, what's your point? You're just trying to stop C5 for um, some goofy reasoning. Okay, Bishop F5. Let's see your goofy reasoning. Knight C5. DC. Fe. Chess culture, mm -hmm. not taking the pawn. No, but this is great for me. Mm, probably. <laughs> <laughs> if this is the best you've got, <laughs> Mr. Gustafsson, oh God. <laughs> okay, this is better for white. So... Mm, hang on, hang on, hang on. I was playing excellently. Where did it all go wrong? Do you see? I can just okay, take Okay, but now I'm going to take... Take what? Uh, can I, am I going to take, let me just think. Uh, I can just take this guy. You can take. Yeah. I can also take. I'm going to go here. That's your point? Not knight d7? I was thinking about knight d7. I'm sure you You're were. You're going to go queen c7. I'll go back. And, and then I'm thinking, what, a, what have I done? What have I, with what tempo. I I'm done worse. Oh my god. Have we got anything here? Hmm. No. I mean, knight d7 is... Why is it not better here? No. I'd even go as far as saying maybe black is a little better. So how do we prepare against this c5 idea? Maybe I have to go bishop f2? Maybe. I think black is fine. Maybe you go it's c5 just... anyway. Yeah, I'd love to prepare c5 by Why going Why not just g6, go c5? Because if c5, knight d7, you're putting a bishop mm. on c6 really quickly. 
Um, any how? Uh, oh, Eggy's played an interesting move. I like this by Eggy. This is good. Rook A3. Rook A3, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's really good, actually. That just gives the added protection. We often forget that rooks, they're not only useful on files, they're also useful on ranks. Same amount of squares. Yeah, I like it too. Rook D8 is sort of an admission that nothing direct is happening. So, Hapton is trying to defend D6 with the pawn. With the rook, so you can use his queen for more active endeavors like queen g4, or queen f7, queen g6. Black is still fine with such a knight, you're always fine. So, what would you do here with white? Um, mm, I love for a draw. <laughs> or play a5. That's a but no, that's a problem for white. It's not obvious how you want to improve your position. Like these c5 breaks seem I like they're off the table. I want to get my f3. No, the problem is, if, if I get my f3 knight to e3, you go knight d4. So. I can't just... Can you go c5 out? I'd be thinking about bailing out, but I was where you just taken. Yeah. I couldn't really... Back ranks. Make this work. No, this is worse for me. Mark Hebden, ladies and gentlemen. Grandmaster for a reason. Dover Beach. What's Dover Beach saying? Uh, I don't know. It's mainly King's Crusher telling us about his equipment for playing Bullet, I believe. What's Dover Beach in i7, i5? Um, I have no idea what they're talking about. That's different processors, I guess. Do you know about i7s and i5s? What are you talking about? Is that's this a processor? I think that's a thing, yeah. Oh, right. No, I don't. I think i7 is faster than i5. I just play on my tablet, so I don't know what that is. I see. It probably has no processor, or no big processor. Mm, yeah. Um... What else we got? Rook e3 by Eggy. That mm -hmm. also makes sense. Go for a rookie now move. Now, yeah. yeah, now he wants to go c5. Yeah. He might just do enough to mm. hold this. I think he deserves a draw. He's playing quite well. Palliser is completely gavinning. <clears throat> completely gavinning? Bishop well. b3 was played? Nah. It's probably. No? <laughs> Why? Worse than bishop a4. Like now it's worse than 0, 065, whatever you said. But completely gavinning? Yeah. Why? This. What's the point after bishop d5, e3 or something sick? Yeah. This is... Yeah, this looks unpleasant. I will admit this that. This is a martial dream, isn't it? No, it's Two this bishops. anybody's dream. This, I think this is Gavinning after castles. I, I, can we... No, it's been a bit of a model game for how not to play the Trumpovsky, frankly. Really bad by Thomas. He's a very good player as well. He's sure. just having an off tournament. Castles just looks Gavinning. I'd be go to say it's at least minus zero point nine here, at least, but maybe less. I'd say it's about minus zero one dot zero six, but uh, I could be on way it? off on the one dot zero six. Yeah. yeah, why not? Will you take the over or the under? I'll take. Uh... <laughs> I just saw it. I didn't actually realize that you. <laughs> it's been on the screen. It says it? minus one zero six. Okay. I didn't actually see that. So that's, that's <laughs> okay. pretty gross. If you were <laughs> Lawrence, I've if lost you were managing David Howell. Yeah. What would you say to come about overcoming the threat of Adams? Well, I think that. Uh, the thing with David, he just needs, if he eradicates his time trouble problems and has a bit of really serious training with some top players, he, if he was 2700 not so long ago, he can get back there. He's got the quality. And I think he can overtake uh, Mickey because Mickey, you know, it's very difficult to see Mickey getting back to 2760 or something like that. I was this. a bit surprised. I've seen Mickey's like 2723 or yeah. something. Feels low for him. Feels like. Not that long ago that he was 2750, 2760, yeah, right? Where, where, what happened? Well, he's... Um, uh, 2727, sorry. Well, he's just, uh, he's not playing that much. And when he plays tournaments like this, where he draws against Peter and Nick, you know, he loses points. And uh, it's just difficult to maintain any rating in this kind of tournament. You've got to just win all your games, which is not, uh, not easy at all. Um... I don't know, Mickey, I can't f recall the last time he had a super, super good tournament. Dortmund, the one he won. He won Dortmund, yeah. two years ago, two three years. years ago? No, it was three years ago, because uh, 
Fabiano won back to back apart from this year. So three years ago won Dortmund. He also had a great uh he had another great tournament somewhere. He was solid in the London Chess Classic where I believe he drew all his games against right. the best players in the world, so he right. can still play with them, that's right. for sure. Right. But yeah, it's not easy, especially with his style, which is more of a positional, quiet style. If you're forced to play more open tournaments and play against all these draw happy um, 2550 Grandmasters, it's not easy to get your rating up. Like he is, he can outclass them and he will score a plus score against any. But it's gonna be, you have to change your style if you're more used to super tournaments and league matches when you have to start dealing with all these kids. Keith has given a check on it's a. It's an interesting throw. movie, I didn't think about it, but I quite like it. Bishop d2 doesn't make a lot of sense. Queen b6 or <clears throat> bishop b4. So I think you have to go c3. And now the question is, can we go c5? We can. Because the point of the c check on a5 is it's fighting against long right. castles. Keith, no. Keith actually loves the move c5. In the Karakhan, in the advanced variation, he is, he is the guy who plays c5 all the time. So... He loves c5. He loves waiting. He loves playing c6 and then c5 in all lines. So if it's the Scandinavian character, he d he's never played one c5 yeah. in one, one go. Um, so what would you do here with the vice pieces? Can you just can you just go dc? I guess so. I didn't really think it through. I was just curious. <laughs> No, seriously, because knight c5, b4, maybe it's just winning for white, but it feels like white's position is a little loose. Even stuff like this, I don't know what's going on. I'll probably lose on three moves, but, but still, you know, it's you know, gonna. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna do this. <laughs> but no, he, Keith is very capable of playing c5 here. Mm -hmm. It's definitely the main move he's looking at. Mm, yeah, there's nothing but particularly I, wrong with just developing I? and asking why, what's next. I'm really off today, I just can't see anything. Sorry, am I, I distracting good. you? No, I was good with Nicholas, I just can't, just can't do anything. Can't you think it's just a chemistry thing? Just tired. Right. Uh, yeah. Did you go out last night? No, but I just uh, didn't sleep that well and... Uh, Sorry. Just, you know, just haven't got the je ne sais quoi today. What's keeping you up at night? A lot of things. We can I talk about it. We can talk about you. it. It's uh, between you and me and the four viewers we have, so it's really not like a public declaration. We'll talk. Is it in your private or in your professional life? Um, or is are those things so intertwined yeah. with each other? There is no. There is no there distinction. There is no distinction. No, no, you're right. I see. I'm very sorry to hear that. Um, Do you have any recommendations about how to sleep? I'm very good at sleeping. I've never had a problem with really? sleeping. I've had this weird thing recently. They wake up every morning at like seven. Okay. And for no reason, because I don't go to work early. So I wake up at seven and I need to distract myself, like drink a glass of water or put on a YouTube clip. Then I fall asleep again until I, whenever I want to wake up. That's strange, because I go to bed very late. and. I just wake up randomly. Weird. I just. Uh, I know. I just sit there, lying. Yeah. Can't sleep. Can't sleep. You need any TV show recommendations to keep your company? Yeah, I need to get some new series because I'm really. I was watching Vikings and then I, I kind of got sidetracked and I didn't finish it. The last thing that I did watch was Game of Thrones, but I probably need some new TV series. Let me tell you which shows are hot. There's a show which you will be all over. It's called The Night Of. The Night Of? Not The Night Of, but The Night Of. The Night Of? Yes, one F. So it's like The Night Of The Killing. Okay. It's excellent. Okay. Three episodes, fourth episode coming on set okay. Sunday. It's very much in these true crime styles, like serial making murderer, but fictionalized, excellent extras. It's very good. So okay. you'd enjoy that one. Um. The big talk of town is this new Netflix show called Stranger Things. I'm not sure you'd enjoy that. I think you're too young because it's like 
Um, reminiscing about the glorious 80s and how there was a simpler time when kids could drive around on their bikes and have cell phones, figure stuff out. That's quoting a lot of 80s cinema like right. Stand By Me, The Goonies, E.T., The Extraterrestrial, stuff like that. Right. So it's decent, but I'm not sure it's must must watch for you. Um, what else is there? I'm not watching that much TV myself. That's what I've been watching. There's Mr. Robot, but I didn't enjoy the end of the first season. So I'm out on that. There is a show called Preacher, which certain people like. Okay. And that's I'll all I got. Those. Audiobooks. Yeah, those are interesting. I do like listening to audiobooks as well. Yeah, I'm doing the podcast thing. I, so I, have, I have a uh, ton of podcasts, but I just uh, am not doing... Yeah, that gets me to fall asleep instantly. I put on a podcast and in 20 minutes I'm gone. The problem is normally it's an autoplay, so I have to sort of listen to it subconsciously while I'm sleeping all night. Yeah. Then I'm all, I get all messed up. Is that... It yeah. infiltrates my, my dreams. Galactic says, Lawrence, make a Gustafsson compilation. That will help you sleep. I agree. Oh, oh. shots fired. Isn't he premium? He's premium. Uh, we'll take no offense, room. Jan. How am I not supposed to take offense? Also, first of all, galactic. Like, normally I don't go after premiums. But you're mm. plugging Chessbase, a competitor, which is fine. But don't you think that Chess Chessbase, Space. a company working in the chess area, would probably spell itself mm. like the word chess? I'm just asking, oh, yeah. just throwing it out there. Throw it out No there. offense, galactic. We love you, galactic. Mm. Um, 95 was played by Danny Gormali. This is bad news for PKW. He's the only other guy like MVL to have three letters. He's the only guy who deserves it in the world of chess. PKW? Nah, he's Peter Wells. No, he's PKW. No, he's Peter Wells. No, he's not. He is Peter he Wells. He might be Peter Wells in Germany. In England, he's PK. He's oh. either PK or PKW. He's not Peter um, PK in the international world of chess. You know, Peter Wells, I believe, is the first Grandmaster I ever drew. When the year, maybe 90... Nah, probably is not the first, but he's up there. 93, 94. Mm -hmm. I was totally winning after 10 moves, <laughs> and then I offered a draw. And we've been friends ever since. I stayed at his place when I was playing a Grandmaster tournament in Budapest. The old days. And yeah, he's a I've father always been now. a fan. Great yeah. writer, great guy. <laughs> Sick that he's getting checkmated by Danny Gormali. Yeah, he's getting made it in 20 moves. But. <laughs> yeah, it's not his day. It's just not his day. I've just got... He, he's he's just looking at this position thinking, how has this happened to me? What is F3, Peter? I mean, F3 is just... Come yeah. on. A4 and F3. Oh, yeah. uh, dear. It does look very dangerous. Let's check the computer assessment. Maybe the computer says plus two, but I doubt it. PK double. Equal! Equal, yeah. Might be five or king f2, but you need strong nerves to yeah. play something like king f2, knight c4, rook b1. Mm. Allowing bishop d4, check king g3, mm. that kind of stuff. Galactic is gonna get back to us on the spelling. I'm pretty sure it's within <laughs> Um Dover Beach is giving me tips that might revolutionize my life. You do realize you can set the podcast to stop at end of current episode. I should probably do that. I've seen that setting somewhere, but I don't think I've done that. What do you let's, use? Let's figure it out. Oh, I need to... I use... What's this called? Podcasts. Addict. No, no, no. It's not an app. It was part of this... Oh. I, I store... Oh, and I have, um, I have a new podcast that has David Hasselhoff plugging Sharknado 4. So oh, that's God. something to look forward to. And PKW, don't we don't we have faith? Mm. Night B five was played. So what do I do? Podcast. You work out your podcast. I'm gonna Let's, look at some. Let me chess. click on something. So night B five, Queen takes B two. Mm. Looks. Now there should be setting somewhere. Rook B one. Oh my god. Can I take here? Look at this. Bishop takes b5, rook takes b2, would run into knight d3, check. Ah, I can't, there's a sleep button. Beautiful. Thanks, Dover Beach. There's a sleep button. I can tell it after the current episode or in 45 minutes. Shut up. 
That's awesome, man. That's really going to revolutionize my life. Because not only do I have to listen to podcasts all night long while I'm sleeping, I also miss all my podcasts because <laughs> they're all playing while I'm sleeping. Right, right. So, yeah. This has been a very successful day already. Look w at what this. What are we talking about? Rook B1. Do you... Sorry. Blunder your queen? Ah, oh, you get it back at some... And I win your queen, and I'm just gotcha. winning, no? King f1, mm. takes on b2, check. A, b, a, b? Okay, give me that bishop ah. at least. And what's this? I can't count, but it doesn't Exchange feel right up, for white. Yeah. yeah, it's lost. Yeah, it's just yeah. dead lost. Mm -hmm. So, queen takes b2 on the board, rook b1, and then bishop takes b5, so you probably have to take back. And now I assume, let's see, knight d3, check, king f1, doesn't feel like it's as if queen here. Queen e4, king f1, so simple. Parrying the threat of knight d3 and queen f2. Okay, and if I just go knight d3 anyway? Hmm, no, I have many a move. Oh, you want to go queen e3? b1. Bishop e1. You make chess look so simple, Jan. I've heard that many a time. Okay, hold on a second. King f1, just like it's nothing, huh? Pas de problème. Yeah, maybe white's better. Game continues. I don't know, it feels like black should have something here, but... Yeah, I don't disagree with that. It still looks very scary. I don't know. No, then you just take it. F596, rookie six. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just saying in general. So I bishop and now, C2 and, no, and now I have to knight D3. Now you haven't got your stuff because I've got the E line open. That is true. I can't go bishop E1, which is sad. Oof, hold on. What are you doing here? Hold up. I take? I don't want to take, but what else? Right now. And oh, this looks hairy. very, very scary. Bishop d4, Bishop d4 rook and rook e2. e2. Something's gonna maybe rook e2 immediately. Mm. Yeah, it looks bad. Don't know. All three results possible. I think it's uh, gonna be a draw zero one. Probably. I'm What's nine... the the clock no, situation? Peter's obviously got no time. No, he's got some time. It's twenty five minutes. But it's only move 17, and he's very capable of spending a lot of his time here. Yeah. And it's very tough. Very, I struggle with words. Tart. Very tough. 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 tough heart. Tart. Tart to play such positions with no yeah. time. Can we look at the chat? Let's see. Have we got... Shouldn't the commentators for the British Championship be drinking tea or a pint of beer? Who says we're not? I'm not. Who's... <laughs> okay. Uh, enough advertising now, KC. Don't know what that's about. Um, oh, King's Crusher. Right. Gotcha. Uh, people agree with me that it's Peter Wells, not PK or PKW yeah, or PK3. have never met PK. <laughs> I've spent plenty of time around Peter Wells. I think never we called him PK I think we in should my life. Do a, I think we should do a... A little thing. Top play, if you had to survey the top 15 or 10 or 10 players in this tournament, if they call him PK or Peter, I would bet they also call him PK. Hmm. I know, not, not right? all, but majority. Hmm. Like, I know Mark Hebden, Keith, Gawain. So if it's like Pete <laughs> or something, then I win, right? It's yeah. Anything but I say, how do you call Peter Wells? Do you call him Peter or do you call him PK? And I'll, I'm kind of confident they'll say PK. And if they um, really uh, are affect, like affectionate, they'll call him PKW. A so bit like PKW MBL. is like the respectful form. Yeah. It's like it's like MVL, hair. but you normally call him MV if you. Oh, no, yeah. everybody calls him MVL. Everybody calls him MVL. It's like hmm, Peter Benjaminovic as opposed to Peter Svidler. Venomayevich. I don't know how it's pronounced. It's not Benjaminovic. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> Sorry, Peter. Both Peters. I apologize. Anyway, PKW, he is... <laughs> What's the K for? I think it's... Is it Kevin? Should we look? Let's, let's find out. 
Let's find out what Peter's name is. I can just Google PKW, right? It's so <laughs> common, like, <laughs> you know, PKW in German means Personenkraftwagen. <laughs> what does that mean? It's a car, PKW. <laughs> a pick, a PKW? Yeah. <laughs> Personenkraftwagen. It's, it's a weird country, Personenkraftwagen. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's a weird word. Anyway, Peter Wells. K. Wells. Hey, pick, a pick. Chess player. Kenneth. Kenneth. Yeah. I like that better than Kevin. Ken, yeah. No offense, Kevin. Winter, if you're watching. But it suits Peter Bear. Peter Kenneth Wells. Yep. Let's check his Wikipedia if it mentions that people call him PK. His Wikipedia is really sad. It's Not one, it's one on. sentence. <laughs> oh, That's kind book. of sad. Anyway, it's Have you a got sad a big day. Wikipedia, Jan? I don't know. I don't look at it much. <laughs> that's Nam. Well, we better not do nah, that. Nah, let's not go there. Okay. Queen um, B2, yeah, I don't like Peter's chances just based on nature of position. Rook B1, Bishop takes B5. General really trickery. Nice. Objectively, probably wise to find, but it's a mess. What else do we have? We have young master Howell. Yeah, he played bishop c so uh, Keith only played bishop e7 and bishop c4. That move makes it's a sense. a weird move. But no, he, he wants, wants to castle it. long. Ah, he just wants to cover a2. Yeah, yeah. And if I go here? He do, he'll just drop. Drop. Mm. And now drop. I drop. Drop it like it's hot. Probably. Mm, yeah, let's put it there. Yeah, I'm not sure on this. Not on d5. Looks nice, but it's the same problem like earlier. It doesn't support c5. And it well, it's quite hit. flexible. He can also castle kingside a lot, you know, and just play play a position and open the center and do whatever makes him happy. Uh, I f I've got one zero in this game. I'm I'm going with yeah. David. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, normally it's not that bold a choice to choose the 250 points high rate to play no, with the it, white it, pieces. It is, it is but in this point. case, it is a bold prediction, yeah. and I commend you for it. Um, what what did they give? Me? Yeah, yeah. Space space is important in chess. Space is important. Yeah, I don't I don't see Keith doing. But Keith is sticky. He'll 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 defend. He'll be gritty. But actually, I think against David, he's got a pretty bad score most of the time. David's a pretty good player. Yeah. Um. What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about this Mark Hedman. You got any position. new eggy material? No, we'll get some eggy material in the break if you like. Uh, Mark Hebdon has just played another very good move. I think he's playing a very good game as Mr. Hebdon. Queen g6. The problem Black has is there's no immediate threat. No, I'm trying to come up with something. But yeah, you could regroup, but it's not winning. Directly. H5, H4, and it's a little yeah. double ash, especially after queen g6. No, I slightly prefer black color, like what he's done, also is throwing in b6 to yeah, stop c5, nice. bc. That's, nice. is useful. that's chess culture. Mm. Um, black is slightly better, but no immediate breakthrough. Then again, maybe you don't need one. Maybe just what about the six, move? Rook of eight. Actually, hold on, d Tricky position, I tell you. Really not easy. I don't know what I'd play here, but why? I'd have to have a big think. Please, have one. Uh, draw in Richard Pert versus Peter Batchelor. We talked about Peter Batchelor the other day. He's a young guy, right? Yeah, he's young. He's decent. And Richard offered a draw here. Why? Feels like a very premature draw offer to me. But Probably maybe... didn't like his position. Well, maybe just Black's putting a knight on e4. Yeah, g4. No, why is not better? But yeah, Richard not going to be thrilled, I guess. No, that's... I'm guessing he outrates Peter Bachelor. Oh yeah, by about at least a hundred points, right. I think. So, but a draw, you know, yesterday was difficult. Um, we have what's it say? Das Tuz says, is this true from your wiki? I, outside of chess, I enjoy football, Chelsea FC, Mambo style of New York salsa dancing. Yes, I do. That is 100% true. I am a big 
lover of Chelsea Football Club. Jan does not care one iota about football, but I am a blue through and through, and I do like dancing mambo predominantly, although I do also like, you know, Cuban, and I enjoy watching Cali style, so I'm not, I'm not a snob. But Mambo is my favourite style. You, Jan Gustafsson just does not care. Um, Sentia says he outrates him by exactly 100 points. So my more than 100 points. I know I said at least 100 points, I think. So I was right. We can it's always check the tape. If yeah. there's any factual inaccuracies there, we will like bring out a report correcting those. T. Rendell. Thomas, why aren't you a premium member? International Master Thomas Rendell, why hasn't he got a IM next to him? I don't know. We need to get him that. Thomas Let's Rendell. Let's get him that, if that's him. That is him, I assume. We'll double check it's the real him. It looks like him. I think it's him. Let's get him the IM tag. Thanks for tuning in, Thomas. Thomas and I uh, go back a long time. We used to play as kids, real youngsters. Um, good guy, Thomas. Okay. Brother's a comedian. That's what I remember. Stand up comedian. Beautiful. Yeah. That's what I remember. Thomas says, just not enough enough. I think he is. We will get one of our administrators to give you the IM tag. Radio Pets, at, I'll subscribe if you do some salsa dancing, Lawrence. Uh, I do plenty, thanks. So you can subscribe now. That's it. Mm. What else we got? Mm. Eggy played Knight H4. Yeah, I was looking at Knight H4, but then I didn't What's see him. You just want to go back? Or? Yeah, I think he just wants to go back and say you've got no threats. But can I do this? No. Feels like something should happen. I mean, I think I can just go here. That's the problem. Knight G4. Knight D4, maybe? Uh, Knight D4. You like ninety four? Well, yeah, my I'm getting in a bit of trouble here, aren't I? Queen F six. Does he want to go here? Is this his idea? Point is, if you kick, I'm coming here. Knight D four. Knight D five. Nah. Don't know. Think black's better now. Yeah, I don't get knight h4. I believe this knight belongs on f3. You just gotta keep it there. Mm, and here, I'm not sure if knight h3 is the way. But Maybe you can just H3. take it. Knight h3, I would take and hope for the best. Yeah. But my b3 pawn is hanging in. I line. understand. But this still feels better than the position white started in. Yeah. Maybe. Get some pieces off and hope for the best. Richard Palliser is absolutely crushing Thomas Fodor. There's just zero moves here with White. It's just... Yeah, this looks very unpleasant. Even though oh. Richard Palliser took forever to come up with long castles. Which ones you've spotted this is a fairly nice move. Yep. And look, in the Gormali game... Oh, 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 oh. oh. Did you no. close it? I closed it. Now what are we doing? Can we check that the board is... It's gone. It's my first day. I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. Now the board is gone and we're going to have to reset that. Which means we will go on a little break and then we will be back with PKW, as I like <laughs> to call him, versus Danny Gormali. That's the most dramatic game of the day. We also have David, the young hope of English chess, facing... He's been called that for like... 20, I know, 20 I know. Years. for like 28 yeah. years. We've called him that ever since that TV game against Kremnik. <laughs> um, facing Keith Arkell on board number two. Board one and three have ended peacefully. Thank you guys for watching. We'll See be right soon. back.
And we're back. Welcome back, everybody, to round number five of the British Chess Championship 2016. Rarely have I seen Lawrence Trent as pumped up as commentating this tournament because of the intrigue. Who's going to win? Who's going to win the women's championship? Is Jovanka Hauska going to win it? Jovanka? Isn't that her name? <laughs> no. Jovanka. 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 Okay, apologies. Yeah, don't um, call her that, whatever you do. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, British sorry, slang. Sorry. It's all right. He's German. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. He didn't mean it. Um, what we got? We had draws. Oh. Pert, Adams, Tan Jones. Nothing to write home about. But we do have a very big game here. Mr. Gustafsson in Hal Arkel, two of the leaders, and Keith in big trouble. It seems we last saw it after C3, Bishop E7, Bishop C4. This is what we saw before break H6. What That's a sick is move. that move? That I is still a... feel bad about apparently mispronouncing something. That's all right. Let's, we'll... let's stick with it. Um, um, H6 is a weird move. G6? So weird to allow. I mean, even to allow. I mean, you win a pawn, but f at what cost? You've wrecked your structure. This is weak. This is weak. There are open files. That's such a non-Keith move, though, so I don't understand why he's done it. Um, mm. I really I really don't understand what what is going on here. Um, no, it just looks losing, practically, to me. Bishop d7, and now David just needs to find a few... Mm. So he wants moves. to castle... Queen side. Maybe losing is strong, but it yeah. is. But rook d3 does look like a really bad. Right. Uh, rook hd1, I want to take on d7. Why do you want to take them? Because I want to go bishop takes e6. Alright. Don't do that. Yeah. No, I understand. Probably here I would just play some move. But Keith is sticky, he'll go bishop c8 and he'll be annoying. That's what I'm saying, yeah, it doesn't seem. I agree, it looks bad, and I don't like h6, but it's not obvious to me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we will keep you posted. Another exciting game is the game between Tamash Fodor Jr., not senior, but the junior, against Richard J.D. Palliser, where, after gf3, queen c6, short castle, the low-rated player, Richard Palliser, who's outrated by a solid 70 points, by Tamash Fodor, who's 2,500 player, looks... To be doing extremely well because he has this pawn here. D8. I think you need to start smoking again to calm down. I'm. Um, you he, don't think my excitement about this game is authentic? No. Okay, I don't really care about uh, this <laughs> game <laughs> at all. Um, you do. Really. But black is better. Black is winning close. And for me, game of the day. There are a few really interesting games. Also, Eggles and Hebden. This one is really interesting. What happened after rook b1, bishop takes b5, a takes b5, queen d4. Ah, all this happened and he didn't play my move. E2. King f1, he went queen e2. Let's stop here. Also sensible. Sensible. Knight d3 check. Forces king f1. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're a horrible player. What? Uh, nobody plays knight d3 check there. They play knight c4 like Danny does. And then that's the job of a commentator. Rook I have to point D1. out lines once in a while. That's that's probably not good. Rook D1. But PK in typical PK fashion, move 21, 10 minutes left. You know. So. Yeah, 10 minutes not too bad, but yeah, the position yeah. is still unclear. That's the problem. No, but now you can. What happens after H6? Uh, 96. Still Your the move. same old, same old. Your move. I was just wondering, like. With yeah. the king in the center. Practically. Everything is about mm. practical chances. Like, just life is about practical chances, you know? There's some... <laughs> That's deep. British school of chess in its purest form. Everything mm. is about practical chances. Um, go ahead. So no, in life, just... what practical chances should we take? Which, what shouldn't we take? How can we improve our life's practical chances? Well, like, you know those times when you're at a bus stop? Yes. Um, or in a bar? No. Or f at the doctor's? And no. you're in the waiting room? Bus and, stop I've been to. Yeah. Let's stick with a bus stop. And you see that person where there's just an immediate connection. Mm. Yeah. That is a practical chance. That is so you your, start talking to them? Yeah. 
Wow. Now, in Germany, the art of talking it, it needs to be refined somewhat. Um, but what I've noticed with you guys is, you know, it's very informal and, you know, it's all... I'm very formal. ...very yeah. official, but three or four beers later, anything can happen. You guys loosen up. The world's a better place. I don't drink. I, I don't think want, the world. I don't want any loosening up. I think the world would be a safer place if Angela Merkel had like three shots of brandy before every press conference. Brandy? Why brandy? Whatever. Anything? <clears throat> I don't know. I haven't studied her press conference. I've been watching the Democratic and the Republican. What's it called? National Convention. I'm watching. Oh, speeches. that's great fun. That is. It yeah. Is great. It's, it's better than watching any TV show. That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> Donald Trump to run the world, huh? Mm -hmm. I haven't actually seen his speech because it was oh, like wonderful. 75 minutes long and wonderful. who was the time? Wonderful. <clears throat> but I've watched your boy, Ted Cruz. <laughs> My boy? <laughs> <laughs> I've watched Michelle Obama the other day. Lovely She's speech. Great. She's, She's good. <laughs> and did you know... Ivanka? <laughs> Ivanka. I keep very, getting very those names wrong. Uh -huh. It's because the German V and the German W, but it's very important not to use that word. Okay, then I apologize. I'm not sure. Um, Ivanka Trump. That's Sorry. right. And uh, do you know what? I managed to look at... Do you know how much Hillary charges per speech? Do you know how much... Goldman Sachs? I think 600,000. Yeah, but she's published all of her... She had to publish it. It's all out in the public domain. She's made like... Tens of millions of dollars giving speeches. It's the, well documented. So if I was a manager millions. of like a chess celebrity, let's yeah. say, maybe the strongest player in the United States of America, I think to myself, you know what, one tenth of that Hillary do, and we'll be doing all right. You're right, and it's something that definitely just write in one speech, like talk about right. the educational value of chess, some nonsense, and then start charging. This is true. Mm -hmm. um, Fabiano, he's he's getting better at it. Mm -hmm. He's good. He's, he's, he's witty. Like he's he some practice, but, but you he know, can standing up in front of a crowd and delivering a speech. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, that's what Gary's doing, isn't it? And he's that's what Gary's doing. He's not cheap either. I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, I'm fully aware. Mm -hmm. it's really what what are you talking about for speeches, or are you talking about for something else? I was talking. I have no idea what I was talking okay. about. <laughs> but yeah, for speeches, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, we could get a repetition. Gormali versus Wells, Knight B2, Rook B1, and he's going to repeat, and it'll end in... You think we're going to get a draw? Yeah. Wow. That's just, that's just so typical. Mm -hmm. Could be. What about David? Is he in trouble? No. He's played well, hasn't he, to sort of... No, he's played Hapton. <laughs> um... Ladies and gentlemen, the Jan Gustafsson stand-up show to be in a theatre near you very soon if you live in Hamburg and more precisely uh, Eimsbüttel. No, the thing is, okay, that wasn't funny, but in general I am hilarious. But I think I'd be scared of doing stand-up because you get an instant reaction from the crowd. Like, I have zero problem talking to a crowd that's supposed to shut up, like both of you. But... When the crowd, when you're supposed to make them laugh and they don't laugh or they boo you or they heckle, I'm not sure I'd be ready for that. Yeah. Um, Have you done stand-up in the past? Y yeah, about <laughs> yeah. three minutes ago. Wow. Stood up, mm. went to go and get a coffee. Mm. No. No, 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 I've never done that. Mm, no. Just awkward silence in the room. When I went to LA, I went to the comedy store. I went How to LA it? recently. I went there a lot and that was... Some of the guys are good. Some of them were thinking, eh. Not that funny. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, American humor can be hit and comedy. miss, you know, hit, hit and miss. There are some genes. The problem for the American humorist is the funniest guy at the moment is the Australian guy, Jim Jeffries. Jim Jeffries? Is so he big funny. out there at the moment? He's huge. Yeah. He's, a, he's he can... He's hilarious. He's, I love Jim Jeffries. Yeah. Watched his he's, new stand-up special. He is controversial. That is for sure. I agree with everything. I don't know if his material him. now is... But back in the day when he was really popular in the UK. No, he he's was, still pretty controversial. Yeah, he says some things that some people won't agree with. Um, That's what you have to do as a stand-up comedian. Though. Yeah, you've got to challenge the status quo. Wow. 
Fight the powers. Fight the, fight the establishment. You're Donald so political. Trump. I'm not as political. No, you're not. You don't care about politics. I don't care about many things. Um, what about, do you care about Black's position here at all? Chris Duncan, after knight takes c5, d takes c5. Who's better and why? White is better, but it's going to be a bit of work to convert. Now you give a check and you play g3. Mm, I'm not sure. Why? Because I'd like to have all my pieces on light squares here. Uh, but yeah, rook g5, you have rook f3. Eh. I don't think you do this. No? What do you do? What here? do you do? What How do you do? do, you do? <laughs> yeah. Can you do this? But I'm not sure I'm breaking through here either. You're not? Nah. Nah. It's no, not it's easy. still gonna be work. White is better. For sure. But it's gonna be work. Um, in the meantime, Oliver Gill versus Dietmar Kolbos has Your boy, ended your main man, Dietmar. <laughs> Is that my main man? I played him in the Bundesliga. Wait, in this year? Nah, I think last year, I can't remember. How did you do? I won, I won. You beat him? I did defeat him. He's your boy, no? The only German in the field? I don't know. No other Germans in the field? I don't think so. David J. Coleman sounds German? <laughs> Dave is from my neck of the woods, from Essex. Essex? And he's crushing Marcus Harvey today. Mm. Eastern boys. I don't know if you can hear that, ladies and gentlemen. I can hear it. Just. We've <laughs> got uh, some loud music that started to play. Um, we've got... Uh, fri it's Friday evening. It is Friday evening. People are looking forward to their fire abend. You really know the important German words. Fire abend. Schadenfreude. Yeah. Most others I can't Lecker. say on there. Lecker. Mm -hmm. Lecker? Yeah. Lecker is not really a word. Lecker? So it's tasty. Do bis sehr lecker? No, you don't say that. I can't say that. It's more of a Dutch thing. They use lecker oh, for many different things. Everything. German means tasty, but it's not common. Right? So if I, so I can't for call food. you tasty? No, German. It's still mildly confusing and awkward and wrong, but it's mainly <laughs> just incorrect use of language. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Um, what's there have been no moves, so the fodster is not doing uh, anything. Gormali is repeating. Come on, Danny, take on details. I have another question. Like most of these guys, I go through the names, they've all written chess books. Why do all English guys write chess books? Is it because you're native speakers? So that's, that's a way to one like thing. All, also, throw out books there in English. Also, I believe we've got a quite a few famous publishing houses in right. the UK, like Batsford, Batsford, and Cadogan, and every man is that every English? Man, yeah. Um, Gambit. Gambit. All of these guys have some, at some stage been based in the UK. Quality Chess. Quality Chess is based in Scotland now. That's in the UK. In the UK. Just, well, maybe not for much longer, but... Um, so that means, yeah. Um, but nowadays with globalization, you would think they could find other authors as well. But I think the native speaking is a big thing, because else you have to translate it and... No, I'm just surprised because, yeah, I see the names Palliser written chess books, Gawain, C.B. Jones written chess books, one of the Perts, Richard, probably wrote a chess book. Richard has written a book on the Trompovsky. That's what I'm saying. Great book on the Trompovsky. Sure, Keith Arkell has written chess books. Yeah. Uh, I think it's called Keith's Odyssey or a Grandmaster's Odyssey. I don't know. I don't think Mickey Adams has been doing a lot of writing. He hasn't done a lot, but he's done a couple of chess books. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I think the only guy not to is David. David Howell. Howell. Yeah. Nah, I don't. I don't think he's there yet. He's still a young and ambitious. I don't think Mark player. has either done, ever done a book. Believe it or not, he should do a book. Like he uh, should. Peter well, Wells. I think Peter has Wells. Lots done of books. Twenty million books. No, like five. No. He's Danny Cormelli. <laughs> he's done more than. John Ems has done a ton. John Ems has done twenty Danny million. Danny has done a few. Um, who else? Chris Ward. Eggy, we're still waiting for the Eggy book. Chris Ward has been doing books. Yeah, we just got a lot of authors. John Ems. <coughs> Jovanka has Jovanka's been writing book. books. Yeah. Jovanka's got some Everybody books. in the field wrote a chess book. So sick. The thing for me is I can't spell, so it's very difficult for me to write a book. You know. I know, but maybe I could be a ghost, ghost writer. I can spell, and you do like the chess and the humorous part. Okay. Sounds good. How much do we have to charge? 
Um, we have to charge, to make money on it, we have to charge like 800 euros per book. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just telling you guys. But yeah. it's going to be worth it. Like, there's going to be lots of wit oh, yeah. and chess concepts. But I believe that's the, the ballpark. I agree. Um, we haven't talked much about Alistair Hill drawing his game against Jeremy... Manadu. Manadu. Yeah. Why did they draw? Ah, because there's a bunch of pawns for the bishop. We're not going to talk much about <laughs> we, it either. We're not going to... Oh, What? Did David Howell blunder no, a horse fork? No, surely not. No, he Maybe didn't. Maybe he didn't blunder it. Maybe it's a sacrificio. Sacrificio. That is the correct pronunciation. Queen g3. Takes, queen takes, and he just thinks this not only four is so strong. And we're about nothing. Maybe he's showing some class here. Maybe, because but all these didn't pieces look are kind of passive. Yeah, but Keith is kind of sticky here, mm -hmm. you know? He's gonna stick around? Yeah. Or he's a stickler. He's a he's a Yeah, I don't like this for for David. I don't The move I'd wanna play though, I understand it's not a good move, but you wanna play Queen D five, right? Just to repair your structure. Right, exactly. I mean like that's uh, Apart how much from... I dislike the black position. Right, understood. So you really wanna do this, like it's Eggy has a book. Eggy has a book as well. Eggy has a book? Wow. I wow. Don't know Eggy has a book. What's Eggy's book about? Egg uh, omelets. Ah. <laughs> I thought it was edgy stuff. Uh -huh. yeah, Eggy. Uh, mm. um, anyway, since you keep calling go. him Eggy, is Egg David J. Eggleston, is he one of your contemporaries? Are you familiar with the man? Or does everybody I'm just call him Eggy? I'm very familiar with him. Very familiar with him? Yeah, I, I think most people. Do you do. share. Childhood memories. Um, I'm a few years older than him, so no. But his, so we went to the, his brother went to the same university as I did, Lancaster University. His brother was also a chess player. Didn't quite get to the same level. Danny Gormali has not taken the draw. Thank Lord for the Gorm. He took on d2, rook takes d2, and now just any move queen with queen e5 is fine. Queen a1 check, man. Give a check first. What's the difference between? Well, you're forcing something to d1, and which doesn't want to go. Black is better. Yeah, the problem is we're winning the piece back, right? Rook d1, queen e5. Yeah. Targeting Mr. Horse, h4 forced. And now Oof. if we want the piece back, which yeah. could even be a discussion, I'm not sure this is the best move. But you could go f5 and Mr. Bishop can't move because of check. Mm -hmm. Another way could be h6, because knight h3 is probably just bad, right? Check or f5 now. Both look pretty sick. Mm. Yeah. This has been a great game by Danny so far. Really classy. Mm. Really his best game of the tournament, in my opinion. Uh, Richard Palliser is crushing still or not? Mm, still looks pleasant. But he's a pawn down, so he better do something. But uh, this king is so weak. H4 in the air. F4 looming. Mm. I uh, do not like White's chances. People are asking, do I live in Lancaster? No, I live in Hamburg, hence why I'm here. But I used to live in Lancaster. I used to live in um, basically Lancaster city centre and on the campus. Had a lot of fun in Lancaster. Good times, studied occasionally. Did okay. Completed my degree. Yeah, I'm still shocked whenever you bring that up. Yeah. Um, Did you watch the TV show called Fresh Meat? Um, I think I watched some episodes of it, yeah. I imagine a lot of things yeah, remind me of how very probably true. your childhood it's was. very true. Or your, your junior university years. Yeah, it was fun. Beautiful. Um, what else have we got? Mm. Let's go to the top. Mm. And he did take the exchange, so David... David, um... Well, it doesn't have a pawn, right? It's just purely positional. He can purely pick up a pawn whenever he wants on e6 or g7. He's just counting on the fact that his pieces do a good job keeping the black bishop pair mm -hmm. restricted. Just don't have any squares. This bishop literally only has this square, and this bishop literally only has this square. The bishop on e7 has h well, this H4. literally has h4. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Literally, uh, <so> old, I, <laughs> I would get captured on many of those. But you're literally right. Um, mm. Eggy! 
Is he gonna win? Eggy! Eggy, ninety four. Mark's thinking, what happened to my beautiful position? Ninety four is a great move, no? Hitting the queen, hitting e five. What happened here? What happened to Hebel? Mark's just gone mad at some moment, no? Yeah, he I, got he outplayed. D five. He got wow. outplayed. D five is good. Takes, takes. They didn't get outplayed. He's doing fine. Queen c two. Knight 94 apparently a mistake, most natural move in the world. <laughs> How can that be a huge oh, blunder? Uh, yeah, he was outplaying. He was outplaying Eggy, but knight d4, queen b2, knight f4, and suddenly in two moves, Eggy has gone from underdog to overdog. <laughs> Here's the overdog now. <laughs> Do you call them overdogs in uh, German? Because I know you like the word unter and uber. Mm, another beautiful reference. Yeah. No, we don't use either you don't underdog use or Well, How overdog. do you say underdog in German? We don't have a term for that. Where Unterhund? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Unterhund is not a very common word. Uberhund? <laughs> Schweinehund is common. <laughs> what does that mean? It's pig dog. Uh, it's but what is it? What's that? <laughs> is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Pig dog. Pig dog. Um, underdog. Außenseiter. What does that literally mean? Outsider. Oh. And favorite? Favorit. Pretty simple. It language. is an exciting language, um, isn't it? Mm. Well, the overdog was... I'm going to start calling them <laughs> overdogs. I'm going to get that term popular. Mm, yeah. I wonder, maybe in the Overlord chat... Overlord has been a little overused. Maybe somebody in the chat could let us know exactly where this came from, this... Underdog. Why is it called an underdog? Where is the etymology and the, all of that? Please put it in the in the chat. I'd be curious. Wouldn't you be curious? I never looked into it. Why it's called the underdog? Do you know? Yeah. Put it in the chat, people. Underdog. I do know. You do know. Why is it? I can't speak about it on there. It's, uh, it's too much. It's sexual. Ooh, H four. It's you had to do something, I suppose. But no. Mm. Zero one? Nah. Not over yet. It's the same choices earlier. You can go f5 or h6. Because that wasn't talking about this. Knight h3, f5 looks disgusting. So this is forcing knight yeah, six and f7 or something. Probably still this now. Run! This is maybe not so clear. Maybe it's clear. But King's still weak though, something. right? Because queen g3 and bishop d4 and it's just... King is just forever weak. Yeah, but it's unclear. Ah, who knows? Um, what else? Uh, we after h4, there's f5. Yeah. There is. Mm -hmm. Castles, takes. No, not f takes. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's ugly. Uh, Horsey takes. Yeah. Keep the knight. Now you got a knight yeah, on It's not too bad, mate. You got a knight on It's still bad, but it's not. It looks really bad still, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, people use dogs in basements in Middle Ages to do jobs. Okay. Why are they What's called, called the underdog? Why is it called an underdog, though? I don't know. Top dog. That's a more common term than overdog. Top, top dog. But I think your overdog will I'm, overtake top dog. I think long it's... Term. I think I'm over the moon with that suggestion. Mm -hmm. Um... How did this happen? What happened to White's position? This isn't a Trombowski. This position has been bad. This is a disaster. G4, you probably have to go F4. It's so disgusting because to allow F4, this is Palliser in his element. G takes F4. Is he, by nature, an attacking player? He can pull off some good attacks, but actually, put, Richard is, for me, one of the most underrated players in the country. He, He's he, like 2 for 30, so what should be his rating? On his day, he's at least 2,500, at least. At least. He's so, why isn't he always on his day? His rating don't lie. That's my policy. Except for my rating. Wasn't Could that a famous an song? My, hip, my hips don't lie, or my rating doesn't lie? By hips Shakira. don't lie is Shakira, right? Yeah. It wasn't my rating doesn't lie? I don't think my rating doesn't lie is in the, there. By Shakira, that's not a and lie. And also, we shouldn't say... Yeah. <clears throat> 
my rating don't lie on the air because people will complain and point out that it's my rating doesn't lie. I have been getting into hot water with stakes is high, for example. I've been getting many angry mails that it's yeah. stakes are high. So stakes are a high. lot of like third uh, third grade grammar here. It's like because I was taught I is, mm -hmm. you is, he is, we is, they is, and them is. What's the what's the last one? Here, them, <laughs> they, and them. <laughs> Well, that's basically y'all is that. That's the last one. That's how John Terry speaks. So, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know. But apparently, there's uh, there's layers. So what were well, we talking about? Um, Night G4 in Eggy versus Heavy. I'm pretty sure we Eggie were talking about heavy. that. But you know, I'm winning a pawn, and Heavy is thinking Eggy don't. Did you grow up eating eggos? Is that a thing? No. Okay. I definitely. Um, when I was very young, um, my dad sometimes, when he took, when he could take me to school in the car, we used to go to a cafe, and he used to get me before. This is it's a very uh, touching story already. Uh, like no matter where it goes, he used to get me a sometimes egg and sausage sandwich with brown sauce. Do you know what brown sauce is? <laughs> that sounds disgusting. It's like some bean it, sauce. No, it's not bean, but it's um, mm -hmm. delicious. And um, had I carried on sort of eating this for another 10 years, I wouldn't be here today. I would, like my that. arteries would be clogged up. It reminds me of this old joke, like the three shortest books ever written. German humor, Italian fairy tales, and British cuisine. Right. I like it. I like it. I'm not sure. that The Italian might have some great fairy tales. Queen c6, odd move, allowing knight takes e5 with tempo. What's his idea? He wants to go queen c2 and try and make a draw? Probably Poor maybe. Hebo. He's really, I think he's lost the will to nah. fight after he was things losing. have gone so wrong. You should have seen the round a few. He was completely lost against uh, Phil Brooks, who was about 21.50. No, but that's different. But today he was cruising. He was playing a beautiful positional game. And then he just... Do you think Eggy couldn't keep it up? Do you think Eggy has Eggy broke him? Do you think Eggy has scrambled his brains somewhat? Mm, I think you can do better than that. But yeah. Well, I tell you what, if Eggy wins, it's a great poach for him. It's, <laughs> it's a pretty good one. <laughs> I'm happy. Getting better, getting better. I'm mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just thinking of how many different egg variants I've got. Uh, I haven't I think got... that you got more egg material. I haven't got that much more. What is what is going on here? PKW living on the wild side. What did he do here? Took and then he went, not castles, but king, king f2. f2. Wow. Not bad. It's not so bad. Yeah. Because now there are, is weaknesses <laughs> in the black camp. You can go g3, king g2. And when your king is safe, then you start targeting them weaknesses. Thomas so Rendell, bad. International Master of Rindle, says, Hebden, a shell of his former self. That's He's joining that, in on the fun. That's, <laughs> that's good, Thomas. It's good. Oh, God, this is Egging so much. Yeah. That's, that's too much. Like, mm. It's a lot. Mm, we do like it, though. We make this show fun. If we you're, do? If you're looking for a show that isn't fun, watch <laughs> Jan's watch uh, the show I do. opening <laughs> clinic. That's that's my most serious show. It's that's so hard really to serious. Questions. That's serious. That's but you Banter Blitz have, have been yeah. reasonably loose. Did you recently. have any like, good games I've... in Banter Blitz recently? No, I'm no. playing terribly. But did you have any exciting games? I can't remember. Did Normally, I only play strong players on the German show, which no one watches. The English show, I just crush. You're um, better in English. That is true. Wow. What? The Pelster. Oh my god, I just missed this. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. This has been like a destruction. A yeah? Textbook game if the textbook was about how to misplay the Trumpovsky. This is just destruction. This is just horrible. Um, David Howe, in the meantime, has uh, taken a pawn and. But Keith, he's, you know, he's protecting both bishops, he's solid, he's... Yeah, but it's an ugly position, just long term, I don't see how black can get counterplay, while white can just keep rounding up pawns. Yeah, 
Astrid. Maybe you can keep him busy with this. I think that's a good computer move. move because I'd love to go Bishop B3, yeah. but yeah. not gonna be able to do it. If I have to go here mm. eh, eh, or here, I'm losing coordination. Like here, it's A2, C5, and, and get busy. Yeah, yeah. Get busy. Get busy, baby. I think he'll do that. That's mm. a Keithy move. Queen A4, definitely. Yeah. That's definitely a Keith move. I'm never gonna play the French Dover Beach. I've talked about this many a time. I promised my first coach, and I'm gonna really keep that comment up. Yeah, it's a sad story. What happened? Mm -hmm. He died, but he? he was a very inspirational figure. When I was like 11, came into the Hamburg Chess Club. Well, he had his own problems, I believe, but for an 11-year-old, he made it fun to come to, to, to the chess club, and he really disliked people playing the French. So Why? He always Eh, he just thought it wasn't a way to play chess, you know, like try to hide between this locked structure. So he would always try to teach everybody how to crush the French. And I promised him I'd never play the French. Never have. So is that a promise you will take with you to your dying day? <clears throat> I'm not sure, like, if there's an the expiration French? date. Like, it wasn't till the day I die or till eternity. Because uh, that's there's a distinction there as well. But I can. But I've never played the French. I can tell you something, and that is. Um, tell me. If you do play the French, he won't be that bothered about it. I don't know. I, I mean, I just don't see him calling you up and. Also, just to be clear, we're talking about the French defense e4 e6. It's not that I resign whenever I'm sitting across a player from France. Like that, that would be just wrong. That would be hard. Yeah. yeah. Like, Peter Svidler has been doing that for the last couple of days, but <clears throat> it's not the way to play chess. <laughs> Poor old Peter. Is he watching? We're Peter, warming if... up. Peter, if you're watching, we're only yes. joking. Uh, Zastrovia. No. Speaking of warming up, there's something I meant to you ask want to you cuddle? about. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm sure you're on top of the controversy. Taylor Swift versus <laughs> Kanye West. Like, you know, which side are you on? What can, happened? Can there? I be honest? I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking no. about? Then let me elaborate. Yes. So on Kanye West's new album, mm -hmm. in the song, I believe it's called Famous, right. there is a line which says, maybe Taylor and I are going to have sex. I made that explicit famous. Mm -hmm. And Taylor pretended she was very upset about it. But then Kim Kardashian came to the rescue, used Snapchat to publish a conversation between Kanye West and Taylor Swift about Kanye asking for permission if he could use this line in the song. And she was fine with it, but she's saying it's the word, I can't say the word, but I can say cumber bitch, so just think it's without mm -hmm. the cumber, mm -hmm. the word he used which she didn't see coming. Mm -hmm. Well, he's been arguing that bitch, ah, cumber bitch without the cumber, in hip hop lingo, is a term of endearment, and it's clearly not an insult. So A term of endearment? Yeah. I think that's a bit rich. And I don't, look, the problem is... So which side are you on? So it's very asking? clear, let me, let me make my position absolutely Please. clear. This is, our pos this is how Donald Trump starts his speeches. <laughs> Let me make, make my it position absolutely, absolutely clear. Really clear. Uh, and then says something with no content. And <laughs> no, I watched no, like, and Donald it, Trump's yeah. pro-life discussion the other day. It was beautiful. Oh my God, have you seen that? What a dis... What a dis you know, I'm pro-life. I'm, you know, I'm, what does that mean? It means I'm pro-life. I mean, Let's not deviate here. Anyway. Kanye. Um, this is my position. Let me make my position absolutely clear. Please, I do. am anti-Kanye. I know that. That's what I'm bringing so up. So anything he says is wrong. Right. Just anything. Even right. if he says two plus two equals four, it's not Kanye. It's not You're true. still an expletive. That's all I have to That's say. That's all you have? Yeah. How do you feel about Kim Kardashian? Um, I don't feel anything about Kim Kardashian. Nothing I wish all? she would just, uh, you know, shrivel up. And leave us all. I wish they'd all just leave. Would it us be all fair alone. to say you're not keeping up with the Kardashians? <laughs> it would be fair. Very good. I am. I am. I watched the recent show, no, which don't. I recommend to you: The People vs. OJ, where Robert Kardashian plays a prominent role. It's an excellent show. Have you seen it? I'm sure I've told you to watch. I can't watch these people. Yeah, I just. No, can't. it's not a Kardashian show. I'm saying oh. this is a documentary. A documentary. Or, mm. It's not really a documentary. It's a recollection. 
I can't find Recollection. the Recollection. No, it's also not that. Anyway, it chronicles the O.J. Simpson mm -hmm. trial. Yeah, it's very oh, well done. Well, it's an excellent show. I remember but the one OJ. of O.J.'s best friends was Robert Kardashian, right. the father, the of father of all these right. Kardashians. Yeah. I can tell you, I remember the O.J. Simpson trial. I must have been that was ninety four, so you must have been like or eight know, years old, twenty or something. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you? In ninety four, I was fifteen. Probably. Do you remember the trial? I vaguely remember it. I remember like, This was pre-internet and it wasn't big on German TV. Like in so. England it was really big. I remember in school, I think we even watched it. I remember the footage of the Bronco chase. Like that was yeah. German TV, not live, but okay. we, we got it. You know... Um... Anyway, it's an excellent show. Both we, we the People vs. OJ and okay. the ESPN documentary, gotcha. which is called... What is it called? Like... Nah, you guys know what I'm talking anyway, about. Anybody, anyway, anybody who likes Kanye West is immediately defriended by me. He's wow, a fake. It's harsh. He's a fake. He's. I think we have to make a distinction between the stuff he says in interviews and his public persona and his music. Because I, I do think like, he's a good artist. I don't. You don't? No. A college dropout is fantastic. Yeah, he's got some okay tracks, but he's not a good artist. He can't rap. Uh, if you put him on the spot, no, he's not a rapper. <laughs> He claims he is. Yeah, but that's not his forte. But he has a good feel for. It's like saying, "Hey, you're a chess player. You you, you don't know what, how to mate with the king, queen versus king." Just... No, that's not it. He's an excellent producer. <laughs> then he should stay as a producer. Get off. I the, disagree. Get off the no, mic. You can't rap. There are ten gazillion rappers who actually put time and effort into their lyrics. Into the, not it, ten gazillion rappers putting time and effort into the lyrics. The ones Who's that putting you, time and effort into their uh, lyrics? I'll send right. you some. I'll Where's them you. lyricists? They're I'll, all gone. I'll, I'll send you them. You'll be surprised at who's out mm, there. No big L out there. And anyway. Anyway, we're getting slightly sidetracked. Did we, we haven't looked which at Which normally we don't at the on this program. So wow. Apologies. What happened? Especially to... Whom did we upset earlier? Kislev? I forgot. Um, Queen F4 by play a little late, right? No, he played he did it. it. But then he went Bishop F8. That's fine. All right. Queen F7. C5. Yep. Finally trying to activate. Oh, he's okay, Keith. There should be three. Queen and C6. The battle continues. Queen C6. Queen C6 or Queen A6. I don't know. Keith could win. Nah. David is very quick on his feet. No, he's not. That's true. Who would win in a race? Uh, what race? A, a race on the ground. Right. Running. Right. Uh -huh. Um, mm. What's going on? I'm getting some messages here. Maybe we're down or something, which would oh. be a pity. No, oh, no, the chat is lagging, which is a pity oh. too, but normally that can be fixed with restarting things. So please restart it. In, in a race. Who would win between Fabiano Caruana yes. and Anish Giri? Anish Giri. What kind of race? Just is 100 like meters. 100 meters, then Fabiano. Who was 10? 10 miles or 10 kilometers, I'd go with Anish. Probably no, probably Fabiano wins any anyway. race. Yeah. <laughs> I think Anish doesn't work out much. He's doesn't naturally mean. skinny and in decent shape because he's young. But I think you forced yeah. Fabiano to work out a lot I more do. than he used to. Every day I'm sending a message, are you, are you, are you working out? He's, he's actually in St. Louis working out with uh, Eric Hansen at the moment. Oh, Eric handsome Mr. Hansen. Handsome Hansen. Yeah, Robin and, Van Kempen and is also there. Also like the there. Whole They're crew. all working out. So when I go Ooh. there, I expect him to be big and buff and beautiful. And maybe The only thing I dislike about Fabiano's working out is that he doesn't really have a chance to be the pe best pound-for-pound -pound player in the business anymore. Because muscles weigh more than no muscles. So he's going to lose that title for good. Right. Mr. Dodgy says, are we watching the end of Jan's commentary career? Let me tell you something, Mr. Dodgy. His commentary career never started. So <laughs> how can something end that never started? He does have a very good uh, point there. It's mm. a bit like when I announced my retirement from chess, people said, wait, you're a chess player? I said, how no. often have you renounced your... Just one time. Renounced your retirement? Just I, once? I did. But you never one. retire, right? You just play the same amount of games <laughs> yeah. after your retirement. That's Many but I'm not, at least, but Paco, you know, Paco's an expert in retiring and coming back. He's, 
Paco's retired a couple times. Yeah, Luke Van Veli is retired and then played 180 <laughs> tournament games on the next <laughs> list. Um, yeah, a lot of Where is Luke Van Veli? few emotional people. people. You just retire and then you rethink it. I never retire, I just don't play. It's much <laughs> easier. Uh -huh. um, Ooh, Chris G. Boy. Ward. Chrissy Boy is doing These middle names confuse me, by the way. Do we need the middle names? Is that an, an English, English thing? I think right. it's an English thing, yeah. In the British Does Chinese everybody thing. have a middle name? Do you have a middle yeah. name? Yeah. What's your middle name? Jan. No, it's not. <laughs> is it David? Everybody seems to be no. called David anyway. It's Adam. Like Adam? The first man wow. on Earth. You know? Mm, I would have thought of Eve, maybe, but Adam is yeah. a surprise. Um, Eve came out of my ribs. Wow. That's what they is that is that the creationist story? I can't remember. Uh, I All believe very, we are on the eve of destruction. All very believable. Believe, believe, believable. Believable. Um, oh my god. Well, he's fighting, but this pawn is... <laughs> yeah, can't mess with Henry. It's not Harry. It's Henry. What about Mark Hepton? He's just getting Mark outplayed, no? Mark L. Hepton. El Capitan. I actually don't know what the L stands for. Me neither. What's sure. your best guess? Lennox? <laughs> Mark. Chat lags by like five minutes. Wow, that's so sick. Wow. Um, let me do... We yeah. mind our legs not touching. Like Sorry. I do like it I off know, the yeah. air, but like here it's, uh, it's getting me too excited. What's it going to be? Mm. I can look it up for you. Yeah. Mark Captain. It's kind of sad that I don't know all of this. Or... It's kind of sick that you don't know everybody's middle name. Even Wikipedia doesn't know that. Wow. Wikipedia doesn't know his middle name? No. No, just Mark Captain. What is Mark's middle name? Please put it in the chat. I know it's lagging Mark by 20 L. years. Mark Captain. But, but it just doesn't give the L. Hmm. We will never know. What about the Peter Wells game? Let's go there. Yeah, that one was interesting. Wow. Peter is taking over. Because wow. with opposite color bishops, king safety rules supreme. It's more important than pass pawns, more important than open files. And Peter is in control here. Rook a6, wow. nice move targeting what this. A game. What a I game. I believe, maybe, yeah, I believe h6 was wrong. I'll come out and say. Yeah. And that's made a king f2. I think that was an excellent move because he has his plan g3, king g2. It's much stronger than castles. But yeah, credit to Peter. Yeah. Peter is... Or PK, as I call him. PKW. Mm -hmm. I just call him PK. Mm -hmm. Press conference. Us in the business call him PKW. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have a middle name, Jan? No, just Jan. They wanted to make it a... You know, your parents, they, they really wanted to make it an exciting name, a kind of... Mm, it was a long last name, so uh, I'm, I'm cool with having a short first name. So, Liam, we're told. Liam, it could be Mark Liam Hepton. Mark could Liam be. Hepton. Could be. Liam, yeah, it could be. Wow, what happened in this game? I have no idea why I even clicked on it, but it looks like John Amps is using his superior class and his extra 400 rating points to slowly but surely. Get a grip. Mm -hmm. Peter Wells against Danny Gormali is now... Wow. It's just wow. very unpleasant. All kinds of threats appearing. Queen d2, wow. queen f4. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Peter's got two. Let's get it. Caramba. Peter's low on time, of course. Is he? No. no. Mm -hmm. Two minutes. Two minutes. But he's... It's two minutes for Ah, minutes. It's and enough. it's Mark Lancelot Hapton. No, it's not. <laughs> Possibly not. Mm, no, How Peter's much would you this. change your name for, to Lancelot for? Uh, I think Lancelot is a good name. Like, uh, <laughs> I'd do it for free. Would you? Mm, no. Nah, I never thought the word literally means in English. Lancelot. Nah. That's uh, Lancelot. Isn't that a... A knight, a famous knight, Sir Lancelot yeah, or something? Yes, yeah, Sir Lancelot, that's right. Very so famous. So that's why, it's, why he's called Lancelot, because he was Lancing a lot? 
Um, yes. Wow. It all makes sense to me now. No, I don't, I don't know if that's true. Richard Palliser is about to convert here. Just has to go queen f6 check and queen takes f2. He's and not gonna let that one why slide would, by. Why would I go queen f6 and queen f2? Why not if I could just this? promote yeah, this. <laughs> Same thing. He wants to... Hold on. Uh, Thomas Fodor wants to... He wants to fortress. Fortress, but there's no fortress. But normally you should lose this pawn, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah, this should be winning for black. Actually, you win the pawn by force. Give it to me, baby. No, you don't win it by force. You win... Mm, yeah, well, you're gonna win something, whatever. Get a check. King goes somewhere here. On queen d2. You can't keep all these fellas. And this is... Like... This is the type of fortress the three little pigs set up. <coughs> Lost. Especially when you can create an outside pass pawn. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, Mr. Palliser is going to be in the mix. In my opinion, he's one of the most underrated players in all of the United Kingdom. Yeah. Just throwing it out there. I think you should throw it out there. What did PK double PK, if he spots Queen D2 on route or on route, I'll accept either pronunciation to F4. He's going to win. Just play <laughs> He just blundered. Did he blunder? He what? went rook c6. Why can't I take take and play queen takes? He missed queen takes c6. Blech. He's still better. That's the good news. I Such mean, position come nice on. Forward, but I think he missed the... Still, I mean, I've won such positions many a time. Because the king is weak, this is weak. You just shuffle your pieces around. It's still unpleasant. But of course, that was not what the doctor ordered from this position. Maybe he's spotted everything and he just wants to simplify not mm -hmm. having to deal with the c4 pawn things and rightly so that you still have decent winning chances here. In case you're wondering why, opposite color bishops, three versus three pawns, it's all about king safety. And with two heavy pieces on the board, white is much, much better here because you can use your bishop as an attacking weapon while the black bishop doesn't have anything to attack and can't defend the weak and light squares. Mm -hmm. That's my chess content of the day. That's I'm your done. chess culture of the day, huh? Not really culture, chess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is bad for white, but of course, PKW, as I like to call him, had <laughs> better options in this position. Richard Palliser is going to win this, I'm sure of it. Um, Hal versus Keith. Keith versus Hal. Keith is winning. Oh my god. Is that true? Is Keith winning? Mm -hmm. Looks great for Keith. Is is Davy boy bungling it? Looks like Davy is bungling it, doesn't it? Looks like Keith has managed to kind of Whoa. Yeah. But he has to find some moves. He has to grab that, pawn. Yeah, but that's grab a, that pawn. That's, that's a Keithy move. Queen a6. Because it's not really... So everybody's more for just yeah. grab a pawn. Yeah, if you win that, that's really serious, actually. That's really serious. Whoa! Keithy boy! Serious FM. Are we going to have the biggest upset of the tournament thus far? Well, one of the big ones. Fill me in on the big upsets oh, so far. Oh, PK. He took with the queen on c4? He's, no, oh, come on. Come on. That's just an insult to chess culture all over the place. Without queens, this is just a draw. Uh, well, with with queens on the board, why is actually too many chances? So he must have panicked, or maybe he yeah. missed queens to six and he panicked in time of trouble. This is just a draw, and yeah, they've actually agreed to a draw. That's just sad. Poor Peter Wells. Great game in, in places. He can still play, but then yeah, to finish the job, it's, <clears throat> it's been tough for him sometimes. Yeah, that's sad. Even here, rook c4, I mean, I'm rook playing c4 this all day, like, like um, queen c2, and you're gonna suffer. Why wouldn't you play rook c4? That's very weird, because you're four moves away from Confidence the time control. Confidence is just so big in chess, isn't it, when you're a bit low. Right. It's just really... Mm -hmm. It's like you, you don't get many compliments, but you are confident. No, I'm not confident. You are very confident. Like, not in your chess skills. Not in my chess uh, skills. In, like, other things. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're dancing. Mm. Not really that either. Yeah, you're... Okay, we all know. Um, 
Let's quickly go to this. Oh <coughs> my giddy giddy gosh. Mm. David Howe's got 30 seconds for 11 Whoa, moves. Whoa, the Keith. 30 stirrup. seconds. Is Keith Arkle on for a massive, massive. This is just hopeless, no? King is David's weak, no? got 13 seconds. This is what we've been What do you want to do? You want to go queen of six here, but then uh, this is pretty powerful. Uh, pretty, pretty, four, pretty three, good. Three, two, and one. Whoop. Left and right. No, this is tough for David. Wow, this would be just such a horrible loss for him. He wouldn't be happy. No. I don't know him as well as you do, but I imagine he wouldn't take a loss like this lightly, right? No. no. Let's just say he doesn't. He wouldn't take this loss well at mm. all. And this is what we're saying, you know, David, if he just managed his time a bit better... I just feel like there's so many moments where you can just play quicker. You know, this really needs to be worked on. And the thing is, with time, even Fabiano has suffered. It's a real well aware. job. It's a real job to... It's not a matter of chest strength. Sometimes it's, it's just there chest. and it's very hard to get rid of it. No, but it's also, there's a lot of psychological work you can do. There's, there's a lot of stuff that we're trying. And I think David really needs to... Um, to explore it because it's just sad that he gets great positions and then blunders because he's just got no time. Yeah, but today it wasn't really blundering. It was a no, you very don't, tenacious display well, why by Mr. Why would you Mr. go rook g1 Ocal and rook takes g6? I mean... Yeah, but the computer was in favor of that. I'm not sure that's a blunder at all. <clears throat> just, yeah, it does not, make not the going a little tougher. You can't just cruise on chess culture. What's going on? Queen b6, is that a lifeline? No. no, it's a good move, probably. Hinting at rook d2, queen no. b2. <coughs> you, we still want to go here, but no, black's position is just easier to play, too. David played bishop e3. Bishop e3, stopping rook d2, makes sense. This yeah. is an unpleasant move, this is uh, logical. Still, yeah. still all to play for. Black is better, but you gotta get the job done. Yeah. Get the job done, and we're going to stay with this until the time mm. control. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we would not. All the way? What's the time control? The Is time? it now? No, 10 moves. In Eggy. No, but time wise. Ah, it's at 7 30, yeah? What? No. Not necessarily. It's not after four hours? Well, you look at the. This is nine, so nine moves nine times 30 is. No, it could be at 7.05, no? Or 7.10. The time control. The latest possible moment for the time control is 7.30. How can that be? Well, they have a time assigned. Look, but I'm saying... Each of them. But look, they have like one hour and let's say 40 minutes for 40 moves plus 30 seconds per move, right? Mm -hmm. So that would mean the time control is But I don't think it is one hour 40. I think it's one hour 30. Okay, then the time control would be at 7.10. That's what I'm asking. That makes more sense, my friend. <sighs> and Davy Boy has played Rook G1. Oh, Bishop F2. Get that in there. Nice. Takes, not that difficult, really. Takes, takes, takes. King E3, Queen C3, Bishop D3, Rook D8. That's all she wrote. Yeah. Keith is capable of playing that, but he's also only got one minute left, so he... Very might, very much might. It's not an easy it. combination, though. Like, <clears throat> I think he can do it. What will you give me that he does it quick? No, I don't think he will do it, but I uh, think he can. I think he will. No, nope. you're wrong. He's played queen to six, which is which is a mistake. A mistake. Anything can happen. Maybe he'll lose. Mm. Queen stops attacking this. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Anything goes. What does he want with queen c6? I don't know, it just looks like a weird move to me. It's just a panic move. Yeah, it's just a move. It's just a move and not the move. Now maybe he wants to go b5. Nah, it's not Keith to play. Maybe. David with 20 seconds. Hmm. Is it rude if I chew gum on the yes. show? Yes. It's rude, right? Yeah. To to whom? To you or to the viewers? Just to everybody. To everybody? Would yeah. you be offended? Yes. Even if it's sugar-free? Yes. 
Okay, then I won't do it. Is, um, we'll come back to this in a second. Is David... You said we're going to stay with us till the time control like eight seconds ago. Yeah, we will. Let's just check in with David Eggleston. Eggie's better. Eggie's a bit better. The extra. But he's gonna, it's going to be a draw in the end. Yeah, probably. Um, what did Davy Boy do is the question. Do you call him Davy Boy? I do. Not many people do because it's not a very well-known thing to call him. Sounds a little disrespectful to me. Yeah. Davy Boy. Sounds yeah. like a pirate of the Caribbean. Yeah. Davy Boy Smith. <laughs> yeah. Mm. What did he do? We're waiting for a move. And Smooth Baron agrees with you. Don't chew gum. It will sound horrible. Yeah. He's right. Thanks, Smooth Baron. Flying Chess Kestrel wants us to look at Ems versus Man. Waddington. Not gonna be able to do it. Not no at premium, the and we're switching there in a heartbeat. You know yeah. this works. Um, uh, Queen H5, Bishop E7. Queen H5, good move. Like just chasing this irritant away. Yeah, he might win this H6. Queen E7. Yeah, he took it. Takes target. Uh, this and uh, you have to win the game all over again. B5, yeah. but not an obvious move by any stretch of the imagination. I have to calculate crazy stuff like this. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> what the hell? Such a game <laughs> warrior, it's unbelievable. Rook G8. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> Rook G8 is a bad move. No, he's bungling it. Oh god, takes, is he gonna takes, lose? And takes here, and all of a sudden. Oh my god, fine. David Al, how does he do it? This never happens to me. It's not necessarily winning for White, but yeah. <coughs> it's a dream. Compared to what happened earlier. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, let's quickly go to no Eccleston and Hebden have reached the time control, I believe. We're just going to stay here. We've got another few more moves, and when they reach there, we're going to go for a very quick break. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> four door versus Palace is. Queen takes B2 is just... Yeah, this is winning. Hopeless. Long term. He wants to go A5. Yeah, that's... But a... we can always go B6 and then run. It's winning. Yeah. Unless you blunder your queen, which I'd be careful of. But maybe even this is winning because <clears throat> this pawn is still fast. Yeah. Um, let's just stay on this game, uh, Jan. You look at the... Uh, you look at the <laughs> chat. <laughs> B3? Not gonna be able to do it. Oh. Wow. And if bishop B3. I like B3. Just safeguarding the king, you know? The king can now get out the way. Mm -hmm. And if bishop B5, you can take and take with. Ooh. Keith could look. Oh, he played bishop B5. He's gonna lose. He's gonna yeah. lose. The howl. What a chance for Keith. Oh, Turn it around. Dearie me. Uh, dearie, dearie me. Dairy meat? Dairy me. Dairy, dairy me. Poor Keith. <laughs> and that's what you need in this tournament. You've got to convert these winning positions against the strong players. It's never easy, but... True grit. And these 2660, 2700 guys, they don't just collapse. Something goes wrong, you know what? Still gonna calculate. Make moves. And he yeah. did take his chances, but Keith, especially at this moment, uh, he's gonna look back in anger. Yeah. Yeah, no. This is just it's crushing. It's simple. It's simple when you see it on on the computer screen. Yeah, but yeah. this one I don't think is that hard. Like okay, over the board, of course, sacrificing all kinds of things. Never easy. But yeah. now look what he's done. Yeah. It's to go all passive, rookie eight, and then yeah, even c four is good. Just stopping any counterplay, locking in that dude. Mm, it's gonna gonna be suffering from here on out. Yeah, it's real suffering, real real suffering. Well, what a break this could be for um, How? for David. Yeah, because if he wins this, which looks like he is gonna win this now, um, that will put him on plus. Let's check the scores, four. Mr. Howell. He only has three and a half out of four. But if he wins this, he jumps right into first place what do you on mean four and a half. Only has. You've never had three have... and a half out of four. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, actually, you've never German had German Junior Team <laughs> oh, Championship, second board under 17. Who scored 
Mm. Anyway, look it up. I, I crushed them. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Bet three and a half out of four many a time. Good. Um, Did they reach time control? Two more moves we've got, and then we're going to go David, just, you know, making sure. C4 is a very David move, though, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. The problem with C4 is, in my opinion. Queen, queen A5. Queen A5, queen A5 yes. and you start second guessing, you yeah. have to calculate. He played King C2, which is very is sensible, here. isn't it? Very sensible move. King C2 is. Allowing fine. Queen E2, you know. But it does allow <laughs> <this>. <laughs> you just, you know. You've got to play you're thinking this is impossible. Rook D8? Queen F7, but it's not impossible. Rook D8, Queen E7? Uh, Rook D8, Queen E7, Queen D3. Uh, King D2, anyway. yeah. Yeah. Maybe he'll go there. Maybe mm. he'll just play a Keith move like A5 or something. A5? Well, that's a bad move. You can't go A5. What's he going to do? He's got one minute. You've got to go Queen E2. Like you've already messed up, so at least get back in there. You yeah. can play a Keith move like Bishop F8. That's a Keith move. <laughs> that's a Keith move, Bishop F8. He's played Bishop F8. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, that that's a mistake. Yeah, you have to go Queen too. too passive. You can't play positionally in all positions. That's tell that's, me about that's it. The, that's the key here. Um, and Bishop F8, and we're waiting for one more move, and then we're going to go to break. Break time. Yes. I'm hungry. Where do we get food? We'll have food after the transmission. We'll go for dinner. How about that? Beautiful. Just you and me? Just the two of us. Lovely. We can make it if we try. I don't think we're going to try. Okay. Queen d5. Queen d5. He doesn't want to exchange queens. And now one more. Not afraid of queen e2. But queen yeah. e2 now you now, can. Now, yeah. <laughs> you should go queen e2. All right. I'm well connected. Let's go on a quick break. Why? Uh, because it's move 40 and... But we need Keith's right, well, move we'll 40 first. We'll have one first. more move. Could really change the the whole tournament. I've blundered on move 40 more times than I can imagine, remember, and imagine. Oh, I didn't, wasn't aware this coffee mug was... It was. Blocking. Mugging. Blug, blocking. Also, I'm having a bad hair day. No, you're all right. No, 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 don't. Don't give you any love? Don't give me any love. You don't need no love? Mm -hmm. Keith, you got 30 seconds, buddy. No bravery. I should also sit up straight. Now I'm all self-conscious ever since you switched the thing on again. Keith, you're in trouble. Yeah. Just go Queenie 2. Go for it. But Just the thing is, you also it, see Queen D7 and things like that. And he won't go Queenie 2. No, it's not his style. He's going to go A5. Yeah, he's going to go A5. <laughs> he's definitely going to go A5. Mm, no, he's went. Oh, he played Queen, Queen A5. Queen A5. Okay. Sensible enough. We are going to be right back. Nah, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. Uh, but we will be back to see how this game ends. So many ups and downs. Hal's going to win, just so you know. Hal's going to win, according to Gusti. We've still got uh, Fodor versus Palliser, which looks winning for Richard. And then we've got Eggleston versus Hebden, which... That is the game of the day. There's so many things that could happen. Like, could be a draw, or White could win. Both of these outcomes are still possible. So stay tuned. You really don't want to miss how that game goes. I see the viewership has increased, but it's still sad. We have to, we have to plug more. That we we'll hear. get some more people. All right, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> see you later.
Welcome back everybody to the the show. I forgot to close the door. Doesn't matter. Shall we close the door? Do you oh, want to hold the door? Hold the door. Um, no, I mean, we can just continue. We've got uh, two key games left. One Keith game. One Keith game and two key games. Isn't the Keith game one of the key games? Um, yes. Okay, just clarifying. Probably is, my friend. What's the other key games? Uh, we've got Eggy? Eggy versus Hebby, and Eggy is... It's not Hebby, it's Hebo. It is Hebo, but Eggy is completely gewinning, no? Eggy is better. No. He is better. Eggy is knight eg510, no? With mate. Um, yeah, this looks unpleasant. Yeah. Um, ah, but this, this is the point. Targeting this dude, which surprisingly, at He's least to me, yeah. doesn't have anywhere to go. Not what you would expect from yeah. a proud horse on F4. Looks like a war horse, but it can't do a thing. Knight EG5 is also the first move you can't. Well, Knight EG5, you rook D7 normally maybe. just blitz out. What about rook D7 straight away? You also could blitz that out. You just blitz out one of the two. But how uh, bad can this be? Uh, Pretty bad. Oof. That's... Nasty. That'd be a rude awakening. I'm very capable of missing that. Are you? Would you like dislike yourself a little bit after the game? I'd want to cut. I'd want to cut myself. Because this is losing. <laughs> You're just getting checkmate. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd want to cut myself. Well, that's a bit strong. I don't think. I don't think you mean that. Mm -hmm. Um. What's the other key game? Um, Palliser. Nah, it's just completely winning. He's gonna infiltrate and then win. Yep. Good game by Pally. Richard. You call him Pally? Pally. Ali Pally. Ali Pally. That's his nickname. That's what he's known in the business. He's known as no. in the business. Yes. Ali Pally. This is a great game. Yeah, it's one of the prettiest games I've ever seen today. Oops. What? Oops. Did this happen? Nah, it didn't happen. What happened? He played not EG5. Yeah, and I played not EG5. Went for this, uh, but it doesn't work because yeah, now there's 91. 91 yeah. And whoever comes first mates first. David Eggleston with a massive victory then after 91. It looks like it's, there's just nothing to be done here, right? I mean, no, nope, ah, it's game wait, over. This wait, wait, is going to show wait, wait. up. Here, takes takes here. King here, let's say. And takes F4. F4. And this is going to oh, be the next move. Oh, man, man, man. As the Germans say, man, man, man. We do say that. I know. And Alter Lux. Huh? People don't say it, but I'm trying to uh, make it part it of the general lingo. What does it mean? It means like man, man, man. Alter Lux. Meine Fresse. Uh, what does Alter Lux mean? Literally, Alter it means older. old salmon. Oh, Alta Lax. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm working on making that expression. But has anybody ever used part it before? Of the discussion. I use it. Shachunsky uses it. Who? That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy, Shachunsky. Who's Shachunsky? You know Shachunsky. I don't know Shachunsky. At all. Mm -hmm. You've met Shachunsky. Anyway, Alta Lax. Use it, people. See, Niklas knows what it means. Niklas in the chat. Mate and five on the board and Eggy against Hebo. Heavy. Hebo. It's Hebo. He's a heavy, but... <laughs> he's a heavy Hebo. Mm, yeah, this, this is an upset. It was a nice game by Grandmaster yeah. Hepton. He was playing. But well. then he yeah. surprisingly... Well, he could have sealed the deal here apparently with knight b4. And there's very little to do about knight d3, let's say. Yeah. Where do we go here? Knight d3... Rook F1, and now yeah. the going is going to get very tough because this rook is also mm -hmm. up for grabs, let's say, where this, this. But he played the most natural move in the world, knight d4, and after that it wasn't so simple anymore, and he probably got a little flustered here that he wasn't winning. Mm. And kudos to Eggy. Mm. Yeah, kudos. Good result for Eggy. That means he'll be on 4 out of 5. I've never met Eggy. Have I met Eggy? No. I might have seen him. I don't have a... You've never met him. I can't picture him. Um, so that really leaves us with one critical game and the two guys that move at the pace of a very old snail. So 
that's quite slow, right? It's yeah. not a speedy young snails, they're, they're, but it's like but the old But hold on, let me, let me put a question to you. Please. please. The move pawn to c4 looks thematic to allow the bishop to come out. And if you were to, for example, take mm, still come out. bishop yeah. a3, you probably can defend, but at least I've... A lot of passivity in the white camp. Rook a, rook a trait, hit h2. Yeah. And if you have to keep going passive, queen e2, something, I don't know what. A5. Uh, a5, a4, maybe you should have done that earlier. But all of a sudden, mm. this looks like... Because I don't, I don't anybody's want to game. white to go c4 and consolidate another weakness, and then this queen is just... You know, and then he's just rolling, no? Yeah, but after uh, what I've learned about Mr. Arkell six. from today's game, it's not his style yeah. to do something like this. And he has gone back. He's trying to play positionally, but, but F5, he doesn't use the dynamic he, toolbox. F522 is his point, though. No. Yeah, queen d2 and there's a pin along the... Queen d2 takes takes and you cannot take because yeah, of that pin. Uh, and else uh, these dudes, them big dudes. be fast. They're big duties. Yeah, and David's gonna see that. He's gonna spend like 20 minutes on the move, but he's gonna see it. Richard Palliser has won. That is official. Well done to Mr. Palliser. And so has Mr. Eggleston. Yeah, and Mr. Eggleston has also won. Great result for Eggy. Well done to him, and Mark will be very disappointed to have uh, lost today after a promising position. But then on the other hand, he was completely losing another round ago and maybe... But you never think like that, right? Never think like you never that. <laughs> if, you, if you were losing against a 21-15 and you beat him, you wouldn't think, oh, actually, it's even now because I no, should No, and it's not because <laughs> even if yeah. you were losing, you're still 400 points are rated, so you're supposed yeah. to win many of those. So, bad result for Mark. And we had a great game, PKW versus Gorm. Uh, Chris Ward did eventually win. Yovanka also won. Oh, John M's only drew. John M's only drew. Wow. Mike Waddington is having the tournament of his life. Waddy man. He's 2018. This is rating. Wow. That's no offense, but that's, that's not low. supposed to score a lot of points against no. Grandmasters. No. He's on three and a half out of five, I believe. Ooh. What's going on Gaining there? Gaining about 50 or 60 rating points. And also, his position was kind of bad. We, uh, we've seen it earlier. I was expecting b5. That didn't happen. And bad. then he generated counterplay. Uh, John Ames may be a little too eager to punish him with rook a1. Whoops. And here, what? things have gone a little wrong. Uh, no, this what? didn't happen. No, they, this didn't happen. They agreed this to was draw. a draw for... Jo John, realized, John realized he's in massive trouble here. And said, so thought time, time let's to... Let's go again. home. Ah, Interesting. Well, well, so that means let's just have a look at Mr. Waddington, what his performance is thus far. He's gaining 55 rating points after five rounds. Must That's be something nice. Jan Gustafsson dreams of. Um, yeah, it would be hard for me, though, to gain 55 rating points in the British Championship after five rounds, <laughs> even if I like scored 10 out of five. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Are there any? We're going to just go down. There is um, one interesting. What happens in Letzos against Osborne? Well, let me just give you a bit of. Give me a bit of context. Yeah. Osborne related to Kelly Osborne? Yes, no. I don't think so. Okay. But this chap here, Lensos, is. Uh, I, Sounds I, Greek. He is Greek. He's. Recites in the U UKs? I don't know, but he's a young guy, so I imagine he probably lives there. And unfortunately today he's playing uh, the very experienced Marcus Osborne and it looks gavinning for black because too many checks, you can pick the rook up sometimes and... It's very move by move though, right? Like, if white gets a bit of time, rook b7, b6, it's not so gavinning. <clears throat> so what do you do? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm just too... Well, I thought the queen ending is also very, like... Yeah. Yeah, it's made. I can also win, take your rook with check, no, somehow. Can you, though? Yeah. Yeah. Queen a2, takes your rook with check. Well, the problem is d3. Uh -huh. That's also a problem. 
Yeah, it seems to be yeah, giving. It's, it's why, why do I keep saying your half German <laughs> phrases? Seems to be winning for Marcus E. Osborne. Yeah. Um, so Marcus Osborne, he's a very good player, Marcus. He deserves it. So we've had, and then basically all the other games are finished. We've got it's Shaw versus there. Ralph. Oh, this is this is Gusty's dream, except that mm. White is lacking a pawn and can't break through. Dead so draw, right? Uh -huh. Probably just a dead draw. Just do nothing. For the rest of the game, we'll King C2, King D3. Don't touch this knight covering all the squares. It is a dead draw. Dead draw. Don't believe the hype. We're not believing in the hype. And David Howe, rather expectedly or not, he didn't go f5, he Finally played, c4. played c4, which is also good, but it allows black to go queen g6 check, at least for now, stopping the advance. Yeah, and somehow this of is. Them dudes. This game is just going back and forward. I just. David mm -hmm. might still lose this. I doubt it, but he might. Nah, he's not gonna lose. I believe he's gonna win. But it's going to take a while. What odds will you give me for Mike Waddington to win the British Championships? I'll give you four to one. <laughs> mm. uh, Lensos is at Uric, uh, Warwick University. Wow, he looks a, he's a, looks a lot younger, Lensos, but maybe, uh, maybe he's not so young anymore. I don't know. Maybe he's a prodigy. Maybe he's a five-year-old university student. That's possible. It's unlikely, though. Ten-year-old. Pragnanda just beat the Grandmaster in the Czech Open, in case you were wondering. These, these GM killers, they get younger and younger. Yeah, they really do. Mm. Um, How old is Eggleston? Is he like five? <laughs> Eggy must be, what, 25? Ah, he's still a young man. You can look it up if you want. I don't really want to. I thought you knew, since you're very friendly with him. Go on, look it up. I'm curious. David what is it? No, maybe he's 27. No, he's not that old. Maybe he's 25. 26. Maybe uh, 26, let's say. The, ah, he's, he's not a doctor, right? No. Dr. David Eggleston? I don't think so. Chess. David Trey Theta Profile. Mm, he was born in the year 87, so Lucky he's 29 Yeah, he's a lot older than us. I thought well, he was a lot younger not, than me, he's not. He's not much younger than you. Is that him? That is him, but it's an old picture. It's a really old photo. He's thin there. No offense, wow. Eggy. Wow. No offense. Wow. Well, that was very well. rude. Eggy, I'm sorry that Lawrence he's said that. He's just had a few beers like we all have. We're all carrying a bit, you know, weight nowadays. It's he? too late. You've said it. Like, feelings have been hurt. You can't, like, mind. weasel your way out of it. Keith played Queen G6 check, which makes a lot of sense. And the king is a bit airy now. It's a bit, <laughs> of, it's a bit Lufthansa. It's a bit... No? Yeah, yeah, it is a bit Lufthansa. I don't... There's practical chances here for Keith now. Yeah, yeah. David is misplaying this, and David will be down to two minutes in ten minutes, and we'll all have back back to the fun of the increment. I don't think he's going to spend ten minutes on his next move. Mm. But what is he going to play? Knight yeah, d3 just, is the move you want to play. Knight d3, bishop e7, and rook d8 is like really. This is a plan, and this is also a Keith plan because it requires like maneuvering <laughs> on your back rank, so that's right up his alley. Now you want to go e6, queen e5, check. Yeah, but you're losing. But, uh, you're am, losing. I, am I? Am yes. I? Am I really? Yeah, because there's a check okay. on G2. Yeah. Mm, I don't check, know about Bishop that G5, voice. I'm not sure it works. Bishop G5, Bishop D2. Well, I was going to go King C3. Uh, well, what are you yelling about? You're going to yell out Queen A2? No. You can pretend that you thought about it for I a didn't, second. And go I didn't for see it. Queen A2, so. Me neither, but the computer gives it, so let's do it. Oh. With the idea of? What do I know? With the idea of queen a1. Knight b2. Queen a5. King c2. Queen e1. <laughs> what do I know? Um, uh, random. It's all random. What's Fiddler telling me? It's uh, Fiddler. Uh, the Svidster. What did he he's say? not happy. What happened? It's, it's not for general consumption. What did the Svidster say? Svidster is not happy with his match against the world number two. Maxime Vashiela Graf, because he lost. He lost the match? He did lose the Already? match. Yeah, it's all over. Oh dear. Chess mm. is too hard. Chess is very hard. What's up with the chat? Go premium. That's what we're all here for. 
Yeah, you should be all going premium. And thank you, Dover Beach, who is premium and who shared the podcast sleep setting, which will revolutionize my life. Because now true. I can just set it to 30 minutes and then it's going to stop instead of running for eight hours. Like, who can listen even this sleep to eight hours of basketball analysis every night? No, not just basketball analysis. I listen to a lot of podcasts. So just on the whole basketball thing, because I watched a bit of it yet this year, the, the playoff finals and... The playoff finals? <laughs> then there's no such thing. The playoff finals? What are, the NBA finals? What are they called? The NBA finals are finals. Okay. Um, I'm a bit of a stickler for yeah. details when it comes to basketball. What, do you, what did you think of um, yes. LeBron James? I wasn't happy. What do you mean? Because I don't want him to lose. Why, why? What is this? What, you never told the people on air why you dislike LeBron James. I'm, I've done that plenty. But the problem is normally I, when we're talking chess, I defend players that draw a lot of hatred or people rooting against them for whatever reason. While in basketball, I'm doing it. I'm a big hater when it comes to basketball. But why do that's you my hate hobby. LeBron James? I hate is too strong. He's not never done anything wrong, really. Like... Seems like a role model, incredibly gifted athlete, doing lots of great things in the community. But I prefer rooting against him. But what I'm trying Makes to say... Makes it more fun for me. I understand. I never forgave him for the decision in 2010. What even was, though he was just... He what just was the bad decision? Advising. Educate us in what happened in 2010. He left the lovely city of Cleveland and went to Miami in a very publicized TV stint. And then they had a little celebration with his co-stars in Miami before the season started. It's all nonsense. It's what sports what does that fans mean? like me get riled up. You mean about. he got offered a load of money to go somewhere else? No, no, no. He would have gotten the same money everywhere. <clears throat> it's what? not about the money. What does he get? Does he get more than you at Chess Twenty Four? I think it's similar. Like, Sim- let's <laughs> do the math. Per season, he gets like twenty-seven million dollars. Mm-hmm. Then he has his Nike contract, which is worth like a billion, and his other endorsement deals, which would get him like fifty million per year. So, so it's more or less the same, except he has some more endorsement deals. <laughs> okay. But yeah, for the same, uh, it's a wash salary. at the end of the day. Um, yeah. What else? David put his king on c3. Ooh. Probably okay. Just imagine a bishop were to go to b4 now. If bishops were knights, could jump over their own pawns. <laughs> this would be checkmate. Just think about it. Have you ever actually been in the game? Because this happens to me a lot. And that actually thought runs through my... I wish I could just play bishop b4, mate, and just leave now. No, you can do it, because mate ends the game. You can just do it, sign the score sheet, No, but I'm saying, do you ever just think, dream that you could do it? No. Okay. I don't dream. You don't dream. You sleep a lot, so you must dream. I I don't sleep that much. It's just uncommon hours. What odds will you give me for Nick Pert to come at least equal first? Nah, he's not going to be able to do it because he's too solid. He's not going to win like this last round game with Black against Danny Gormelli when he has to. So mm-hmm. give, me, give me some figures, baby. Um, I'll give you e- even money. <laughs> even money? <laughs> Why? You're like the, the worst bookmaker in the world. Yeah, I'm not giving you the best rates. If I give you three, three, run three to one for Mickey, would you take it? Um, three to one for Mickey? What does that even mean? Well, for every one you get three back. For what? For winning it. For, mm-hmm. winning it. for every one I get three back for Mickey winning it? Yeah. Yeah, of course I'd take that. Yeah, I'm not going to give you that. <laughs> That's <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. Like, even for you this time. Huh? I just wanted to tease mm-hmm. you. Actually. Yeah. What's your prediction on this game? I'll tell you what, why don't we do this? You predict the Howell result. is going to win. That's my prediction. Okay, I'll take the other two results for dinner. Oh, How about exciting. That? Nah, stakes is too high there. <laughs> I would win, but then you'd be grumpy all dinner long. and I wouldn't, honestly. Mm, also, I'm not sure we can have dinner. Oh, really? you got to go? Nah, not really. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just throwing it out there. Okay. Um, no, let's do it. I'm hungry. But I'm we should really... stick around for a bit. No, we got to see the end of this game. That's what they pay us the millions for. That's why they pay us the big bucks to stick with the Howlster. Nah, the Howlster doesn't work. Mm. Howl.fm. 
Move King C7 is interesting here. I don't think he's going to play it, but... No, he's not going to sweat it. Because you can't take on C5 for some reason, right? We have to calcu calculate, right? <laughs> yeah, Rook D8 and Bishop D6, yeah. Well, here you can stop calculating, because yeah, yeah, here you're yeah. fine already. Yeah. If you manage to get rid of the head of the snake here. Nothing too bad can happen to you. Kopf de Auf. <laughs> Kopf der Schlange? Kopf, Kopf der Schlange. Head of the snake, no? There you go. Kopf der Schlange, ladies and gentlemen. Do you like a Kopf der Schlange? I like many headed snakes. I've seen a couple, like two headed snakes. Must be confusing. They managed to survive, but it's still weird. Let's check the chat. Uh, Kevin Winter says a bromance. Not really, I mean... Yeah, I'm Kevin just Winter said that before. He's yeah, very happy with this the This is what will bromance. happen at dinner. We'll go, we'll order. Yeah, and we'll play Plants vs. Zombies. We'll go home. Yeah, I'll check my phone. You're yeah. gonna pretend to be busy. We'll we'll go home. Yeah. It's... <clears throat> it's really not an event. It's not an event where you want to play. T. Rendell says Queen H5. Now, Tom, if there's somebody who knows about chess, it's Thomas Rendell. So he wants to go queen h5 here. That's... I don't like it one bit. Because I like my queen where it was. Mm. I agree. It's just a general statement, but it's a nice little diagonal. I feel like we need to get active, so I like yeah. bishop e7. Get busy. I like king c7. That's too deep. He, nah. He's capable of playing that, Keith. Very capable. Mm -hmm. um, what else have we got? Dover Beach. What is the most outlandish outfit either of you have worn to a match? Oh, I can answer that. You can answer that? So, What's a match? A chess game? Chess game. So, in the Benasque Open, uh, mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly what year, but some years ago, I wore a bishop's outfit. So I had the headgear and the bishop's robe, and I wore it to the last round. Sounds ridiculous. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I won. Uh, but that's really besides the point. It was all about the outfit. Um, nice. I did have a running bet with Pepe Cuenca that for some reason we did, didn't ever complete that after our hundreds of blitz matches, whoever lost the match would have to wear a skirt to a tournament or the last round of a tournament or something like that. Mm -hmm. Can't remember the score. I think I'm slightly up. but yeah. No, I always dress well, or relatively well. For games, because I feel it's slightly disrespectful to the opponent if you yeah, dress outlandishly on purpose. So I don't normally do it. T. Rendell says, King C7 is too difficult for you to find. No, it's not, Thomas. Don't doubt yourself. You are a very strong player. How do you feel about Pokemon Go? Um, I'm I feel very strongly, and I just want to make my position absolutely clear on this. Okay? Mm -hmm. I just Please do. don't want there to be any... Uh, kind of misinterpretation. So let me make my position clear. I am mm -hmm. pro-life. Okay. Okay, I'm pro-life. But how do you feel that, about Pokemon? That means I'm pro-life. I, th I think it's self-explanatory. Absolutely. I don't think but I need to go... do you think it should be pronounced Pokemon or Pokemon? Well, as I said, I'm pro-life. So, you know, I, it's quite clear, isn't it? So, so I, you're going against the position of the Church of Pokemon on that one? Well, I'm pro-life. I don't need to spell it out to you. Mm -hmm. Well, what should happen to people that play Pokemon okay. Go? Should there be a punishment? Enough, enough Donald Trump mocking Okay, on this show. That is not what we're about. We are a tolerant... I just asked you about Pokemon I Go. I defriend people who play Pokemon Go. So if I find... There's only one person I've not defriended because I like her very much. Do you know who it is? Um, no. Who is it? Tara McGowan. Uh, she's such a... How, Tara? A sailor on watching. the ship of pop culture. I'm not what surprised that she's playing Pokemon. It's so horrible, this time wasting. It is a real life zombie apocalypse, oh, right? You see horrible. these weird people, and they're not young. They're like 20 something, running around doing something. And the problem is, there's no first prize, as far as I'm told. Uh, at first, I thought, oh, it's cool. So you find all the things, and then you get a million dollars from the Pokemon people. Apparently, there's nothing at stake. I just. Makes no um, sense. I just, I just despise the. The whole concept, I just really do. I just what you can use it for, though, is first of all for criminal purposes. You can lure people to certain places okay. with the Pokemon thing, or as a spy, you can pretend to be a Pokemon go, and then the German army just warned about it. We gotta be careful with.
Pokemongos because they could like film security footage dressed up as Pokemon. Anyway, what's your favorite Pokemon? I just can't even talk about it. It just makes me so sad. You didn't grow up watching Pokemon, not Digimon, really. Yu-Gi-Oh? No, not really. What did you? What childhood I memories didn't have do you one. have? I didn't have one. I was Sorry, just, man. I mean, I was just, my, my head was just in, you know, uh, other back ending manuals <laughs> and, you know. <laughs> <coughs> Right. Oh my god, David Howe played a move almost instantaneously. <laughs> That's amazing stuff. Queen d3? Yeah, fair enough. Well, I'm but still slightly surprised by a queen f5. No, no that's me. not a good move. Why? Oh, sorry. Why are you not going knight d3? Well, queen f5 is such an empty move. But <laughs> knight d3 is just such a... Yeah, but then what's next? b6, your move. No, I understand. Keith is basically who wants to blockade you. Uh... Tara, yeah, that, this is Michael Adams' wife. Tara, if you're watching, are they I married? Learned, uh, yeah, they've been married for years now. Oh, okay. But she's said, and what Tara does is she uploads all these Facebook photos of her and the Pokemon Go's, and has like, you know, they take selfies with the Pokemon Go's. That's too much for me. I don't uh, read any of that stuff. I know Tara and Mickey; they're very good taste yeah, in great. TV shows. So whenever they recommend something, that they're oh, great they're people in general. Very good like, taste. I tend in to general. pay attention, but. Very yeah, good taste. I just can't well do the Pokemon stuff. I just, I'm sorry, Tara. I'm sorry, everybody else who loves Pokemon. Why just, are you really sorry? I don't think you're that sorry. I feel kind of nauseated when I see it. All That's what I'm saying. You feel nauseated, but I you're not really sorry do, that you're though. not. I've seen, that. I've seen people do it, but I just can't stand it. A lot of strong chess grandmasters. No, they do. Who? I'm not going to name names. Name them. No. Shame them on air. Not going to be able to do it. Um, yes. Anybody I've met? <laughs> Anybody I work with? Um, if Fabiano does it, it's the end of no, our no, relationship. I don't know about that. <laughs> Magnus would definitely play, play Pokemon, I think. Mm -hmm. He's the sort of guy to play it. I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to... I uh, don't know, to what? Can we go? No, we have to keep following it's this game, right? sad. We're going to be here for another hour. <laughs> it's going to take forever. Oh, God. Why today? Why on a Friday? What's the difference in your world between a Friday and a Wednesday? Please tell us. Um, my girlfriend is free on the weekend, so I get to see her more and spend more lovely time with her. Because she has a, a real job and works in the real world. I understand. So that's why we're having dinner after the show. Well, she's at practice tonight. At practice? Yeah. What, what is she practicing? Dance! Wow, she's a dancer too. She is a dancer. Did you meet because of your mutual love for dancing? We did. Or dancing? We did. Yeah. Okay, she's enough about you. more professional, um, so she has to actually practice professionally. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why we can do it tonight. I have dinner, you mean? I have dinner, yeah. Okay. We can also play Pokemon together if you want. No, I'm good, I'm good. You can be my Pikachu. And this is how these shows are always going, mate. No? You um, want to be my little Pikachu? <laughs> this is how it ends, because we're just so bereft of ideas. Bereft. This position. Yeah, that's a good word. Do you not know bereft? I don't know that okay. word. Bereft Obama. Bereft Obama. Very mm -hmm. nice. Very good, Jan. What do you think? Queen G4? That's a Keith move. Maintaining well, the Well, you don't want to exchange queens, and you have to keep these pawns... On a tight leash. Queen G4, Queen, Queen H4 H3. or Queen H3. One of the two. Queen H3, you gotta calculate stuff like this. Yeah, also, Bishop takes C5 immediately wins, so. No, okay, can't expect me to see that. But actually, you could expect David to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna be able to do it. Um. <clears throat> uh, uh. What do we. Let's talk about dinner. Let's talk about dinner. What, what should we eat tonight? What do you what do you You know what? I wanna eat unhealthy. We can go to what's this place you called? To to Irish Rover, place? get to one of these burgers oh, with the good cheese. Actually, you know what? That's really right near my house. Beautiful. Let's mm -hmm. go there. Let's go to the Irish Rover. Why is that not right near your house? Because I live Ah, it's in... not that far to uh, yeah, your yeah, yeah, no. No, I I live in Portuguese. For uh, I got it, I got it, but I forgot that it's not that far. It's really close actually. Yeah. It's quite good there, the Irish Rover. Right? What are you gonna get? What are you thinking? I'll, I'll get one of these burgers with. They have the special weird meat. 
It's actually very good. It is good. <laughs> Pascal Flaum likes that place. See? <laughs> he might be there tonight. Never know. Um, yeah, I'm feeling unhealthy. You look it as well, so... <laughs> <laughs> Um, should we play some bands of lids? I don't know. Uh, uh, we had this discussion earlier. I think we concluded it was rude for me to chew gum. E can, even sugar free but gum. But can I tell you. But no, I can't spit it out on air either. You know why or I'm going to let you do it? Because for everybody that doesn't know, Jan is on a mission and I to think he's collect 250 Pokemons to rid himself. Ah, oh, we also, the sound is off. Okay, they just heard nothing of what we just said. <laughs> they heard nothing of all that, all oh, that stuff. Right. I'm very right. sorry, it was very funny. And I do take full credit for that away screen, in case you missed it. I don't take any credit for saying anything useful about this game. At least people are quick to point it out. You know, people are paying attention. Sound gone. Awkward. Peace and quiet at last. Sound <laughs> gone. Oops. <laughs> Muted. <laughs> mm. Sound department really hates Pokemon. Yeah, and just Chet Ben Lawrence. I hate Pokemon. Do um, you call it Pokemon or Pokemon? Because in the US, many uh, people call it Pokemon. No, Even I though there's an Pokemon. accent d'aigu on the E. We have a move. Queen G. Oh. He played it. Keith is strong sometimes. Mm. Well, Queen G4 is kind of... After you spot a Queen H3, no good. You gotta keep your Queen around. Yeah. This is the next best thing. And not easy for White to no. break through. I have a feeling he's gonna shuffle around and eventually do it. The King is a little exposed, so yeah, this is something you want to do with no pinning. Yeah, might be a draw, like... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be here for six hours sweating the draw. So if it's a draw, who will be leading... Oh, Knight D1 immediately by David Hell. That's a bit ambitious, is it? Mm. Is it? Ah, he wants to go Knight F2 and bring the Springy into Springerland. <laughs> yeah, this can... This is looks a bit... This is a plan, and it could... Great cool. new challenges for yeah. Keith. Yeah. I like it. I like it very much. Very good, Mr. Howell. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. He could still win. Yeah. I don't know. Um, and what? Let's talk about uh, World of Chess. The World of Chess. Let's do it. So what's going on at the moment in... We've got the Olympiad coming up. That is soon. true. You're going to be playing for Germany. No, for some strange reason, they never put me on the team anymore. I believe it's partly because of my unpleasant personality, <laughs> partly because of my veining chess skills, yeah. and partly because I never play. That sounds like three very accurate uh, reasons. So, do you think Germany will win the Chess Olympics? Yes. Uh, West Germany or East Germany? There's no such thing. You're a little behind on your politics. Okay. Um, who do you think will win the Olympiad? Um, I believe that in the women's section, the Russian squad is going to win, or the Chinese squad. That's a very bold prediction. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> sir. In the men's section, there's many a team that has a chance. For example, the Russians are very good. Mm -hmm. Historically, the US and A, I believe they will have amazing team spirit. They're <laughs> gonna get along just great, and sometimes one team is bigger than the sum of its parts. Like individually, eh, but the team spirit might carry them to victory okay. nevertheless. Then there's the Chinese team, they are always to be reckoned with by getting stronger and stronger. 
Normally, they do function excellently as a unit. Everybody knows their job. Wang Yu, you don't need to win a game. You just make draws board one. You, Wei Yi, you board four, you crush everybody. Like, they know how to do this stuff. Yu Yang Yi, you board three, you also crush everybody. What about Ding Liren, you board two, you also crush everybody. What about Armenia? Armenia, they've been amazing over the years. I'm saying not going to be able to do it. There's so many super teams now um, that Armenia... Their golden generation getting a little older, Akopian getting a little older, Mofsesian hasn't been stable for them. Even if Levon is Levon and Sargisian hands in his usual 2900 performance, I think they're going to struggle to win. And what about uh, Azerbaijan? Um, yeah, they got some reinforcements. I heard, well, Akai Nayish, the former German number one, of course, playing for them. I heard some rumors that there's other people in the mix, but nothing really? confirmed. Just rumors at this point. Paco? Just rumors, <laughs> but no. Um, they're strong, but I would say they're, at least on paper, still a tier or tire. A tier oh, below. Armenia's not going to go, right? Ah, because it's in Baku? I don't yeah, know about I, that. Maybe uh, Armenia won't go. I'm not sure if Armenia is going. I don't know about that either. France! France are an interesting Armenia does not thing. attempt, is what people are saying. France. Yeah. So, more... Confirmation of my theory that they are not going to be able to do it this time. France, nah. As far as I know, Why? some key players might not be playing. Who? Um, I don't know. Um, what does that mean, some key players? Some key players. Really? Yeah, you stay tuned. Um, well, I know. And I even, can think of one that definitely won't. Okay. But even at full strength, I, st I don't, no, I don't see strength, it. No, at full strength, they've got a monster in MBL. They've got... Uh, Fress, they've got Etienne who are just solidos and can make draws. And then they can put some guy on board four to win a few games as well, no? Not that easy. Like, look at the other Russian... Uh, look at the Russians, look at the Chinese. Look at the... Who else did I mention? I forgot already. The US and A. You're just a notch below. Mm. It's just how it is. Do you think the USA will win? No. Do you think... Anyone playing in Kiel this weekend? Hold on a second. What are you saying? There's a What's in Kiel? What's in Kiel? There's money to be made. Matthew We're Daisy. there. Where? Is, there, is there a rapid play on Sunday? Let me know. Honest, <laughs> honestly. I'd 150 like to, euros? 150 euros? 150 euros? What's in Kiel? Just, What's in Kiel? If it's FIDE rated, that's all I Even though you're not premium. If, you, if there's Matthew money Basie, for us to be made, what is in <laughs> we'll Kiel? talk. What is in Kiel? I'm actually genuinely excited. Are we skipping commentary tomorrow to go to Kiel? No, but Sunday we're... I'm free, free on Sunday. Yeah. Do you want to go to Kiel on Sunday? Let's go to Kiel. Kiel um, let's is first find out what, what's going on in Kiel. Kiel is about an hour away from here, 45 minutes. And I recently went to Travemunde, which Lovely is... Lovely place. Great little place by the sea. Very hot. You wouldn't believe it in Germany on the North Sea. Is it the North Sea? I have no idea. I North Sea, East Sea, the what's Kiel the difference? The Kiel Open. Ah, no. Not going to be able to do it. Uh, we've got to commentate on this if it's an open. Nah. Sorry. So put the link in the chat, Matthew Basie. Please, sir, put the link in the chat. Be curious to see mm. what's happening in the Kiel Open because you might have to do this alone. Tomorrow I might be in Kiel. You're, you're off to Kiel? Yeah. Mm, nah, I won't play. If it was like 5,000 first, would you play? No. 10,000? No. If there's no Bangkok next to the word open, I'm not <laughs> playing, that's, and that's my rule. Put, uh, put, the, put the link in, uh, please, uh, Matthew Basie. What's going on here? Queen H5? Yeah. Knight E4. Rook D8. I want Rook D8. Yeah, with... Uh, Before it's too late. With... Uh, with counter... Counter chances. <sighs> Uncle. I mean, if this horse he gets here, that's trouble. But does it get there? Mm, maybe it gets there. Okay, gimme. Yeah. Knight of six. Now we need good move. Let's read out good computer move. Hold on a second. Uh, just my two equal. Matthew Basie. <clears throat> He's the man with the plan. I like it that you're completely willing to jettison. This program. Oh, to check that's out. a long tournament. No, 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 no. So I told you it's an open. It must be a week. I can't be able to do it. Who we got? Mm -hmm. Baramitze. My boy, Daryl Baramitze is playing. 
and his boy Arik Brown. You know Arik Brown? I know both of these guys very well. It's a real open. Is there a, another tournament? Is there a rapid play? Matthew Basie, in the chat, put if there's a rapid play on the Sunday. <laughs> Relax already. Actually, you're just not making any let money me know this Sunday. If, if there's any rapid play that's FIDE rated or Blitz, because I've got this grand plan of getting my rapid rating up over 2,500 to then play very, the World Blitz Championships. It's a good plan. Zeeland Zen says Peter Svidler is in the Sinkfield Cup. Yes, Peter is replacing uh, Mr. Vladimir Kramnik due to health reasons. And I will be very happy to see Peter there. He's a good guy and has a very good heart. Like, and he's he got has a, a healthy heart? Is what he's got a cat. Does he have a cat? Yeah. He has I a cat? I don't female, think he has a cat. A female cat. I don't think he has a cat. You don't? No. I know he has a cat. Peter, in case you're watching, do you have a cat? He does have a cat. I don't think he has a cat. Oh, we can we can wager on it if you want. Mm -hmm. We can put a coffee on it. Mm -hmm. The yeah. British Blitz on Sunday. That would be really sick to fly to England. Can I play? I if I'm a resident on the same day, since it's a Blitz tournament, I should only be a resident for a day. Um, no. no. The problem is... Uh, if there was a, if there was an airport in Bournemouth, I don't think there is an airport in Bournemouth. There's a blitz on Tuesday, second of August. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I will be in Saint Louis. Good for you. Saint Louis with the boy. Peter uh -huh. has a cat. No, he does. He does. You can Skype him now. I could. <laughs> Go on, just ask him. Open question. <laughs> mm. All right, uh, Queen H5 is on the board. They're getting down to the blitz. That's what we're staying for. This is what you get with chess 24. <laughs> you get <laughs> high class commentary. Um, and you can even watch it for free uh, if you uh, desire. But for all of you that are supporting the website, premium members, thank you. And uh, we appreciate it. But you are getting a lot in return. Look at the recent video series. Great series out on the uh, Bishop B5 check stuff with Robin Van Kampen. Ah, no. Come on, I'm winning this. Peter is saying he has a walk-in cat at the Dacha. Dacha, for those of you who don't know, is the summer house where Russians oh, that's go. A cat. Once he a while. Has that's a not cat. owning a he cat. Has Come a on. Cat. That's a clear he no. He has a cat. That is madness. He does not have a cat, and I'm counting this as a clear victory. Peter is saying it's a draw. She lives with him 90% of the time. Oh, there, come there. on, how is that a draw? He's never there. He's never there. It's ah, at the Dutch house. It's a summer house. Go. Spends 90% of his time. He doesn't it's have a stale, cat. It's stalemate. Mm. Um, yeah, Jack Barra saying yay for free loaders. I understand the position because you get a lot, of, a lot for free on Chess24. Sad reality is, and this is a bit of a contradiction, is we're probably going to have to stop doing that and make these broadcasts premium. Yeah. Because we were relying on it. It's such a good offer for 10 euros that everybody's going to go premium. But uh, I understand and I probably, I'm not sure, I would go premium because I would like the video series. But I understand people who don't and we might have to change the rules a bit because of that. It's sad, but I fully understand. I do think that you get a lot though. The yeah, premium thing. I agree. And I also do think that Peter Svidler does not have a cat. Like a stray cat at the Dacha. No, you gotta be clear, the Dacha, he doesn't live there. That's a summer like thing where he goes randomly once in a while over the weekend and it's a walking cat that is not owning a cat. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's kind of owning a cat. It's not owning a cat, come on, that's completely insane. And why he would call that a draw, like, yeah, congratulations, there's a, <laughs> there's a cat that lives near your summer house and sometimes he walks in. That's madness. He doesn't have a cat, as I said. Madness. I know my Svit, my Svit facts. Madness Carlson? Mm, he doesn't have a cat either. Doesn't he? Magnus? No, I don't no. think he does. Why? How would Magnus's cat survive? He'd never be there. Yeah, well, they have a family, you know. No, I'm not saying the family can't have a cat. Magnus can't have a cat. 
Uh, Mr. Dodgy says Svidler's video series is worth the price alone. This is the this is actually a, a very valid point. How much do you pay for a DVD or a or a or a book? Or 20, a book. Huh. 20 euros, 25 euros, 30 euros, something like that. You're paying 10 euros to get access to a th maybe what 500 times the number of. Yeah, I don't content. count, but literally thousands Five, like, of videos. It's just many people think like one video series, one video. It's not. It's, it's not. Like it's like a series videos. of videos. We're talking um, a Fiddler series alone is twelve hours. If you think of all the series combined, it's just even Mark Dvoretsky is now bringing out a series. I mean, it's two. just two series. It's just uh, the value is just. In, I, I wouldn't even. I would just definitely try and. I, I'd. I'd up it. I wouldn't keep it at ten euros. It should be like a hundred euros a month. It should be higher than your. It should be higher than your life insurance. That's for sure. <laughs> Do you have life insurance? Um, I have crap, but probably I don't. I don't think I have life insurance. I have some weird stuff. My problem is I'm very allergic to paperwork. So whatever I signed like yeah. 20 years ago, people will rip me off, and all of a sudden I have life insurance, like um, caretake insurance, random insurance, and. You wonder where the money goes. But no, I don't think I have life insurance. Do you have life insurance? And if so, how much is it? Let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. um, I'm definitely better off dead to most people. Um, my yeah, my I, EV, I would I'm agree plus with that. EV, five foot under. Right. Is it five or six feet six, under? Whatever. Six, right? Six, uh -huh. yeah. um, like so do many people want your debt is that what you're saying no but i'm just saying like definitely the payout would be much more no worth you're worth more but it's not that big an amount that a lot of people are actively trying to kill you right like yet. if i if there was like one million on my head i think i'd be right. gone um, yeah no question the but question is what's the over under way still have a good chance of surviving Fifty thousand. um no, probably more yeah. than that right if I'm worth 50,000? No, if like someone gets a payout of 50,000, it also depends on the person, right? It's not like that there is. So you know where my, on my will, I have a will. You know where my money's going. I don't know, Chess but I'm 24. guessing I get it. Chess 24, I'm gonna buy with my dead huh, I don't dead get it? Huh. <laughs> you don't get it. The company gets it. No, huh. I don't really actually, guys. I, don't, I actually don't think I have life insurance. I have mm -hmm. health insurance. Is that good? Boom. That's beautiful. Is it? Obamacare. <laughs> yeah, Obamacare. That's mm. That worked. Did it? Uh. No. Um, let's go up. They're in time trouble, finally. We've talked for 20 minutes. Or five. Ooh. <clears throat> Baby. Rook D1 looks nice and active. Did Keith make good one move. active move at the worst yeah. possible juncture? Maybe not the worst possible juncture. So queen g2 is going to happen, covering yeah. all the key squares, queen the key squares. Queen f5. Queen f5. Definitely. And then can we do, can, can we jump? London knight f6, queen d3, king b2. Rook b1. Rook b1 and queen mate. Queen b3. We can't jump. This that means it's still anybody's game. It doesn't even matter what the computer is saying here. This is one wrong step and some side could win. Computer but says white is better. Actually, black hasn't got a threat here. That's the but I have a plan. I want to go bishop e7, bishop d8, king c6, oh. then resign after knight f6 check. But <laughs> if I don't, then bishop a5 check. Then you, you go, go king, king c2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You're man. hopeless. I'm excellent at this chess stuff. Rookie one was played. Okay. Keith has bungled it. Let's see. Oh, bishop takes c5. Mm. He's never ever gonna play that. Ever. Why not? He's just not gonna see it. Oh, David? He's a good quality, quality player. Why wouldn't he see this? Bishop d6 check. You have to see. How hard is that? Um, Oops, Vision Schacht, then grab the rook. Yeah, he's. It's can, not that hard. You can see that. Yeah, he's got it. I thought he had less time. He's got enough time. Uh, David is strong. He will see this. Whoops. I was just wondering, uh, but here there's also Queen b7. No, this is the straw that broke the camel's back. How do you say that in German? Der Strohhalm, der den Rücken des Kamels 
<laughs> is it exactly the same? No, we don't have that expression. Why not? I don't know. What we do have you it. have that's useful in this country? Um, I don't know. Like. We have very expensive ex health insurance. Yeah, I know, thanks. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> expensive. Fully, fully aware. <laughs> Can you explain to me why there are no lifts in apartments? In no like, lifts? Like, but there's lifts in like the crappy apartments, just we have a lot of old buildings. Right. Why can't there be lifts? Why do I have to live on the fifth floor of every apartment I've ever been in Hamburg and be just struggling but to I get thought that was just a choice of yours to remain healthy. No. You just walk. It's just not. Uh, sorry to hear that. Um, what other questions do you have about life in Germany? I've lived here most of my life. See, Nicholas is chiming in with the straw that broke the camel's back. 10 euros is ridiculously... I like this. Emel Claire says 10 euros is ridiculously cheap. <laughs> says the guy who's not premium. I've become made friends premium. with Imekle the other day. May become premium, Imekle. You're from Germany, you've got money. No, he's not. He's uh, Scottish. Right. He's Scottish, he's got money. He's played it. Bishop takes c5, David. Yeah. Big discussion about this yeah. straw. David's um, gonna win. Yeah, this is one mishap too many. Yep. And now Keith is in trouble. Okay, let's show some lines though. Rook e2 looks logical enough. Attacking, attacking. Still it's... If you retreat to... Then... Ooh. Still there are practical so chances. So you have to go here, which is less obvious, that at least to me. Because you have to calculate stuff like takes, takes, queen f3 check, king b4. and Who knows? I would... Be very capable of panicking here after king a3. Am I sure I'm winning here from a distance? I'm not. Um, also, yeah. a6 is not a legal move, but that's a good <laughs> <Yeah. score. laughs> Such um. a weirdo. Um, what else can we do here? Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Jan used to be a very strong player. <laughs> I, in my heyday. Nah, well, that's a crap then. Nah. Uh, what's this? The Tropfen der das Fass so über. Oh, yeah, that is the German equivalent for the straw that broke Can the Can you translate back. it word for word? It's the drop that made the. I don't speak English. What's Fass? Fass is like what you say to a dog. Fass. No, it's a big container containing liquids. Big but you can say, container. if I said to you Fass, that would be like go and get the ball, right? What's Fass? I should know that word. Fass, English. I have weird, like, uh, barrel. barrel. Oh, yeah, of course. The um, drop that broke the barrels. It's the drop that made the barrel spill. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. I am stronger when I wear a tie. Mm. It's Tüpfelchen auf dem E. Now, that's a different thing, Niklas. Niklas is wrong. <laughs> mm. Nicholas, you got to it's work on your of them. E is like the last touch, but it's not the final mistake. You've got to work it's on your idioms. Nick yeah, but he just spent like four years in the US and A, so yeah, he yeah. doesn't know any German idioms. Or Matthew English Bates. idioms, which is a strange thing. He just forgot all idioms in either language. I learned some idioms in Spanish, and then oh, I just good can't, for you. can't remember I any. can't remember. What do you think he's going to do? I think idiom. he's going to go rookie too. That's a Keithy kind of move. Yeah, because rookie four was the plan, but then you spot yeah. bishop d6 and you have to change the plan. Um, and you panic and go rookie two, last chance. Last call. Is there a move here that loses? Um, after rookie two, there's plenty of moves that lose. <laughs> Any move that hangs the queen. Bishop d6 check, doesn't lose. Nah, bishop d6 is decent actually. But still... Ooh. <laughs> Get your legs out the way. Okay. Um, uh, Queen G7, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Is this right? is all Grandmaster analysis. Bishop D6 is on the board after Rookie oh, 2. Oh, interesting. See? It's not mm. over yet. You saw it here first. Chess Champion 55 is asking the question we've all been wondering about, me included. Jan, I have to ask this. Do you actually like Lawrence? The answer is very simple. <laughs> Go premium and you will get the answer. And no existing premium members can't answer, ask the same question. We need chess champion 55. Um, 
Funny to see Niklas is German after all. That is true. Who would have thought? I always thought of Niklas as... Nah, I always thought he was German. Um... But I've known him since he was like a young man. Like, since How he was like 10 years old. I don't know. I tried to teach him stuff back in the day, but it didn't really work. Like how to carry himself at chess tournaments. Never talk to anybody. Don't socialize with your rivals. Throw pieces when you lose. It's okay to strike fear into your opponent's heart. Like that kind of stuff. Like what you're doing with Fabiano now. Mm. But it didn't really stick. What? Mm. Rook takes h2. Hello. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Ooh, Bishop d6. King c6. No vision. A thing, and he missed knight f2 check, which was winning on the spot. That's quite an easy move to see, no? And queen yeah, takes but the follow seven. up. Well, knight f2, king b6, queen d5, I guess. Ah, that's that's impossible to see. Yeah. No, it's not impossible. It is. No. Anyway, queen h1, rook h2 on the board, and wow. is David gonna win the game by putting his queen from h1 to a1? That's a nice move, isn't it? Queen h1 to a1. Would be very pleasing to the eye, and not that difficult because yeah. you're threatening checkmate with checks, and the black checks would expire soon. Yeah. Do you say expire there? No. No, not really, right? I don't think you can say that. You can. Black would say run it. out of check here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, not. <clears throat> not the same thing. <clears throat> Hi, Meckler is trying so hard to make friends with me every day. <laughs> He's very impressive. Um, so, Queen A1 on the board. Yeah, this is now the end because this check. Maybe, you know, Keith, what he'll do here? He'll go like B6 or something, you know? Yeah, but that's just. Well, B6, Queen oh, no, Queen seven, a. I guess. No, but Queen A4, Queen A4, Queen D7, seven, you're just... So what about... Not going to be able to survive. No, he's got four... He's given a check. Oh, he's given a check. Now, is King B4 a mistake? I was going to say King B4. Why doesn't that work? Yeah, that looks... Ooh, Bishop takes D6, Knight takes D6, and basically mm. there's no check after Queen A4. There's no D6. Wow. Anything's possible. It's just so random. This is just a computer. Still action? Yeah. I thought it was just checkmate, but maybe it isn't. It's just not mate, is it? Hmm. It's just an unbelievable game. Yeah, it's not that easy, surprisingly. It's really not. Um... <clears throat> Probably winning for white, but it's it's a mess. And King d4, which is less natural, let's face it, seems to be winning. Not sure why. She takes d6. Now queen a4 check. What is the difference, just so I get it? Ah, bishop d6 was check after king b4. Here yeah, this is check, so we don't have time for queen a4 check. Well, here, queen a4 check. King c7, e d6, check, and the white initiative seems to win, even though even this is not obvious. King b8 or king c8, queen e8 is checkmate, king b6, queen b5 is checkmate, so king d8 is only move, and then queen a5, b6, queen a7. But here, from a distance even, this is ridiculously hard, ridiculously hard to Did calculate. he go king d4? He did play king d4, wow. which is the best move, but oof. Now, now respect what? Mr. Howell. That's big respect. And queen takes b3, covering the check. Excusez-moi. Queen b3 now. But just bishop f8, no? Just take. Doesn't seem to save the day either. And the problem, in general, I believe, is that David Howell, first of all, he's younger, and secondly, he must be a stronger calculator than Keith. So I believe this is an uphill battle for Keith Arkell. And also, objectively, it seems like White is now winning, even though this line is still not obvious to me. Queen a4 check is the key. King c7, ed, king d8. 
Queen a5 check, b6, queen a7. It turns out that the white king yeah, will find shelter from the yeah. checks. Keith should have taken on b3, really. To stop a check, keep the king in the middle and... Even here I'd be panicking about missing some checks, but okay, there's apparently enough company for the king. Do you think they'll make a draw? Mm. No, I think David's gonna win. Yeah. Um, ed6 check is on the board. He has to go king d8, there is no other move. King d8 is forced, everything yeah. else allows mate in one move. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. King d8 played. Now for... Queen a5, yeah. The final sequence is blitzing everything out. Yep, b6. Does he want to give this check? Maybe he wants to give this check, yeah. which is also good. It looks more natural than yeah. queen a7. Yeah. Because king here or here is met with queen Runs a7 into check. into a lot of checks, doesn't it? And here, at least... Well, queen a7 is probably... Or is, is winning. Queen but, g8 win? Yeah, but then the king gets out. It's still winning, yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah, but... <laughs> Doesn't look like you want to allow this. Yeah. But bottom line is, black never has a perpetual in these lines, and therefore white can take one time out, like queen to e7. The checks will run out. King e5, queen h5, f5, queen h8. How do we do this? King d5 is strong. And for example, queen g8, I guess even queen e6 check wins. There's just nothing to do. You can also go here. Yep, it's winning, but it still requires some accurate calculation. Yeah, Exciting great game. game. Great game. Thank you Even very much. Even though I don't think it's going to enter either side's collection of best games. So no. we're a lot of... A lot of mistakes. Mistakes, that's the term. Um, game of the day today, I think, will be... If Andrew Martin has to choose... Um, he might just choose Fodor versus Palliser because... Yeah, it was a good effort by Palliser. Richie played well. Um, the Eggy hebden game was, was good. And I also game, enjoyed the Pert versus Adams game. Very yeah, few mistakes. I mean, Nick really went for it with White, so... Um, Davy Boy, he's got 47 seconds. He's just calculating. He's going to play check. You don't take on A7. <laughs> no, you want to... Queen g5, king c8, queen e7. I believe that's more pleasant to calculate because your queen is kind of contributing. He took no, he did on take, a7. Which is good, but yeah, it's just <laughs> nerves it's tougher. Still. Nerves, queen d1 on the board. Oof, played with one second left on his clock. <laughs> Whoa. King e5 will be played with one second on the clock as well because everything else loses, believe it or not. I do believe it. You probably do. Does king c3 lose? Yes. Check. Oh, yeah. That would be a disaster. Yeah, he's going to go Not going to happen. He's yeah. going to go here. Yeah. Yeah, there's some lines to calculate. Rook h5 is not so hard because after f5 there's no more checks. Important. The queen controls this. Yeah, that's nice. And queen h5, I believe, is the move you try. When after f5, you still have two checks to choose between. Choose from. But both seem to lose. And in sub f5, that's also where I was showing earlier, knight g5. He's not going to play knight g5. No, that's a bit sick, but it also works. <laughs> hey, he's not uh, going to. <laughs> You've just uh -huh. blundered, mate, in four. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm getting checkmate again. <laughs> mm. So sad. Yeah, I missed queen h1. Nah, I mean, he's just not going to. Yeah, gonna this do is this. sad. You play queen h he's going to go f5. Just, uh -huh. There's just no chance he goes knight g5 here. Uh -huh. No, but this is strong. The knight is the best friend of the king. It's not impossible. No. Yeah, you just calculate one line till the end. And it really doesn't matter if it's knight g5 or f5, because nah, make sure the he's checks... not going to do it. He is going to do it. He must no, do he's it. not, because knight g5, queen h8. And but king f5. Queen. Ah, queen f8, knight f7. It's not that hard. Yeah, he can do it. David is capable. He's very capable. He played queen a7 in a heartbeat. He's got 20 seconds. Maybe mm. he'll repeat. King D4 <laughs> ends in a draw. No, he played F5. Played F5, yeah. such a sicker. <clears throat> so queen H8, what's he gonna play now? F6? No. That would be a That'd mistake. That would be a mistake. Yeah. But he probably will not do that. He probably will 
Protoss King in the middle of the board. In the middle of the bread? In the middle des Brettes. Wow, you, you understood what I wanted to say. Yeah. And then soon we're going to be able to go to the Irish Rover, which is Oh, far I can't wait. We're, we're going to have a blast, like, checking our phones. Mm. Yeah. I'll check my phone right now. Yeah, you can do that. I'll take control. What we got? Not a big you fan of the over. new time control. I like the time control. The old time control was too long. Mm. Too long. Really too long. Queen E8 has been played. Ooh. And now... Any king move is good. King d5. Could happen. Should happen. And then he's... Queen g8, king c6, queen e8, king b6. Yeah. Take another pawn. Queen this takes is. e4. And then you must find the checkmate. Easiest is queen c7, followed by d7 yeah. and d8. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. King d5 on the board. Keith Arkell with 31 seconds. The Graham game. Who's still playing? Which Graham? Who's Graham? I have to... Oh, sorry, I have to... Mm -hmm. Also, don't forget implies that I knew about that game in the first place, which I didn't. So I didn't I don't know who him. he's talking about. So. Me neither. Anyway. Graham Green. King d5, queen g8 is on the board. Now David is going to slip his king in with king c6 because there is just one check. And that's how he does it. Yeah, queen e8, king b6. He's, he's seen everything. He's just going through the motions at this point. There's this very loud music coming from the balcony next door, Confusey as well. No. What are these people doing? They're just gonna party on their work balcony all <laughs> yeah, night? it's just... <laughs> so sick. King c6, mm -hmm. yes. Queen e8, probably will be played. And he'll take mm -hmm. on b6, and then that will be the end of the game. So, David came through. The Graham game is board 29. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we didn't get the moves for it. Oh, oh we, we don't do. have the moves? It's we so do. sad. Where's Let's, Graham? We'll quickly look at Graham. David Graham against Knight. Well, that's Who's just... Who's David Graham? I don't know. But it looks like it should be equal somehow. No, it looks like black should be better, but it's not. Good. Let's go back to the David Howe game. And King takes B6 will be played. And that is it. And that's all she wrote. So, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies. It's been a long day. It's been a long little session. I hope you've all enjoyed Not over yet. King, Queen D7 well, has been played. Just Queen C7. This is made in 15, I believe. Yeah, he's going to play that as well. I mean, that's just... Well, this is made in 16. Yeah. Queen C7 is just over. Oh. This is a strong move. Not the only way to win. Is there any move that doesn't win here? Probably not. <laughs> even those, even those probably win, right? Yeah, because you just queen. In. That's what I'm saying. Like here, takes king king so, yeah, just, you can't make a move that loses. Even c8 queen equal. No, but I'm looking for a move that doesn't win. There's no move that doesn't win. I'm not sure. King be, there's a always a move five? that doesn't win. Oh, king a5. This is winning though. This has to be winning. Anyway. That's anyway, it. It's the over. game is over. David Howell won. Very nice game. Not really very nice game, but he came through in the end. Let's take the coffee out of the way and wrap it up. Thank you so much to me for being here, <laughs> spending my Friday afternoon covering the British Individual Championship, where the excitement is yet to come because all the top seats like David Howell and Mickey Ames, Wayne Jones, We'll still meet each other. Thank you, Lawrence Trent, for doing the same thing. Apologies for... I have this new section called I'm sorry at the end of every show. So I'm sorry for the hair day. I'm sorry for not wearing a tie. I'm sorry for insulting both all of the players and all of the participants in the chat. I'm sorry for the lack of audience. Tell a friend that we're doing this. We want a bigger audience to feel vindicated. We want more premium members. I'm sorry for insulting everybody who's not a premium member in case I have. I'm not that sorry though. I am also sorry about the sound occasionally missing. I'm sorry for the lackluster commentary. I'm sorry for the lack of humor on the program. I am sorry 
to the English Chess Federation that I'm sure had higher expectations for today's show. Um, I'm sorry to Lawrence because I'm gonna keep going with this for another 20 minutes and the dinner is gonna get cold. And I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to leave it there. It's been a pleasure, guys. Tomorrow, same time, same place. Uh, 2.30 UK time, 3.30 here. We're gonna have some big clashes. Don't miss out. I'm sorry that you had to put up with this man next to me, but it's been fun. Enjoy your Friday night and... Uh, catch some Pokemons. Catch some Pokemons. We'll see you tomorrow. Get yourself a doo-doo. Cheerio.